share subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when we go live and please put the number of your like in the chat you know like oh, oh, oh. I should have listened to my friends they always know best listen you were just like cool rest. you said you Thank you. 
Pack up your shit and go on. Pack up your shit and go on. Pack up your shit and bounce. Pack up your shit and bop, bop, bop. Hey, hey. All right, we got fifty three lights in the building. The hair we're loading up. What I need now for you to jump on. truly 
is something special just what my dreams are really made of let's stay together you and me boy there's no one like you around oh baby i really like dungeon me i really like dungeon me i really like dungeon me i really like dungeon me
even if you don't love yourself. Woo! Know that you are loved. Mud. <coughs> even if you don't love yourself. Boom, boom, boom. No. That you are loved. Boom, boom, boom. Even if you don't love yourself. Do, 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 do. Mm, considering, considering. No, uh, 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 Mm could play that man i feel like playing some songs man but yeah work one family we in the building um you lot was taking long to like up the show now you're taking long to jump on like yeah man i really need to like get hold of this live stream car you lot, i don't know what's happening mate do you know what i mean i don't know what's happening mom so every time i think i can rely on some people to like you know keep the machine going and Everyone just fucks off. And they don't just fuck off. They fuck off and they don't say nothing to me. They don't say, yo, Jeds, ain't going to be about for a bit or whatever. They're just like, eh, psh, just not around. So I'm left to, like, plan an event, run an event, do live streams, do Patreon stuff. Very rare, rare. No one's around. No one's around. I, I sincerely have, I've got family. I've developed, I've got some family members. But I don't have a team, man. I don't have a team, like a, a, a team. I've got advisors and people in my ear that wish me well, but I need, like, workers, team workers, do you know? Um, yeah. Cause it's difficult trying to do, trying to do it all and do it well. But I hope you've been enjoying the streams for the last two weeks because I've consciously made a decision to try to step my stream game up be more present, you know, bring more content forward and, and stuff like that. So I hope you've been enjoying it. The reason I didn't start today, I started late because I've been starting early and I've been starting straight away and I feel like it's been taken for granted. Because at the end of two very dope streams, Sunday and Monday, didn't have 100 likes. Like the basic, the bare minimum, didn't have 100 likes. And it just makes me feel like, there's this complacency that sneaks into like me being me being present every day. People just kind of just get used to it and then they get complacent. And when I'm not around, they get upset that I'm not here. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Big up the Patreon gang though. Let me just fully just big them up. Big up everyone that's taking their time out to join Patreon, become a Patreon member. How do people not know about the 50 lakh rule? What are you on about, brother? People don't know. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know, man. I don't think that's true. People know about the 50 lakh rule, man. What I'm saying is by the end of the show, should at least have 100 likes. So whatever, man. Just inspire me to, to do it. At least inspire me to do a live stream. At least make me think that you lot want the live stream. That's all I'm saying. Long way, um, long story short. 
And um, yeah, you lot need to get your friends and that to jump on there, man. I need more panelists. We need more panelists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't turn around and make up. Big protest all over Morocco against countries who are sending weapons to Israel and encouraging Israel. Yeah, Morocco needed to do a big protest against those um, West African migrants that they that they killed at the border. That's what they need to do a big protest against. I'm not going to lie to you. That would be handy. Wait up. Ooh, turn around and think up. It's all I need. Let me be the one you come running to. I'll never be untrue. Listen, baby. Oh. Let me give well, when you say support in France and America over West Africa, they didn't actually do anything. They didn't do anything. They didn't physically kill anyone in anyone's <clears throat> country. They didn't kill anyone in their country. So the government may be trying to support people, but the people are not trying to kill people. And I feel that there's a big difference. I'll show you a video of you Moroccans throwing sticks and stones at the migrants that were just trying to pass through. <coughs> if, you want to, if you want to do the comparison, do you know what I mean? <coughs> Yo, AV, welcome. Yo, family, jump on, man. We're not going to even play this game. What are you lot doing? Like, you lot all gone into hiding now. I soon stop streaming anyway, man. I'm, I'm I'm starting to have enough of it, mate. Can you hear me? You look, you look kind of fucking ungrateful. Yeah, what well, one? Yeah, how you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, yeah. What's good? How's it going? Are you gonna leave me with AV? Yeah, he's. They're leaving you. They're strungling you out again, mate. Strung you out. That's okay. They come on slowly. Yeah. How are you doing, anyway, mate? Yeah, not bad. Not bad, man. Yourself? Ah, uh, okay, man. Just uh, just surviving, man. Day to day, isn't it? And what have you? What... Yeah, I can't do all that, man. I can't do all that. Yo, cactus, walk one. Uh -huh, big up, big up. <laughs> yeah, Amy's oh, on there, like you know, like don't put me with the Ave, uh. <laughs> The Abe. The Abe. Awkward, Abe, yeah. No, big up. Sorry, I'm gonna, I've got I've got um mum duties, but I, I couldn't I couldn't just listen and, and, and I couldn't. Uh, I tried. <laughs> uh, right, big up. Any videos today? What we got? No? You want me to bring you some videos? You know what? Sorry, said again. I said, have you got any videos and stuff today? Or do you, do you need some videos brought through? Because I saw some, like, I saw a whole account literally off of the back of that, what we were talking about yesterday, you know, with the girl. And the account's called something like, um, it's a TikTok account. It's called, like, cat calling or something. And it's all those kind of uh, videos on it. But I don't, I don't know what I think about the account. I don't know if it's for awareness or it's just to like call out men and then there's like there's like women on there doing poems against men and stuff. It's just not that I, I had a business idea for you, Jedi. Yeah, <laughs> no, I can't tell you on online in it because people just pinch it off. So if I met you I'll tell you in it. No. 
<laughs> well, grab yourself a ticket and go to the event and you can tell them there, isn't it? How you're going to help him make money, do business. How about that, man? How about yeah. that? Yeah. So what else have you been up to? <laughs> me or Amy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. I've been up to loads, man. I'm joking. He's asking you, man. Shan, he's asking you, mate. Me? No, I didn't know that I ain't got a life. <clears throat> right, what have we been up to? Um, Just looking after the other things. Mothering, like, mothering. Yeah, not really much goes on in my house, to be honest with you. Uh, a couple of, like, pooed on the table stories, but apart from that, you know, <laughs> blow out nappies and stuff. I've been dealing with a lot of poo today. That's you sound like you're complaining. Today. You sound like you're complaining. Are you complaining? Well, it's, it's, it's a semi-complaint, yeah. I've been dealing with a lot of Why? People. Why are you complaining? Not every day, Why are you complaining because for? it's not it's not an unusual occurrence. It's not part of, like, your everyday life having to deal with poo. In the abundance that I have done today. So it's just kind of like, it's been a, a bit of a well, shit. you do game. because you're a mother, right? You would do. It's the part of it, right? No, no, no. Because you, you obviously do your normal mothering cleaning, but I'm saying what I've dealt today with is, like, poo armies, Broken nappies, um, poo smeared all over the the table. Like, it's just, it's been a lot. <laughs> nice to see you, Zulu. <laughs> Salam alaikum. <laughs> shalom, shalom. Peace and blessings. Shalom. Oh. Well, did you just say shalom? I, I did say shalom. <laughs> No, who's saying shalom? Who's saying shalom? And who's saying shalom? I said shalom. Shalom. I said shalom innit? <laughs> okay, then. Salam. Salam alaykum, then. <laughs> Big or sick, properly. It's shalom. Alom. It's long. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Shalom. 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 Oh, big up. Shalom. Yeah, shalom. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, uh, no, no. Not even point. It's not even point. Salam in San Shani, because she can't, um, she can't salami back. Yeah, oh, say, I can. We have to say waiku salam or something like that. You have to say walikum. Salam alaikum. This week, this walikum. Wow. There's wa, so it's and wa is and and alaikum is like and peace to you kind of thing. Like it's just saying it back. So can I ask you a question? Zulu, Radar, and Con, were you guys waiting for other people to jump on? No. Honestly. No. no. I've jumped on it's just me and you and um Mag sometimes. I don't mind that. I no, don't no, 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 I'm, I'm, no, no. I'm asking today, what, did you wait for other people to jump on? No. Okay. Because, like, you lot can't be leaving me with just AV. I would lock off the it's show. Like, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> No, that was the, that that was the funny like, part of it. That was nah, funny. I never do that. I'd I, I, I just look at you. Do that, AV. It's all love. But you know, you know, you know, you're a bit dry, AV. Yeah, you know, you're dry. Yeah, you know, you're what dry. do you know about Rupo? Sarah. Big up. Hey, what what do you know about Rupo? I'm in the book. Now, AV, AV, we're just saying about how dry you are sometimes. You're a bit dry. Like you're a good panelist. Stop fantasizing. Stop, stop fantasizing, Shani. You're married. You're stop fantasizing. Right? You're married. Literally, right? you've never come into my fantasies. Not even to be the last person on there. Anyway, anyway. Nice. And, and you know, I'm still mad about it. I haven't even seen you. I haven't even seen your face. And I still, I still. <laughs> yeah, mad. Anyway, Amy, you're a bit dry. Like you're good. I, 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 I feel like you're a good like gap filler. Oi! Hey! Hold on! Hold on, mate! <laughs> no, 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 no! There's no gaps here. Sorry. Whoa! <laughs> no, there's no gaps. There's no gaps. That was bad. That was bad. Sorry, guys. He's excited about that, boy. That was horrible. I own no gaps. Leave me. Gates. Pause, man. <laughs> Yeah, big up anyway, big up anyway, anyway, everyone big up. So, so yesterday, yesterday we was watching <laughs> yesterday we was watching all this stuff 
this dating kind yeah. of stuff and getting different people's perspectives. I don't know if we're bored of that. I don't know if you lot want to get into that a bit more serious or, or mm. a different know. tone. Let me know. Let me know, man. Would you like? I quite, I quite like, um, I like the relationship stuff. To be honest with you, yeah. Is it really? Yeah, it's true. We need that. I like the relationship this, um, talking. There's too much red pill shit going on, man. Like man hating on women, women just yeah. like, oh, it's just, we, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot yeah, of that. Nothing, too, lot of that. nothing too serious. Either, nah, man. I'm gonna call me that comment. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <there you> <laughs> <laughs> I am a self confessed chauvinist, of course. Now pick up. Right. You have moments. Right? Sometimes you're like really cool, and other times you're like, oh, really cool? Yeah, yeah. you go off. Well, I'm kind of used to it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm over it now. But with you and odd, I just can't. I can't even. No, no, no. a different kettle of fish. I couldn't even compare him to Arthur. Oh, so <laughs> no, funny. No, 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 absolutely we got, not. We've got beaches like that. Can Put have my beaches on. on. The beaches, <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen, <laughs> that's, that's something so I really good. like and enjoy about this show. I enjoy it. You know what I like? The, show the best one like was, best. out of all 20, Shani, the best one was a nuclear power plant. <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, I missed quite a few. I got to the like, the last five or something and then I was like, yo, this speech. But yeah, I just feel like maybe Pakistan isn't isn't well it's not a holiday destination, is it really, for people unless you're from Pakistan. Unless you want to explore Definitely like that India. Like that that India. Sorry, if you wanted to explore South Asia, maybe then you'd go to Pakistan. But apart from that, you're not really gonna like book yourself a flight and Go out there with the family, are you? So yeah, it doesn't look that, very family friendly for me, anyway. And I think that's where the government went wrong. I think they should. I think they should start like trying to make tourism to their country. Why not? not like, a lot of respect for women. I don't really feel like women are respect. I wouldn't feel comfortable in it as a woman. Do you think Personally. so? Why is? I just what don't, is I don't that? You're dealing with Pakistani men, or how you met, or you've seen Pakistani men? This is my men experience in the UK. I feel like yeah. they thought they were hidden, and then my energy is just can't be hidden. It's just not gonna work. You know what? I've done a lot of business with Pakistani men, and I, I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't say they were. I was in Afghanistan before I went Pakistan. I don't know why. I think meant to be beautiful. Actually. They're very hospitable people, from my experience. Because I used to have a neighbour who's from a country. Okay. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've just had bad experience. Do you know? You know what? That's what I mean. Like, I'm, I'm trying to like obviously understand. Avoid, that it's yeah, sub- mm, that subjective sort. Yeah. You guys, yeah. let me let me pull you up. Let me show you. Let me show you something really silly first. Mm. This guy just got this troll's dead dad tattooed on his leg for this comment. Watch. This is one of the nastiest, cruelest comments that I've gotten. It's a good thing I am in recovery and that I've matured and I'm really going to engage with this. (laughs) Max, I was so devastated to hear the news about your father. This is... That is funny. Who would do such a thing? Man. <laughs> nah, 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 hold on. Nah. <laughs> I can't even comment on this. I can't comment on it. Man, uh, oh. Oh, there was a, someone left a comment basically saying that um i hope i hope you slip back into addiction basically the guys are a yeah. recovering addict someone said i hope you get addicted again and fuck up your life mm-hmm. so he went on the guy's page and saw a picture of his dad of the guy's dad that just died and got yeah. a tattoo of him with the grim reaper the face, i thought it was a name it's the whole face, the whole face. Like, why are you guys playing with the dead i don't understand what's Leave man, the alone. Grim Reaper hugging man in that. Oh my god, that is cold. No, I think it's why you guys play with men with face tattoos. Like, 
Are you gonna go <laughs> dead with a dead man's tattoo on your leg? Nah, I'm not. Listen, okay, but he's but they're already. So in my opinion, and this is stereotypical, and I've met loads of people with face tattoos. I even dated one. Right? I feel like people with face tattoos are just a little bit unhinged. They're just not. <laughs> they're unhinged. They really are. Like, they were definitely unhinged. I'll say that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I can well, say that. I can say that from. From market research, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah definitely. I'll probably, I'll probably get a face tattoo one day still. Don't do it, Jenna. Why? Why? Don't, don't do it. Don't do I'll it. Probably Why? Will. It's so permanent. But you know what, right? I'm going to be serious. Yeah, nothing like this. I wouldn't be doing stuff like this, obviously. Weird lines yeah, yeah, in your nose. Like, what? No, but you know what? Sorry. I'm just going to say, sorry. But yeah, then, then again, there are like face tattoos, like tribal ones, and all that, that, that are actually yeah. like, yeah, like that are a bit nicer. And stuff on their foreheads and all that. Yeah, and when I went to Tunisia for yeah. the first time, um, I met a woman on a boat, yeah. and yeah. she had her whole face was basically covered with traditional but that's religious uh, though, tattoos, so and she was an old so woman. And then, yeah. and then my friend's grandmother, who I met at that point, was 97. You could see her old tattoos on her face. They were just like green patches kind of thing. Where the and the neck. Had gone the green neck the time. as well. Yeah, I, think, I don't think that those people are unhinged. I'm just talking about the new generation of like, getting like numbers and just mad well, shit. Tears, like, why do you have teardrops? Like, how many... <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I just thought so of a, no, I just thought of a really good face tattoo for AV. Oh, no parking. What? What? <laughs> no parking <laughs> just on his face. I'm not very good at keeping up, Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. Interesting. Fair okay. enough. Is it? Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find... Cool. Gonna move on then. Are you me? Are you me? <laughs> no, can we get I a response? Right. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Are you me... me? What's... 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 What's Tom going to get? It's uh, here. <laughs> I'm What do you not think about... Where's Zulu? Where's Zulu? Where's Zulu? I, I, I thought of a face tattoo for radar. <laughs> Out What's for that? lunch. Mr. Zulu. Out for lunch. Out Jesus. for lunch. I've actually got a thing for Zulu and his little church community, but we'll do it after. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, it's, it's, it's not like a serious, serious thing. It's the thing that I was telling you about with Shioma's man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He talks to a very okay. spicy um, church couple. Is it oh. okay? We're getting to that. Um, let me try and find it. Um, guys, mm. you've got nothing to do with me. Someone sent this to me. I beg you listen to this though. Just anyhow, this turns out to be well, a man. I don't I'm like that disclaimer, I don't bro. like it. I say, I'm just saying, it's got nothing to do with me, in it. Yeah. <laughs> if this is <laughs> a man, <laughs> that's me and you done. <laughs> that means it's very no dangerous. When we move. Come on, now, this is mad. All right, let's go. Watch oh, this. Yeah, hello. Okay, so I have two things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you two. Maybe a little deal right now. Okay, so the first thing is that anytime he would ask me for a drink, I would f myself and stir it because I just thought it was hilarious. <laughs> so like, if he asked, you for, <laughs> if he asked you for like a cup of coffee or like the water, water, yeah, I would f myself and then just stir it and give him a drink. Look around. Not Every time her boyfriend would ask her for a drink, that's what she would do. Yeah, I'm with that brother who said he doesn't eat in people's houses. What was his name? Oh. Yeah, Rick. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Can't even get a bunner. Yeah, I get Not it. Not even a bunner is safe. Right, so what does that come under? That must be some sort of sexual essay. Fetish or something. Right, that's No, it must be some sort of essay because, like... Holding so? is, un, is unwarranted, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because think about it, right? I, if she did that, say if she did that, but actually, like, just put it, like, got a spoon and put it in his mouth, wouldn't that be like classed as SA? Is she basically doing that, but putting it in his drink and making him drink it? I have no idea, honestly. Um, 
And all of her boyfriends meet Russia. All of her boyfriends are Russia. You abused your boyfriend. You abused your ex boyfriend. You abused him. Like, that's proper. She's smiling. And, oh, that's scary. Yeah, and I'll be honest, that's judge. That's judge. That is good. I was literally, that's the person that came to my head. Like, that's, using that's, your body no, fluids. That is good. Yeah. yeah. Can we do a little bit of what about ism as well? Can you imagine if a guy did that to a woman? Oh my god. Don't that would be there. SA. It would be SA straight away. They'd be like, no, SA. It's disgusting. Yeah, She's sitting she grinning teeth about it. I imagine putting a bit of your cum in her hand. She's going now to come on the internet and tell that. Like, I don't know. She's either moved area or something. Why are you so uncomfortable? <laughs> uh, what is going on? Are you trying to die? Like, are you actually trying to die? Imagine putting a bit of your <laughs> semen in, in her face cream. If I'm honest, I think she thinks it's cute. Yeah, yeah. I think she thinks it is as well. Yeah, she's not really yeah. disgusting. Well, even Trump. nervous about it. She just laughed. Oh, this is unacceptable. Okay, yeah, well, okay, so I thought I was gonna. Not to say now, nah, Zulu, uh, let me try again. No, nah? Zulu, yeah, yeah. Nah. did you Sorry, hear what that woman said to her boyfriend? To her yeah. ex boyfriend, right. I wasn't trying to, yeah, it's just, uh, no, don't worry, yeah. Oh, Jedi, have you seen that geezer on TikTok? Yeah, he's going around doing free samples, making people taste, consider taste this yogurt what? thing. He's going around with these little samples of yogurt and he makes yeah, people yeah, taste yeah. it. And then afterwards, yeah. they're going to, mm, what's in that? And he's like, what do you think's in it? And they're like, nah. And he's like, yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, this is probably one of the maddest things that I've seen this year. I don't know why it's so mad to me. I just I'm so baffled by it. So just listen to it and tell me what you think. You you lot know Kelly LaRock, the UK garage singer and that my love, my love. Oh, that's that that's her only song really. Kelly LaRock. <laughs> it is though, am I lying? No, it's an anthem. It's it's an anthem. Anthem. I don't know. My love. Well, so good. Well, well, well. <laughs> yeah, ding, 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 ding. All right, cool. So listen to this. Considering getting a sperm donor, and then my friend told me about um, getting a co-parent in sperm donor. So I basically um, did a bit of digging. I contacted an agency, and um, they set me up to go and meet some guys that could be possible co-parent and sperm donors. I think that I like the idea because I was like, I didn't want to do it by myself. And I, I could, thought maybe this is the next best thing into just getting a sperm donor and doing it by yourself and being a single parent. You know, get somebody who gives you their sperm but also wants to have an active role in the child's life. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Throw the whole year in the bin. Um, what the fuck is going on? What yeah. is all paid act, well, they're all paid actors, all of them. Paid actors. Well, what is going on? Is they're that paid. Scoop, She's paid. It's fake. You, can't be real. Can't be real. You want to have a sperm donor, a co parenting sperm donor. Isn't that called somebody. Isn't that called an ex? <laughs> 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 what, what are we doing here? That's mad though. Why don't you just do what what normal girl do is well, go and go and chop a man? Have a one night stand. Yeah, and then put my child support. They need support. I don't know. <laughs> no, it, this is strange, no? And this woman it's very disturbing well. more than anything. Like we're laughing, but it's disturbing. Yeah. The first thing I thought to myself was, "Wow, what is actually wrong with this chick?" Because she's come to the conclusion. That she just can't get a normal partner that would want to breed her. She's quite old as she's well. She's already made up her mind. Why? What's wrong with you? I'm Gaming said it's fake. Know. How is it fake? Come, I don't, it's fake? very fake unreal. Like... How is it fake? Fake in what way? Now someone said, what in the rent for dad? <laughs> nah, this is mad. Are there actual, like, we need to find out if there's actual. This is why I'm dying. Mm, 
Kelly LaRock is finished. Do you know what well, I, think I think it might be, though? Do you know you said she's quite old? Maybe yeah, that yeah. It's, it's so difficult for her to get pregnant that she's probably going to have to have um, IVF treatment anyway. You can do that with your man's sperm? Yeah, so that's what I'm eggs, saying. So I mean, you don't, need, you don't need a whole donor, dude, to do that. So that's not the reason why she's doing it, is basically what I'm saying. You understand? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but maybe what no one wants but to have a What if there is age? no man? There's actually currently no man, right? Get a man. How's she gonna? How she like? She met you one night. How's she gonna? Explain well, that was your question, you? Look, I want to have would a baby, breed, but Tom, would you breed up Kelly LaRue? No. <laughs> Fair enough. Me, neither would that. But I don't know. I just I was hoping you'd say yeah. Um, someone would though. Come on, bro. What really? someone her own age? She's a celebrity. Of course, someone would. I'm very confused. That, I How think old what is she's she? doing, she's got to be 50. Know. She's got to be nah, 50. No, 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 43, 44, something like that. You know what I mean? 45. Right. Like. But so um, she's well over the threshold, isn't it? Well, actually, is she that old? And is she I think that 42 is like the, the top level of the range? Mm. So she's going to need help anyway, isn't it? She's going to need screening to make sure the baby ain't got thing, Down syndrome. She's going to need IVF to make sure that the, the seed goes through. Do you get me? There's a lot of work going into this. Like, she's really needing someone to be on board with all that, that, like, that difficulty from the beginning. Like, she can't just meet someone and, and rock them into better, that, though, that a, kind of um, fucked up lifestyle. Would it be better than just having a sperm donor that you'd never meet? I think, no. quite, I think the fact that is someone who's co-parenting and he might be offering like an unlimited amount of Ooh, sperm, isn't it? Natural, but... To get her through the process. Because I think if you just pay for the, the sperm the one time, I don't think she could do it. How's she going to do it? Do you get me? What man would sign up to that, though? I don't... I don't know. Trudeau? You there? Zulu? What do you not think about this? Sorry, I'm dealing with a pill epidemic. It, it's mad, isn't it? The, the, the germs that Zion, are going around. Zion says she's 48. Zion says she's 48. Yeah, so she's 15, wow, as I say. By the time she mad. meets someone. Why does she... What, the real question is, why does 48-year-old Kelly Lerup want to have a baby? You know what? Maybe this is fake. Maybe this is actually fake. All right. Doesn't feel right. It just feels like a spoof, like a little. A spoof. Why is she doing that spoof to herself, though? Is this real? Let me see, ma'am. A big woman, though. I don't. I can't imagine a woman of her age, of her generation, spaffling. They pay these people a lot of money to promote these things, you know. I was watching a video oh. with um, Chunks earlier, and he was mm. saying that they were offering him like eighty bags. Just to uh, advertise some Irish uh, gambling uh, thing, like app. They were like, yeah, if we'll yeah. fly you out, do a couple of adverts, get me 80 bags, one day's work. Do you get me? Mm. Like, they pay these people a lot of money like to put their name to their, to their uh, services that they're providing. So apparently she's going to be in some show called There's No Housewives in the South. Huh? She's going to be on a show called There's No Housewives in the South. What's that, South London? I'll believe it if it's South London. (laughs) South London, London, bro. (laughs) Nah. What's going on with all these English people trying to imitate um, housewives of whatever, all these (laughs) American... They've been on that, huh? Like, what is this? It's not cute, man. Don't do it. Don't bring it here, man. (laughs) Now the producers know what they're after. They know. They know the winning formula. Oh, let's start somewhere, baby. West. Let's work our way up. <laughs> <laughs> There's no housewives in the Everyone's south. Dying, like in the house skets. after a week. No. no this is they're really not all skets in the south. They're really not. Really? Not like yeah, of course not. Why would they be all skets in the south? They're not scared. I don't think they were known for being scared. No, nah, that's not what it's about, man. 
Can't be generalizing an area like that. You think one area, all the girls are just one way? No, I don't think they're, I mean, they're, they're, they've got a, they're, well, they're maybe wild. Not, I wouldn't say they're scared, but, but, like, I would just say they're unruly, yeah. unruly, strong characters, yeah, hey guys, unta- it's untamable. Hi. Our show, No Housewives in the South, goes live on YouTube on the 21st of October. Catch the premiere at 12 pm. Click this little link over here, and you can basically subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with all the shenanigans of all the girls. and we also have free giveaways happening every week. What is what are you not trying to do? The shenanigans with the girls. I don't know, man. Girl, am I lost? Women are lost. Absolutely don't generalize, lost. Don't generalize, please. Now you can't say all women are lost. You can't they're lost, <laughs> man. They're, they're women you're are right, lost. You're man. writing off half the human species right now. They're lost. Yeah, don't, they're lost. Don't they're generalize. Lost. Don't generalize. Oh my god. The, the women are lost. They, they just need so much guidance. So much guidance. <laughs> they're so far away from like what are you? You got way too much spare time. <laughs> like me and the girls, like you some I hate when I hear big women chatting like little girls. Oh, me and the girls, shut the fuck up, man. You had that cell has that ship has sailed where you're doing girlfriends and oh yeah, we're, allow it now. It's supposed to be someone's mum. Or grand. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 40, 48. Yeah. But I feel like if they don't have kids, they just sort of get stuck in that mode. <clears throat> it's very hard for them to get out of it. Has she not got kids though? I swear she's got kids. She must have. That's a bit weird. It's like they there's an age. Kelly LaRock ain't got, got no out. use. For real, for real. I find that hard to believe. What kind of lifestyle she's been living, man? Blue red is offering to <laughs> be a sperm daddy. A renter daddy. <laughs> hey, please, I don't think you want that one. All right, family. Sorry, while I'm looking for content, yo, you look come off mute. Who there's some couple of you lot on there just not even chatting. What happened to you lot? What do you want us to talk about? Oh, Pooh Girl and Zulu. What, what's going on? Can we get your attention? Yeah, respectfully, ma'am. Streaming's, streaming's not really for me anymore. I'm not even that streaming guy like I used to be. I'm just, I just not that guy. I can't do this awkward silences and no one chatting and everyone's jumped on and poor Sarah and Khan. They've given their opinion, man. Where's you lot on the panel? What was that noise? I don't know who's making that noise, man. Is that is it um I mean, I, I cactus? I no, think I so. Right there. No, okay. But I'm yeah. but I'm genuinely dealing with something crazy right now. And mm. I think well, I well, tell us what happened. Well, a nappy no. has exploded basically. No, I've been in the kitchen cooking the curry, I've walked in. Uh-oh. And my son, my son is sitting in his high chair eating his food. Well, he's finished eating his food ages ago, but he's just sitting in his high chair. And uh, yeah, there's just poo everywhere, all over the high chair, all over him. All over Shani, the do you know what I thought about when you said the curry and the poo? The video yesterday with the woman oh. the <laughs> <laughs> next to the poo. Nah. I'm just saying to you guys that I've been dealing with a poo day, a shitty day. Today. <laughs> like I woke up this morning to a poo army, but poo all over the bed covers. Oh, how? Because the because the nappy is I don't know. It's just like I don't know the baby and the poo army. Well, they just got and it, loose pool. I think that's, yeah, I think is it the baby yeah. does at the moment. Yeah, but she's uh. she's been introduced to new food, so that's why. Okay, so, maybe that's yeah. Okay. So there's poo all over the bed, but the nappy is split open somehow. I don't know. What? And, I said poo. Like, what? Yeah, during the day, the middle of the day, my son's gonna poo, and I'm like, all right, okay, it is, I need to change him. He's gonna poo. And I've went and got distracted for something else. Next thing I know, it smeared it all over the table. And I'm like, what? Oh, joking. Stop touching the pie. <laughs> and then it's just happened again. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
happened again there. Right. So when, the when, Habi, when, when Habi comes home, he's going to have this strange look on his face now. When what color is the curry? It's um, oh, <laughs> it's a madras, red. so it's 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 pretty red. Red, so it's, it's red. Okay, yeah. okay, Ooh. good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Oh gosh, that's not. Like, oh gosh, yeah. So I'm not being the best. Sorry. <laughs> I remember one of the last times I changed the nappy because I got to a point where I said, I'm not changing no, no, no more nappies. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wanna... well uh, if, I, if, if, my, if my children are with me and they're wearing nappies and the nappies need changing, I'm going to do it, obviously, because yeah. of my circumstances, right? But in mm. general, I ain't dealing with nappies. Nappies not my issue, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Um, uh, one time... I remember I was dressed to go out. Oh. And, and my son uh my son needed his nappy change. I was with his mum at the time. I said, Oh yo, um, she said, Oh, can you just change his nappy for you? I said, You know what? Cool. Changed his nappy. Well, wiped him up, cleaned him up, whatever. I had him, you know, when you got the fresh nappy under him, ready to do the phone oh, over. Yeah, yeah. The phone <laughs> over, my man farted or whatever, and he has sprayed <laughs> diarrhea. Yeah, from my t-shirt to my to my to my tracksuit bottoms. Oh, like, oh my wow. God. And, uh, a line oh. of line of poo squirted out like and hit me on the chest, went that on, on my trousers. I was so pissed. I was so pissed. Like, Never again. Yeah, he was basically saying, Don't go nowhere, that don't go out. Yeah, you know his mum was like, oh, well, now you're going to have to stay now, That's isn't it? Yeah. 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 Listen, wash my clothes. I'm out. Yeah, how about that? That's uh, a shame. Maybe next time. Yeah. Mm. If you ain't been pooed on by your youths, then you ain't lived That's life. That's normal, long. though. I don't think... I've yeah. never met anybody who has it. That's just part of life. Right, exactly. Pooed <laughs> on, sick on. Honestly... Can I just let you guys know that majority, like literally 99% of my clothes are house clothes because yeah. Yeah, I can't be wearing my outside. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like right now, the T-shirt that I put on fresh out of the shower from earlier today mm -hmm. yeah. is now soaking wet. It's got six stains all on it. Like I'm sure there's a bit of poo. There must be poo on it. Just chuck it away, Jenny. That's not halal. Just chuck it. That's <laughs> <laughs> not halal. Uh, uh, uh. Throw it away. Just throw the kids away as well. No pooey bums. Oh. Oh. Yeah, man. And then it's toilet training. That's another thing. A mum's excused from wudu. No. 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 no what would you do? Huh? Oh, from wudu, you said. Yeah. No. no, no, no. Well, it's not my poo, so it's fine. I don't have to do wudu again. It's not my poo. It's if I had poo on me, I just have to wash my hands, right? But it's not my poo. It didn't come out of my body. Wouldn't that be more reason to, that you'd need to do it, though? <laughs> um, I, no, I don't think so. Because, like, well, if you... Someone else's somebody, poo is more unclean than your poo, right? Clearly. No, but your poo would have came from somewhere. Yeah, someone else's it, poo would have come from somewhere. Too. No, but I mean, like, it would have come from a part of your body that needs cleaning. Right. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you don't yeah. wash your bum when you do wudu. You always wash it when you do a poo. Well, if you do gusul, you do. Well, yeah, exactly. But I'm not doing that every single time I need to do wudu. And I might have done a poo in between those times. Do you know what I mean? Like, Interesting. Wait a minute. You're yeah. saying you could do a poo, do a wudu, and then go pray? Yes. I've never heard of that. Well, you think you got to do this enough to do a poo? Yeah. No. It's what? hardship, bro. You've got to wash your bum before you, like, carry on with oh, your yeah, yeah. But then, but come on, I'm, I'm washing my bum while I'm doing my, yeah. You're talking about it's in, it's in jerks, it's in 
think. Yeah, that wiping the, the muck away. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. But the but yeah. So when you do a poo, sorry, I didn't even explain that because I just thought it was standard. Wash your bum after doing a poo. Yeah, but you don't do gushing. Oh, okay. That's just long con. That, that's that's hardship. You'd never want to do a poo. You just want it in. But no, like having to shower every time you have a poo. Oh. That's for like after menstruation. <laughs> After intimacy. Alright. Alright, let me see. Is that noise cancelling cutting your voice? No, man. No, no. Shots, jelly shots, the strawberry mix, the mango mix, the cherry mix. You got this guy. No, man. Is he sponsoring the show? Sorry, yeah. before we even start, I just want to say, hold the Elsa up, London. <laughs> Rah! <laughs> Rah! This is a pre L. The first L is when you was in when you was in London. What even what part was you even repping? Never self. Nah, let her talk. I lived in what? Tooting for a bit, but I was in West London. West London. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep that Tooting thing under your hat. <laughs> in my uni days, but yeah, man. Tooting uh, ain't that shifters uh, ends. I swear, shifters from there. Oh, don't do that. What, tooting? <laughs> no, yeah. no. Or is it uh, belly? One of them. Yeah, I met Schiffer one time. Oh, 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 oh. Cherry shots associated with there's no housewives in the it's South. Human, you know. They have to reload again. That Who same that? Charlie, isn't it? Charlie. I, I know that Charlie. Oh, that's that Charlie from Big Brother, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right, she's lucky. She tried, she tried, um, my girl was mm. driving. Uh, I used to, I used to go to this girl from Fort and Eve. And she was driving. Well, I don't know if she's doing something. She phoned me, said, babe, babe. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, I'm about to beef that Charlie girl. So I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, she tried to cut me up. She tried to run up her mouth. I got in the car. <laughs> Now she don't want to get she don't want to get in the car. She jumped on her phone, think she's calling someone. So I said, like, stay right there. She told me where I was. And I got there in like five seconds. And yeah, Charlie had driven off. And yeah. I don't know. Oh, Charlie got yeah. away. She got away, man. God loves it. Yeah, she got away. Yeah, yeah. It's just so common. God loves now, you, Charlie. God loves it's you. It's not common. It's not common. How is it common? I don't know what it is about South. There's a different vibe about it. It's like it looks the same. The buildings look the same, the roads look the same, the people looks the same, yeah? But for some reason, as soon as I hit south, I get the theme tune of Only Fools and Horses going through my head of no income tax, no VAT, no money back, what? no rich or poor. Like, it just seems like I'm about. expecting Del Boy. <laughs> I'm expecting yeah. this kind of like South London just like that, bro. South London just like he's clowning. I don't know what he's doing. Bro. <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's just South, isn't it? Remember, yeah, South London, featuring places One thing like about South people are friendly, Vauxhall, though. Like, Victoria, yeah. Embankment, Southwark, Southwark, Big Bay, London Big Bridge, Bay. Borough. Like, are you mad? Like Greenwich. Um, yeah. Canary Wolf. Yeah. Do you know what you're talking about when you're talking about self? No, Canary no, 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 no. Wolf don't come under self. Yes, yeah. it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Canary Wolf's Ducklands. Ducklands That's his own thing. It's not his own thing. What are you talking about, bro? Ain't no South London, bro. It is South London. What's up, Jim? What else was that one that you said? Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, you oh, said yeah. another one that, that don't really Dockland come under South either. Docklands is South London, bruv. Mm -hmm. Is it? What's the postcode? Is it a South C? East. 
south, southeast, and then east. That's what that's what Docklands comes under because it goes wow. all the way to like Canning Town and uh, you know all them places. Mm. But it's definitely. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna have to tell you, Jebs. Um, I'm sure. Uh... Canary Wolf is aged. Canary Wolf, that's yeah. <laughs> man trying to claim Canary Wolf as well. I thought it would have been East, but I'm not sure. Yeah, people don't think of that when they think of South London, man. South London's like Lewisham, Peckham, Dulwich, Crystal Palace. Fair enough, fair enough. But definitely, but definitely. But definitely Docklands and all that, like, Greenwich. will come under south. Some parts of it, at least. Greenwich. Yeah, and can we just parts of it, say maybe, yeah. and Peckham, maybe like, the only roughest areas in the whole place. Like, there's so many nice affluent places down here. Like, literally, it's more well, affluent than, than, than West London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. well... Yeah, maybe. It is, but people maybe. think maybe. south is no grimy. You've got all Battersea, you've got Chelsea. Chelsea's still it's south true, London. It's true. It's true. Yeah. There is money. Don't try and mess with the South Londoners, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to say. Repping South. Yeah, but they just, these, these girls just took, you, took 10 steps back for you guys. Yeah. I, I want you to guys to see this because I skipped through it when I when I saw it first time and I thought it was yeah. interesting. So I'm glad we're playing it. Yeah. it Keep your teeth people on. Like, who ain't got fake people? No, I'm not fake people. Charlie, I just want to see what... <laughs> Mel oh. and Marsh. Who are they? I don't know who they are. They're twins, are they? What? Yeah, I know her, though. Like, Mel, Marsh, Marsh. <laughs> yeah. Where have they what? been on? What outfit was that? Oh, They're goodness. like half Nigerian or some shit like that, isn't it? I swear they are. Wow. Why has she got a familiar face as well? Ain't she off yeah, that thingy familiar. program? I just feel like... What like... was that? She's off a program as well. But she was much yeah. younger. She had really old faces from like way back when. I've no, forgotten about them. Well. It was like Louise a Green Hill type well. program, isn't it? Like a school Name program. Louise Hibbert. What is she from? Let's Google her. Yeah. I'm getting washed up vibes though. I can't lie. They're all are, aren't they, though? That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. They're very big. I'm getting washed up vibes. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Really? You just have to do really? What happened to you, man? It's all good. I could, I could hear that you, you felt pressured to jump on because you come on and barely said anything. Do that. Oh, Where are they finding the same light skinned woman? Like, repeated <laughs> over and over. Like, <laughs> she looks like melon. <laughs> yeah, you clones. Me? They're clones. They're clones. Oh, they've shown us six of the same fucking chick, basically. <laughs> same for, style, um, same Kelly makeup, Rock. same hair, yeah. same eyebrows. I recognise her from Saturn as well. Yeah. Jose, Jose, Josepha. Oh, Josepha is name. Josepha. Who? Josepha. 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 That is not a nice name. Josepha, Josepha. You sound like Josephus. Josepha. Oh, yeah. Josepha. Well, in, 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 Southern, in South America, it'd be Josepha, isn't it? Josepha. Yeah. Yeah. Ho? 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 Where's Miss Mona, man? Miss Mona, come through. We need you. Ho? <laughs> No, it is. I feel like I've raved with every one of these women on this. <laughs> like, yeah, I've been to, you know what I mean? I've done gun fingers in back to '95 with all of them. Shots. I've done shots with them. Who's Miss Lynn? You didn't want to stop on her, no? You didn't want to stop on Miss Lynn? 
Nah. It was not a scalp. I, I, you know what it was? I was going to say yeah, something, and I thought, let me not. Yeah. Toxic. I'm not toxic. I'm token. Mm. Another mm. token. I don't mess with women in their forties that don't have any grey hair showing. I don't mess with them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I'm not doing this oh, forever so, eternal. Bro. I'm not doing okay, this eternal you shit, it. man. Yeah, no, you know it's true because I'm 35 and I have probably about 30 percent grey hair. Right. I'm not I doing mean, this. I, I, it, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dye it. Yeah, man, love it, man. And you know, grey hair looks peng on women. It looks really good on women. Yeah, especially if you're youthful. The hair's healthy, yeah. anything. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's healthy hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, I'm Sheree Leon, CEO of Turn Back Time Cosmetics and co owner. Sorry, of Fresh can we just stop one second? Can we just stop saying we're CEO of things, please? Thank you. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, but, but she is, though, but she is the CEO. Yeah, you no, know, because you just be like founder. Founder seems a bit more, yeah, founder. Nah, is a bit more appropriate. Hated. You hated. know, if a CEO yeah. is of like an organization, like a big company, like CEOs, like that, like mm, you're the founder and director. Usually, a CEO is yeah. appointed, right? Yes, that's that's yeah, what I mean. Whereas it's the founder is, you create a business, you've got a team, and you manage your team. Five, all exactly. Right, and director, right, founder right. and director is our neighbor, right. founder business, and now I'm directing it, and I run it. Yeah. All right. CEO, all right. like, stop Point that. Basically, what you can get dropped if you're a CEO. Yeah. A bit dead. You can get what with that, but downgraded yourself. Yeah. My partner is MC Skibbity. Oh, my brother. I heard about this. I heard about this. I heard about this. So basically, yeah. there are people saying this show is super disrespectful, right? Because this brother Skibbity, who was yeah. my first musical influence, is a really mm -hmm. old school jungle MC that passed away last year or the year before. And okay. I think it was last year. So this is his girl or his baby mother. But there's a scene in it where she's chatting to him in a sort certain way and they're talking about their private life and people are saying it's disrespectful but other people are saying well he agreed to be on the show so did they release know what it mean? after he died or yeah yeah before they he... just released it oh oh yeah I don't think it's disrespectful he wanted to be on it and he died people die do you know what I mean yeah like, no, I think it's more about his memory and and and, and, yeah. and what what, yeah, but... what the show looks like but Mrs. But Sarah says it all the time. Mrs. Sarah says this is gonna be on the internet forever. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. people should recognize yeah. that whatever you do online is going to be there forever. Oh, so you might die yeah. tomorrow, you might die. If his in family four says years time, it's happen, still gonna be there. Agree. I don't think the public can talk about it. I think his family can definitely say it's not a good look. Yeah. Not and not his wife good. being one of them. Yeah, his wife being one of them, yeah. like saying, No, nah, he wouldn't have wanted it's this, but she knows him better than anybody else. So and also, he probably wants to, they were doing it to get money, obviously, or they, they think this ain't going to come off the back of it. They're clearly in a time of need. It's not a good place, so I wouldn't do that if my man died. If my man died, no, I love him. Yeah, same. I don't even want to watch it. <laughs> same, to be honest. Sorry, like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> drum and bass artist we have a beautiful child together called Skylar Marie and a stepdaughter called Asia our life day to day is absolutely crazy hey Jenny still not back yet I'm just sat up worried he's not answering his phone I don't know where he is he's always saying he's stuck on the Dartford tunnel it's like four o'clock in the morning how can you be stuck on the Dartford tunnel at four o'clock in the morning I'm getting really stressed out Jen if you're awake still can you give us a call he's always taking the piss Take who are you phoning at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> to complain about your man 
You should get backhanded for that, man. What are you not doing? This is this yeah. normal this procedure. This is South London, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is South. <laughs> you started at four o'clock in the morning. I didn't even think of it. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. If you're awake, you give me a call. 4 a.m. But you know what's bad, yeah? It's so ingrained in them, like doing all-nighters. But even she said it, right? Like, you can't get stuck in Dartford Tunnel at 4 in the morning. Yeah, of course you can't. It's so dumb. I love the standard dancer, isn't it? Why are you late, babe? I'm stuck in the Dartford Crossing. (laughs) Standard answer. But. Yeah, people are bright, man. Don't call my phone after a certain time. Honey. I can't. Know, I, you can't even. You can't even phone me, answer me. Where? What? Um, what's taking me so long? I can't take calls like that. You can't call me. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There's a way you can deliver. Right. What do you mean? Oh, wait, you're so, so, so imagine there. you're always home at a certain time, yeah, and then you're not home at that time. Then what? Would you expect your I'm, girl to call you and be like, "Where are you?" I make sure that I'm irregular for that very reason. Oh, you can't set your, yeah, you can't set your time by me. I might just do something random. Yeah, babe. Oh, yeah. I was on my way home and I went. Uh, I made a diversion, and me and Carl decided we'd get in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's or just text. Just be like, "Yo, I'm going out. Don't wait up." Yeah, man. Yeah, go sleep, man. I'm not even yeah. texting. You're not worried, in it. You know they've got their own thing or they're going to be late. Or... Yeah. But this is Skibbity. Skibba, the international German bass MC. From I've the got night. Girls, on, girls on tap. That's long. Jungle man. girls as well. Jungle girls on tap. That ain't just average girl. That ain't a joke, yeah. Oh, yeah, well. give me that. It's not average girl. You got jungle yeah. gal on tap. Four in the morning, I'm not gonna lie. Four, four in the morning, jungle race. Four stuff start. in the morning. I'm not wasting my sleep time. This chick is trying to lock down Skibbity. And this is the and, and now look, they this is the problem. We are talking about a man that has recently died, and look at the recklessness that we're we're talking about. This is why his people don't want this coming out. Because when you're dead, you just want your memory to just be what it is. You don't need no mm. new if he was a if he was alive, right. oh. But now yeah. we got we got to chat about a dead man's relationship. Okay. It's kind of yeah. because people are now who didn't know who he was, like myself. Yeah, this now, be your like, chatting about exactly. I didn't That's, know. Yeah, yeah, the last. I only know him from this. Yeah, exactly. I know him from this. I don't know him from the uh, jungle. Well, technically, this is be the last thing he ever does. So, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not well, a good look. Is always taking the piss. Takes him hours and hours to get home. He could just be in Kent and it will take him about six hours to get home. Hi, Jane. Can you tell me what time my first client's in tomorrow? <laughs> I've literally been up all night waiting for Skibber wow. and obviously he's fucking about again. And I just want to make sure that I've got enough time to get up in the morning and go and do my first client. <laughs> so, can you give us a bell or WhatsApp maybe? I'm getting home in the, the afternoon. Booking system. We came back the next day. Next day. <laughs> 24 hours later. If you got a business and yeah. you sacrifice your business to, to stay up and worry about where your where your man's not come home yet, and it's a joke thing. Yeah, but it's all for the program. In real life, yeah, yeah. you'd be sleeping with I the think she's just doing being extra in the show. She has to, like, act it up a bit. Mm. Yeah, it's just to make her yeah, like she what cares. What you got to understand is, yeah, her man, his whole... Sorry. Mm. He doesn't have a nine to five. His job is being out all night on the weekend doing music. That's his actual job. Yeah. That's true. That's true. But this don't even make no sense. He's a he's an actual MC at Raves. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And he's and he's and he's I would say he's the biggest jungle MC in the UK. In the world. He's the biggest jungle MC. Number mm. one. So what are you waiting up for? And why did you why are you married? Why were you married and had a child with a jungle MC? And now you're waiting up. <laughs> now you're waiting up at four o'clock in the morning saying, Oh, you're not home yet. Does that even make sense? <laughs> it's, it's it's so strange. Only in South London do these things happen. Yeah. 
Oh, fuck off. It's just a parallel oh, dimension. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the way we're linking now. Over the hill, over the rainbow. Yeah. You're sinking now. Oh, Lord, take your words. That's the reason I'm now. Over the hill, over the rainbow. Nimically, you're sinking why big up Skibber, D, man. R.I.P. Skibber. Big up Skibber, man. Now, oh, Lord, yeah, that's the reason I'm drinking now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's mocking it. <laughs> Why are you still wearing makeup? <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to lie. You just come that's home. Dirty, and bro. You just come <laughs> home and there's a there's a brother in your, in your bedroom filming your woman sleeping. <laughs> oh yeah, but Wait, they can we hands, rewind so. it? Are they stains on the door? I want to see if they're. Ha- Do you know the hand stains? Oh, Lord, the door? Lord, no, really the South London stains. She's got a full face beat, and she's really look at the door. Look at the door. The door's the door's blessed, bro. All right, let me see. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'll let you off. I'll let you off. Are you not? I'll let you off. Fresh trip. Nice Yo. Nah, look at her eyes. Look at her nah, eyes. Nah, she's gonna go off on him. Woo! You better say he's crazy, though. Yo, and it's for real, yeah. Makeup, sleeping, and that. Ugh. You're just yeah, ugh. disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's horrible. I literally just said it. Like you've been in makeup for 24 hours, and then the night, ugh. like, nah, it's wrong. Ugh. It's not a good look. That's why you end up with spots and. I oh, did. You ever see that video where the man was ugh. like, "Yo." But you you've been wearing you've been wearing this makeup for three days. She's like, yeah, but I paid all this money to get my face done. <laughs> How do you do that? Though? That was talent. That was talent. Like, yeah, she talent. she spent money to get her face done, so she's not she's not taking the makeup off for a couple of days. Man, my face would itch. That, yeah, that's horrible. After two three hours, I'm like, you ready? Right, Oh. oh, finally, you're back. I've been on, so babe. worried about you. You've been worried about what now? I'm always worried about you. Are you okay? How yeah. was the gig? Yeah, it was all right still, man. It was good vibes up there. Popo popped off. It was really good energy and that's all. I enjoyed that, you know what I mean? How come it took you so long to come home? Only Skibber will find an excuse that something's happened on the M25 or the M25 has been closed down. Just chilled out for a little bit, man. That was... Coming from Manchester, it's like four or five hour drive and that, so you're gonna get a little bit no, tired. So I kept on popping up on my screen saying, she's take a break, take a break now. So I had to chill out for a little bit, go and get a little coffee, chill out for a little yeah, bit. But you know I was me? ringing you and you wasn't answering. I was probably in the car while I went to get coffee and that. I don't believe that comes out of Panama. <laughs> He's come uh, all me. the way from Manchester and you're moaning. She's on him. Immediately as well. On him. Idiot. Yeah, that's not nice, ladies. Don't do that. What happened, babe? Tokyo's math. Come on, well, I was worried about you. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Really CID. Good. It's all good. I'm here now, isn't it, man? Hello. You're right, though, yeah? Yeah, well, I was just thinking to myself, I've just got all the passports sorted out for Skylar. So, passports. yeah, passports, because, you know, we're already, we can go on holiday now. And now we're not on lockdown yeah, anymore. Yeah, you know about this whole COVID situation. It's a little bit, uh, you know what I mean? You know, Alf, we've yeah. been in the house for two years, yeah. locked down. <laughs> you know I want to go on holiday. I know. I want to go on holiday as well. You know, Skylar has not even been on holiday yet. I know that, babe. Well, another thing. You I'm promised sure. me you would be taking us on holiday. <laughs> I've had to drive all the way to Lakeside to get Shelley to sign the passport. Days. Well, listen, I understand what you're saying. And that's cool, but I can't fight against the government. You know, the government rules are popping up and up there, changing. Basically, listen, basically, I had a chat from Adam yesterday. And Adam was like, I was talking about getting me a booking for ID for you know what I mean? I beef her. I beef her. Are you having a laugh? You think you're having a laugh, mate? No. I just feel like the energy is so mad. I just could I never know. live in South London. I just couldn't do it. That, bro, this ain't even South boy London. This is, I will slap you. This speak more like you than, than us, bro. What are you talking huh? about? This chick, not born and ra- nah, this chick ain't born and raised in South London, bro. So she's what, in what South now because she's linking a South yeah. man, but she's not born and raised. That, that's East London. No way. Or Essex, even. She's oh. South London through and through, yeah. She's fucking South London, bro. She is, she is man. Mm. Bro, there's no... South London women don't sound like that, bro. What's wrong with you? Uh, that's East or Essex. Okay. Can anyone yeah. else uh, agree? You're forgetting about Empress Becker. Oh, Empress Becker ain't from South? She's from South. She's from actually from Hackney, bro. She moved to Hackney. Like this, no, no, no. no. Like she's she from Hackney, bro. She I'm moved to Hackney. 
She's not from South. She's bro. from South. From South, bro. From, She's from South. She's not from South. Bro. What about uh, I think Jupiter? Jupiter, yeah, Jupiter, but she's from that like, fucking that way, Eltham. I don't know what they're like up there. <laughs> that way. I don't know what that is. She ain't been in Eltham her whole life, though. Yeah, she's ethics. She gives me ethics vibes. Just the whole vibe is ethics. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. That's what South London chicks are like, this man. No, they're not, bro. They're not. I do right. know a couple of South girls. They're What's not. her name? I'll Google her right now. And I they're not going to be coming. Oh my God, where have you been? All that whole weird, sort of dippy, sort of. Nah. South girl probably cut you at the door. <laughs> <laughs> probably be there, Bradley. You're saying she's door, Essex, like, yeah? Because she's got her hair straightened. She's Essex. No, just her, no, her accent. Yeah. Her energy, her accent. This is really, style. yeah, this is really bad. This You're going to really... go on a jolly up to Abby for while I'm sat in the house with Skylar? Babe, listen to me. I haven't worked for two years. Oh, my God. You're coming in now telling me that listen, bullshit. I'm not, it's not 100%, but I'm oh. just saying that there's been an inquiry for Abby, so obviously I've got to follow it up, right? Well, oh, you can take <laughs> me and Skylar with you. Uh, yeah, but we'll see how it goes, isn't it? Obviously, I have to speak to the man, then speak to Adam. They're supposed to be going on a private jet. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how I'm private you and... jet. Trust me, I've been there before, and I won't tolerate him giving me the verbal diarrhea and his MC bullshit. Oh, Listen, so it's a it, right shot. It's, it? it's not 100 percent confirmed yet. Do you know, it's not 100. So just chill. Yeah, you know, we have to still have to sort things. You have to speak to my agent or whatever. And so not... when is all this gone on? I just see a message from him last night and I was like, oh. So wow, you see this... the message from last night and you can to tell me or bring me up no, I'm driving while I'm driving all the way to fucking Lakeside. Right, listen, I had I thought, let me get home first, speak to you, just let you know. I don't want to cause myself too much issues and stress when I'm on the road. You need to chill out a little bit. You're moving like... Chill, yeah, chill out. Chill, chill out. out. No, I'm it's not, not chilling out. It's not even out. guaranteed. I'm it's, not chilling out. It's not even guaranteed here. We it's are going on holiday, okay. and I mean it. I'm yeah, putting my yeah. foot down because we haven't we haven't been on holiday. I've been stuck in this house for two years and not even seen a bit of sunshine. And you're coming up telling me you're going to go on a jolly up with the lads I'm not, on a private jet. It's not even guaranteed. It's just an inquiry at the moment. So you just need to chill out. Let me speak to the man. Let me speak to my agent and find out what's going on. Just chill out, man. You're taking oh, the fucking piss. My days, you're listen. taking the hey, piss. Please. I know he's on stage doing his lyrics. Ooh, ooh. What about me and Skylar? I'm out, fucking sick of this oh, shit. Right, cool, cool. Honestly, I've had a fucking up of you. Oh my days. Oh Bear, my right, cool, cool. god. Oh god. Yeah, Don't sleep on the couch. Yeah, yeah. Believe you're gonna do oh, this. God, you're go. taking the piss. All right, cool, I cool. fucking oh, hate you. All right. Jesus Christ. Oh, my nah, god. this isn't right, man. This is so wrong. Like this should not have been aired. This is exactly. Brocious. I am so offended. And it's not even you see me. It now, isn't it? Yeah. That you see it now. Brocious. That's her just mother. Died. Her children are gonna see that. Nah. What well, this is South London standard. This is a Jupiter Tree Tommy, sector. Trashy behavior. This is normal. Like, nah, That's not my I brother. Fucking no, you you the that fucking laugh, you are. You are like, standard. Going on a trolley up. <laughs> How the fucking lad weekend away while I'm fucking in here with a fucking kid? <laughs> you no. fucking. Now you know why all these people are the way they are, bro. I can't word. That was all that was left out. I'm telling you at that point. Everything else was said. This nah, that was, really, that was just. He's lucky he's only sleeping on that couch in there because I ain't having this. I agree. Hi, though. darling. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How are yeah. you? I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Are I you know. okay? I'm so glad to be set back here. Oh, what we're going to do today for those beautiful lips? I just really want like the shape at the top. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more Should we... <laughs> now you laughed when you saw her beautiful lips. Stop it, man. The lack Stop of it. lips. <laughs> no, the way she said the beautiful. Why are you lying to her like that? Man, I have to zoom in. <laughs> she does. I, 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 I have to zoom in to see them. Stuff out there. <laughs> pre fuck up. That's the pre fuck up. Like yeah. before they get fucked up. Nah, yeah. man. That was this like, is like, what South, South London's like, though. Bro, South London. Have you got a problem, bro? You yeah, he's gonna jump and kind of fuck you up. Bro. I just had the bad experience recently. Round about the when thingy the area. Is attacked, man, mind yourself. He's gonna just come. past Greenwich. <laughs> yeah, this you're up that way. Deep southeast, deep southeast. I'm from southeast, but boy, those areas are largely unknown to the man. Them, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. And, yeah, you have to talk to Shifa and them man, their motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That direction. yeah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, Jupiter, this is how should we how go for was. Russian? Because yeah, everyone's you know, you know every, best, just do what you want. Everyone's having Russian lips at the minute. How's Skylar? I see her on social media. She looks Russian lips. 
Let's see what they look like. I think washing lips are like the really oh, flowy she's doing lips. so well. She? She's doing lots of How modeling she and stuff. She is um, 12 months old. Oh, she looks so cute on there. Oh, no, she's just uh, she's at that stage where she's just awake all night. She's not really oh, sleeping. And it's like, oh, do you know when they go through that teething stage? Tell me about it. And then they get you up at 3 o'clock yep. in the morning. You're like, oh, please, God. You're lying. You was up 3 o'clock in the morning for skibbity, doing security <laughs> and that. And yeah, chatting to your friends. That yeah, you've been doing, doing track and trace and that on your man. <laughs> I know. Tonight, I know. Tonight. And you know you've got to get up in the morning and you're just like, wow, I just can't so do that. It's how do you do it? How do moms do it when you've got Honestly, to like be up all night? All I can say is thank God for makeup. It's been well hard. You just don't <laughs> feel like you don't stop, don't you, sometimes, especially when you've got a baby. No, this is just and it feels like country. I suppose it feels like he's always out and you know even though it's work he's at clubs I suppose and he's at clubs every yeah weekend. so he's having fun and and he's got women throwing it themselves I at can him imagine. every weekend yeah oh talk about the bloody devil oh what do you mean you need to borrow the car Okay, 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 all right. Well, listen, let's talk about this when we go home. I've got a needle in my hands and I'm just about to do a client. All right, bye. You all right? Oh, just skipper. He wants to use the car. But, oh. you know, when he takes the car, I've got no baby seat. You know, I've got no way of taking the car around. It's lava, isn't it? Yeah, I can't take him out in his sports car. He's got, like, this Mercedes, but I can't even put the baby seat no. in the sports car. Right, you ready to get these? Steady hand, girl. Why can't you put the baby seat in a sports car? Just ask him. That is very odd. Like, what sports car do they have? Yeah. There's no way you can't. Even if it's a two seater, you can. Yeah, I've seen baby seats in sports cars. Yeah. I'm kind of confused. I've never seen a car you can't put a baby in. To be fair, <laughs> my life. Mm. And um, and, and yeah. you know what? Yeah, <laughs> it's just gonna annoy me. But you've just come off the phone. Obviously, you're doing this show and whatever, and you've got this client. Are you gonna? Tell the client the content Your of the phone call. Mm. What the fuck is going mm. on? Do now, my next thing is this. Are you thing. going to now wipe down because that phone's got to be dirty? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Right? That's true. Yeah. Oh, really? the phones are dirty. You know phones are dirty. they got yeah, spit 100%. on it and everything. Like, come on, man. Oh, no, definitely after that. Let's see. Wow. Oh, no, she held her nose. Wow. Right, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit at the bottom to give them a little That's bit of shape better. and definition. Blow. Oh, perfect. Oh, I love them. Oh, you are the best, Sheree. What should you do, though? I just thought that should be the best one. <laughs> Ready to see a change. My name's Marsha. My name's Mel. <laughs> and together, <laughs> we are in... Um, we are in... Blood <laughs> What? I want to know what island is responsible. <laughs> he just looking to, to dispatch what some kind of error. Yeah. Uh, what island is Nua? So we're in a group. <laughs> together. We are in Nua. So we're in a group. Girl group together, sisters. A duo. Uh, we make hip hop and R&B. Um, both rap, both sing. This is more South London. <laughs> Yo, they, yeah. they, look, they look dangerous, boy. I don't know where I've gone. I don't know what you I mean. They look lovely. Like I think they're lovely. They're pretty, though. They, they just look dangerous. I, I don't know. Well, they do how? Like they will cut you. Um, I don't know how to expect. They just look dangerous. They just look like, just look like problems. They look like headaches. They'll set you up. They look like lineup girls. They just look like <laughs> headaches. Bro. You can't tell her nothing, man. Trust me. She, what? You know Sorry. when they say there's someone... You know when they say there's always someone better than you? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, she's <laughs> yeah, she, so she knows them. She knows oh, them. Right. Yeah. He, he owes he owes her a favor. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He'd do anything for her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you, I get you. Yeah, they went to school in that. Oh yeah, oh no. I just call him Dwayne. You call him Killer. I just call him Dwayne. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, he's such a sweetheart, man. Grew up with me. You know I mean, we're like brothers and sisters. I used to babysit him when he was a baba. Yeah, yeah. Was it a serial killer when I knew him? I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they're mini raps. Uh, uh, wait, let me ask you. Yeah? Out of questions, out of well, not out of questions, <laughs> out of interest, man, them. What happened to Zulu, man? You should have stayed, Zulu. Oh, it's just us. Where's everyone gone? Jump on, family. Jump on, Zulini. 
Tony, work one. Mood jump best. On, I'm in here for like 40 minutes. Please, man. Life. Jump on, jump on, jump on. Mills, look at you lot, man. Hodge, Rion. Man, you lot are depressing me, man. Jump on, people. This shouldn't be said. Just get on. Yeah, really, we need Shiffer for this. Yeah. <laughs> Mood best don't know nothing She's about Mona and it would have been scummy sides. Uh, you don't know I'm nothing. Fine Mona. Mood best, no point you jumping on, bro. North London. We're too classy for this lot. Wow. No. Now I've been North London. You can't really class you as a Alright, cool. I was gonna I was just gonna ask which one's the better looking one. Uh, about the same, one. and they're twins. Yeah, I, I thought they were twins. She, no, they, she needs to turn around. They're not identical, yeah. Why? Because that, that, that angle is not good, is it? Both right, but... yeah. I like the one on that side, what was the right side? Hmm. You're right, yeah. Yeah, the right of the screen. This one, so. this yeah, one, yeah, that one, yeah. You sure? Oh, hold on, play it again. So, uh, we make keep pop and RB. Um... Both. That one's got softness to her cheeks, in it? The other one just looks very... Sh Unless it's the makeup. The other one looks... Um... Both. Seeing... Oh, that... that oh. Yeah, nah. Oh, they look better here than both of them look better here. Yeah, way better. The other one's way too better. much makeup. It's too masculine. It's too... Yeah. It's a bit dominatrixy, isn't it? Strong, yeah. Like her face looks so strong here. Ages her as well. The one on the left looks like she'll kill you. Oh, These are the the left. them like Croydon chicks, isn't it? These are yeah. from that like, Croydon. Them yeah, that one's got a softer face. The other one, she that's looks, why I picked that. She looks like she makes a mean <laughs> sweater. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I wasn't trying oh, to attribute her. <laughs> together. We are in. Nah, she does, though. She looks, there's something about her, man. She looks scary. The one on Actually, the, one on the right looks, I, I, looks normal. I, I'm, going for the, I'm going for the one on the left. Nah, mm. what's, 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 what's you, attracting bro? you? What, what, what's attracting you to that? I, I just prefer her. Why? 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 What, what, what? Why? Any particular features? Um, she's got a slimmer face. And yeah. the other one is a bit more is more jewelry, right? And shouldery. The one you're saying is more pretty, is more jewelry. Which and one's got the biggest shoulders, bro? I know you got a thing about shoulders. The one, the one that you look like. <laughs> her face is just always mentioned shoulders, <laughs> isn't it? Shouldery, I'll get you. Yeah, he's, avoiding, not, you see, he's subconsciously yeah. avoiding, no, 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 this is avoiding way, the shouldery one. This is way more and her boob jobs a bit more. If it's a boob job. And a boob job, this boob job, yeah. It's a lot, um, yeah it's a bit what, do you not think she's prettier in this shot that I've paused it in? She looks nicer there where you stopped it before. I don't know, it was something about the shadows or yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong. I agree. That's why I was I'm in an R they were both giving me Xena Warrior Princess. This looks <laughs> a little bit, isn't it? This looks much better, like she looks cute here. The left yeah. win here, but the other one, no way. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Uncle shot, Tony, man. claim claim one of them. Huh? I said claim, Yo, claim man, one of the book them. is still on my bread out. You're Hold on bookie. a minute. Let me just focus. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in a bookie. That's why I didn't jump on before. Say no, I said um, claim claim one of these two. <clears throat> I can't even see them clearly. Hold on a minute. Um, Are they twins, yeah? Are these twins? Oh, one Mark, you're up and brother. Nice. Everything, Chris? Yeah, boom. Which one of these look good to you? Can you see? Oh, yeah, text along. You know you're on a program right now. You're on a channel, you know. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> you never know that. Which I'm one? Just tell me which one you want. One on the right. One on the right. The one on the right. She looked decent. One on the right, yeah. The one, yeah. I can see a bit of titty there and all that. Yeah, she look all right. I'll go for right as well until I reach my yard and put on my glasses. All right, then, all right. Why are you saying that she's the boss? One out of two. No, the, I'm saying the one on the right so, um, was born a boy, isn't it? <laughs> what? 
I don't fuck around, bro. <laughs> is this <laughs> nah? <laughs> nah, you're having a stop in it. Nah, nah, you're I, having a stop there, isn't it? You can't be that I'm playing. Not, not <laughs> like, what? Nah, nah, he's only fucking around. Let me go from you, Tia. I can't be that with nobody. Yeah. In <laughs> Nua. So we're in a group, girl group together, our sisters, a duo. Uh, we make hip hop and R and B. Um, both rap, both sing. She mainly raps. Yeah, yeah she's like, a lead vocalist. I do a little bit of backing vocalist, but we're kind of putting a new spin on old school music. I'd say old school R and B. Hey! Hello! How are you? Hey! Yeah, I won. Hey. How, are you guys doing? How are you? I won. I won. You look fucked up. I won. What? I was yeah. literally better. Look. Have they swapped sides now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you won. Yeah, you won. Yeah, you won. I won. Hands down. Hands down. Yeah, the one you, you look picked, you got a white yeah. face, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you won, man. The one on the right looked decent now, though. Yeah, the one on the right. She was the one on the, on the, she right. Was the, one on the right on the left before. Oh, sides. she was on the left before. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, the one yeah, on the right looks the right, so right now. Right. They look so different. Yeah, they're shapeshifters, man. Make up, yeah. Right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Let's jump over, get changed, we'll come oh, back and get ready. All right, let's go. All right. Easy, get stuck in. Yeah. So we went to have a photo shoot with uh, Charlie in Deptford. We had the idea of like these raunchy outfits. It goes oh, wow. with the new single. Pretty much naked. <laughs> Covered the gold chains. So, <laughs> Charlie's enjoying this. That's a cute, that's cute. Charlie's enjoying this. That's, that's a, sorry, is, is, that, is that 9 or, t- or 24 characters? Does anyone know? Yeah, I, don't, I was trying to work it out, man. Okay. Cuban links. I was trying to, trying to work it out. Just, they used to make it? I was just admiring like, the... Um, I was just admiring the, the, the craftsmanship and the, the handiwork. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's amazing. What it's is amazing. that tattoo, though? The tattoo looks terrible. Which one? The arm one? Yeah, the arm one. The other one's not bad. That? I like the other one. Is that ivory white, seashell white, eggshell white? I'm not sure. I love the other one. The other one's <laughs> With a boner. <laughs> <laughs> It's very us, that outfit. Exactly. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Mel! Oh, what? Sorry, people in the um the, the comments are asking if you can rewind it a couple of seconds. I don't know if that's something you want to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear you. What did you say, bro? I was oh, see people in the comments just uh, said if you could rewind it a couple of seconds. I don't think they... Uh, Miss Mona, come on, jump on to it. Sorry. I'm just... I've just stepped away from the laptop. I'll be back. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, this laptop oh, malfunctioning again. Yeah, yeah, you know, frozen, I'm, yeah I, unfortunately, I don't have any control over this. What's going Apple, on? Right in now. Apple, just pick the We just have to wait it. till the, you know what I mean? It, the technical difficulties are sorted. Oh, oh, uh, oh, broken again. He's uh, broken again. Uh, uh, broken again. Uh, 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 I hit the paper. What the hell is going on? Yo! <laughs> 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 yeah, that was where we was at with that. <laughs> Should we do some more? Yeah. Yeah, high fives. High what fives. is the only fan? What is the only fan? You... They're artists, I think they're doing just... photos. Sisters, though, man. Why? Are, like, it's a bit. It's weird. Incestuous. Yeah. What's weird? Your sisters, you're all like yeah, but then catchy that's what feeling. Says, isn't it? Hands Weirdly. on with each other. Mm. Yeah, man. They're selling something. They're selling a the product, isn't it? So. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Mm. <laughs> Sexy, racy. <laughs> yeah. 
na pa ibig sabi na pa ibig Charlie was really sweet, he's really yes, easy sick. to work with, just nice, made you feel comfortable. So ladies, we smashed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies. Awesome. Thank you. 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 Be honest, in these so photos, Gucci, you can direct to the Hi, my name is Kelly LaRock. I'm predominantly known for being a singer, a garage singer, although I sing all different types of music. I'm also creative. I love doing DIY, so I like to do a lot of epoxy resin. I'm quite well known for that as well. Everyone loves epoxy resin. Um, and I'm an entrepreneur. I'm super single and have been for four years. I have no love life to speak of. I am celibate and um, I don't see that changing anytime soon, unfortunately. So I was considering getting a sperm donor and then my friend told me about um, getting a co-parent in sperm donor. So I basically um, did a bit of digging, I contacted an agency and um, they set me up to go and meet some guys that could be possible co-parent in sperm donors. I think that I like the idea because I was like, I didn't want to do it by myself. And I, I could, thought maybe this is the next best thing into just getting a sperm donor and doing it by yourself and being a single parent. You know, get somebody who gives you their sperm but also wants to have an active role in the child's life. Does anyone want to say anything about this? <coughs> no. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing until it's big odds that turns up. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to spend his whole time talking about Jedi. <laughs> Get her warmed up. <laughs> I'm black, you know. I don't wear. <laughs> Talking about the beaches in Karachi. <laughs> ah, look at this guy that's turned up. This is fake. This is this fake. Is this really is fake. fake. I yeah, she's doing something to sort of get attention for whatever. Yeah, okay, Chris Akabusi. Chris Akabusi. Kelly the Rock. It can't be true. How wonderful to oh, finally no. meet you. What the Give fuck? me a chance and I will dance. Oh. And later on. No. Nah. <laughs> definitely Chris, definitely Chris, like Chris Akabusi. Marcus <laughs> <laughs> this man did a spin. <laughs> what is the world coming to? Yeah. Spin. I should not be laughing this hard. Hey, this is sick, man. This is fucking oh, sick. Man, I'm fuck up my man plea aid, you know. Proper. <laughs> yeah, she did. Gibson. Nice to meet you, Marcus Hamilton. The Gibson. pleasure is mine. Hello. Are these for me? Absolutely. Thank you. I'm so pleased. That can't, that can't be the donor. That can't be the donor. No, it's one of them. One of them. She's like, she's going to go on donor blind date. Okay. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. You know this isn't a, a blind date, don't you? Absolutely. I know exactly why I'm here. Oh, my God. He's a gorgeous love. Thank you so much. Well, I thought I'd make the effort if I was going to be the chosen one. Sound like a murderer. Well, I thought I'd make the effort. Fuck it, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was parting out. I thought, oh shit, look, he's going, he's going. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why did his head look like a? Why did his head look like a scab, bro? What's, what's going on? Uh, bro, it's over for you, bro. See how these big ages. This is what I don't want for Eunice or Zulu. To just end up in in the desperate zone where it's all of this stuff going on. Yeah, because mm. your prime years, you know, like can we, trust me, it will become a phobia of letting go and did it there, and before you know it, you're just like, yeah, I don't even know it's if harder, I really want harder, it. Isn't it. Yeah, it does. 100%. Yeah, I know bare sisters. You yeah. know they wanted it, kids, but the they longed it out. They didn't go for it. Yeah, and now they ain't got kids in it. They, they, they don't have the kids. option, but then they play it out. They play it. Yeah, you, I don't want it, but you do. Yeah, you just don't have that option at the moment. Crazy. Big up, chefs. Wow. <laughs>
Big up, Chefs. All right, the ships. Fuck you. Big up, Please. big up, family. <laughs> Sorry, I can hear you guys. It's <laughs> ringing because my my uh, uh, you know my internet's a bit slow, guys. Come on now. Big up, ships. Ships. I don't know what do you, what do you think about a co-parent sperm donor? What is that, by the way? Co-parent sperm donor. How does that work? <laughs> Cause like you know, like a sperm donor, normally they just go sperm bank and then the woman goes sperm yeah, they bank. Choose. And the sperm. Right. This one, mm -hmm. you select the don and you raise the you together. A co-parenting where the sperm. Donor. Yeah. Oh. So it's like it's right. Like he's not really man. involved. It's not his sperm. No, it's gonna be. But his you just sperm, choose yeah. a man. No, it will be his. Oh, sperm. it's gonna be his sperm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. 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 So, so she so picks. Say for instance, she picks you, and then yeah. you agree with her, like yeah. to raise the child. Yeah, okay, got ya. Yeah, like a but like, ain't that just like doing it normal and then just breaking up? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a man. It's an X, but it's not an X. It don't make no sense. It's just, it's just the, the weirdness yeah. in which the world's going, bro. Yeah, you get me. It ain't gonna. That's a long you know, route. Simple. Yeah, yeah, do like, a one night stand. Yeah. Do a one night stand, yeah. and the law will support you to get him to co-parent. <laughs> well, my thing is, yeah, if you're able to Big like, up line all the time, someone, Big up say Rob, boom, you want to have a pick me with, and then you yeah. wanna you wanna raise the child, why not actually give it a chance and say, you know what, let's try and actually do this, like, and and see if it goes somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's the point? I don't, I don't think sperm donors pick off character or anything. It's just certain characteristics a person might have they don't care about the person's character do they mm, true no i don't think they do it's how the person looks i'm just saying if it. you're willing mm. to raise the child with someone what, what mm. are we doing like it's yeah just exactly dumb. It's it's so, yeah. It's so like like you're just, yeah, you're just creating you issues. Like you're creating way more issues. Okay, so on the weekend or half of the yeah. week, the youth's got to go. You got to go drop the child to the dad, and it's long blood. Like I know people do this it's anyway, but that's yeah. the actual issue. But my thing is, yeah. you're actually choosing this life. You're choosing like to do. Does he go on the birth certificate? This? What is he referred to when he picks up the kid? Like, I don't... I think there's, there is some that. positives to it, though. There's some positives. Think about Sperm it. Dad. There's, like, a whole agency doing the whole screening process. Like, there's nothing mm -hmm. really weird going to turn up. Like, you're with someone. Three years later, you find that her brother's a serial killer or something mad. Like, they've already done all the checks and everything. Yeah. So, there is some sort of positives yeah, to it so, as yeah. well. And it's like, if someone's in a relationship... Saying, like, I might be in a relationship, like... innit? I might be married. Yeah, sorry, but I've got really good swimmers. Get me. Yeah, yeah. Go on. I can still donate, innit? It's just really odd. Yeah, but it's not just donating. If I'm with yeah. someone who don't want to have kids as well. Nah, but you're going parents' evening as well. It's not just donating. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. a whole thing. I bring my, I bring my, my girlfriend yeah. with me, innit? Yeah, I can see that happening, actually. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can see that as a thing. It could yeah. happen. It could happen. Like you could be with someone I mean, who don't want to have listen, kids. It happens day to day, isn't it? Like because when you look yeah. at relationships that end, you know, they end up not working out, and you're having to co-parent with, you know, the person you was once in a relationship. So that happens anyway, isn't it? So and gays do it. The, gays the, the do school, the school meetings, the parent evenings, and all of that. Huh? Yeah, gay, gay, gay men and women they do surrogate as well. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, when you choose somebody, yeah. you're, when you choose and get to know somebody and all that, it's different to you just walking up to somebody and saying, "Yeah, you know what? You look good to me. I want to have you, you." And should we yeah. co-parent? It, it yeah. just seems, yeah, it just seems weird, man, to me. You know what? It's going to be obviously. Let me, let, me, right, let me put it to you this, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Eunice has reached mm. the, gra the grand old age. Of 35, right? Yeah. And he's linked up with Unique. Well, you and Unique's there, yeah? And then they're like, you know what? As friends, I like what you like. We're the same religion. We've got yeah. the same interests. Yeah. we got the same values. Mm. 
And that's why we're both single, because we're waiting for what we deserve. So mm-hmm. let's me and you just have a have a child and we, right. we can skip the relationship bit and just raise them together as friends. And we can raise this child together because I trust you and I trust what you're on. What do you think about that? Because on the surface, on the surface, everything might seem okay. Yeah, yeah. But then as soon as the baby comes along now, all of a sudden you realize that the other person is nuts. It's not who you thought. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, it's not who you thought they were. <laughs> and if there's conflict, <laughs> then what happens? How do you talk? <laughs> but do you yeah, know? Do you know what as well? Yeah, mm. I find I find that I find that decision very selfish. I do find it quite mm-hmm. selfish anyway. To like, why? Like, because you're not thinking about the child in this situation. Mm. Why not? Why mm, exactly. Not uh, why? Why are you not thinking about the child? Mm. You're, you're thinking just the mundane things. That... Mm? You're thinking, Shebs, yeah, that sorry, this guy... my internet. Yeah, go you're on, Jeds. Thinking... Yeah, you're thinking this guy is a banging dude. Like I love him. Like he's my brethren, and I know he'll make a good dad. So you are kind of thinking yeah. about the you, no? Okay. Yeah. You never can tell so when positive. somebody's going to be a good parent, though. You you never can tell when somebody's going to be a good parent, though. Until yeah, there's a whole screening process. Drop. There's a there's an agency that looks into your medical conditions medical, and your your health medical. and your your family. No, just parenting. Just, like they, just parents. Just parenting. Yeah, in general, like going to the school plays. You know, mm. uh, you know, dropping them to football. You know, no, carrying no, them no, around, this is, choosing this is clothes. Through an agency. This is for agency. So I can say I don't want anyone who's got a Chinese grandmother. <laughs> I don't want anyone who's got a history of cancer. cancer. I don't want anyone with mental health issues. I don't want anyone who's been unemployed for more than six years. But can you know that these agencies don't don't get it right either? You know these agencies don't get it right either. Yeah, because them things, they change all the time, bro. And for instance, you might have someone you might have someone with all all ten half-brothers and sisters, bro. Exactly. All of their information. And you might have someone who looks completely normal, like unique, and the baby comes out looking all Chinesey, and you're like, what the fuck happened, unique? It's like, I'm going to tell you you my great-grandmother was was Chinese. Allow unique. Allow unique, man. This is getting ridiculous now. She looks normal. She's a person who looks normal. Give me an example. Yeah, allow unique, man. It's Omlisha. It's Omlisha. (laughs) 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 Omleta. You need you just need to jump on this. But Eunice is definitely out of the picture. (laughs) Eunice is not like even like I think with someone like Eunice, he's got less chance of meeting someone on a dating site. I can't. If someone like Eunice go against him. Eunice ain't looking to meet nobody, man. Poor stone. I can understand yeah. Eunice's generation doing this, but to these people from their generation to do such a thing, throw yeah. humanity in the bin. Throw humanity in the bin. What it means is... What it's it a generation that's all marriages. And... It means one of two things, right? Either you was too fussy, too picky, yeah, too fussy. or, or yeah. you are trash. Oh, there's more options, so people don't care anymore. No, just go with the fussy. Either one, either one, either one, you're done, fucker. <laughs> Let's just go with the fussy. <laughs> Even when you up more than your trash. Speak up yourself, Big up, Mona. Oh, Mona, I can see me and you doing this, Mona. Sorry, doing what? Having a a (laughs) co-parenting arrangement. No, I can't because I I give the child to you, give the money to you, and say look after the child. Yeah, that's what co-parenting is. That's it. Okay, well, if if um contributions is co-parenting, that's great. I I'm not raising a child. I don't like kids. No, I'll I'll do the raising part. I'll do the raising part. Okay, so you raise a kid. I I finance it. Go to private school. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You see, you see it. One second, one second, one second. Um, tones. So, what are you getting out of it, Mona? Okay, so what I get is that the child is looked after. Well, um, I hope that Khan will be a good parent. And the child is, um, I get to breed my life. I get to breed my genes, which I know is beautiful. And okay, my genes yeah, are yeah. perfect. Yeah, and, and so you're going to get someone that's going to love you forever, no matter how oh. fucked up you are. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's true. So what I get is knowing that I created life and knowing that my body has been used for what it was ordained, which is Fair giving enough. forth life. 
enough. You just yeah. don't have to read it. It oh, can yeah, work. Exactly. So you say that... Is you know, this what you know what pops on the screen? screen? You know what pops on the screen? Is that what he's proposing to the yeah, woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Got you, got you. Pops, you know. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like a pop still, he does. Yeah. yeah. This is How grandpa. is Pops, though? I don't Pops, know. Is, Pops is about 70 odd, isn't it? Or, <laughs> no? Well, no, I'm not even it. trying to take the picture, you know? I'm I not trying to take the picture speak. at all. <laughs> no, look at the suit, though. Look at the old boy suit, though, innit? Look at the old boy suit. Come on, man. You lot are trying to go on like you don't know this thing. Look at the, the old boy suit cut. from the 80s. Yeah, but he's, he's kind of presentable for this, to be a sperm donor, right? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. I'm not saying yeah. that he ain't presentable. I'm just saying that the cut of the club Cut of the gym. Cut of the gym. Yeah, it kind of... Okay. It's a bit, it's a bit so dangerous, even me, for my, me. like... I can tell you what's wrong about what he's wearing. Would you rather him wearing sagging, sagging jeans? Uh, you know, no, 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 come on now. You, 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 I'm, 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 not that I'm not that superficial. I'm just saying okay. that the clubber <laughs> looks about <laughs> dirty. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Okay, what fair enough. What oh my god, that is old school looking. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Even you know who that moment is. You can't argue for that. My god. That's he looks like he could be my pox. My age group, I think we're a bit more trendier than pop stick. That's definitely a generation before, man. Yeah, it, like. good, it does he look like good. Got, he looks like he's got the water PPK with a silencer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like shooting, he's shooting, he's shooting through the flowers. But he's what, got what? leather gloves on. Look, he's got leather yeah. gloves. Like, what is he gonna? Who is he gonna kill? He looked like he used to own a bayonet at one moment. <laughs> <laughs> bayonet, you know. Uh, but he looks good, though. He looks good. No, but no disrespect to Pops. Respect to the Mac. You get exactly. me? Exactly. At least you made it. Pick up yourself with the flowers. I think you need to see the entrance again, Uncle Tony, before you be respecting the. The, 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 <laughs> <You're just saying. laughs> the 12. Yeah. Kelly the Rock. It can't be true. How wonderful <laughs> to finally meet you. Give me a chance and I will dance. <laughs> and later on, your life in the world. Oh, are rock school? <laughs> Hi, darling. Oh, I'm Marcus Hamilton Gibson. Nice to meet you, Marcus Hamilton Gibson. The pleasure. Is yeah, I think we know you why you're Uncle Tony. Kids, isn't it? Uncle Tony, did you see that, yeah? <laughs> Aww, he looks good <laughs> to me. No, no, somebody just rung me. Somebody, oh, somebody just rung me in that. We want to deal with him. I know she will, definitely. No, okay, so a guy like that, I think I that... I don't want to with him. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't deal with him. Kelly the Rock, it can't be true. How wonderful to finally meet you. Give me a chance and I will dance. <laughs> And later on, your life enhanced. Now, nah, Pops is going too far, man. Are you Pops <laughs> Where's Pops going with that <laughs> Where's Pops going with it? Did it properly. Just say it, Man was a bunch of people. You get me? Man said, man done this. Man the singing in the rain. So, Tony, you think that's too much? Tony Brown. Come on, man. He's trying his best. There's nothing wrong with zesty. the man. He's a bit zesty. Okay, but there's nothing wrong with the man trying his best. At least he's trying his best. What is he doing that's so Wait, wrong? Maybe we, maybe we think no, he's, he's over. not the... doing nothing <laughs> wrong, Mona. He ain't doing okay. nothing wrong. You get me? He's, he's polished. Yeah. He's polished. But what I'm saying, when he's doing all them yeah. Fred Astaire moves, come on now, man. You're going too far. You're playing to the camera. Pops is <laughs> playing to the camera. No, he is. He is. That's the only thing I think. Yeah, yeah you he's... know he's playing to the camera. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm trying to work out, is it summer? Again, I'm man. trying to work out, is it summer or is it winter? Because the man's got on shades <laughs> and he's got on a... Big woolly sheepskin coat. What's going on? It's not matching yeah. up. What no, is it? It's not matching up. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, matching he's got, up. maybe he's got eye. Man you know they they might have eye problems. Like some people, they've got like eye problems that like, they can't. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Mona. You're right. You don't have eye problems. Yeah. I'm making light of stuff, but I'm making light of stuff, but it's true though. Yeah, yeah. I'm making light of stuff. Hello. I can't see you. Please walk in with this guy. I can't see you. Absolutely. Thank you. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. You know this isn't a, a blind date, don't you? Duh. Absolutely. I know exactly why I'm here. Okay. 
But so, these are gorgeous right. love. Thank you so much. Well, I thought I'd make the effort. I thought I was going to be the chosen one. Okay. Um. So, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Absolutely. Fire right, away. Cool, cool. He looks um, like he's got eye so, problems. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Absolutely. Fire right. <laughs> so, all, so all of them, and it said, right so up. Dad's going to toss out one, yeah, and then and put it in her. So Dad's going to toss out one. So, hear what I'm saying, though. Yo, I unks, what did you find my weed? No, <laughs> no, you know, man, I smoke no weed. <laughs> 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 I was wiping your eyes like that. No, you know what I'm saying? Just tight. Yeah, 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 work. I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yo, open your eyes, Ugg. Go on, go on, Fink. Fuck you, then. Work a double shift, yo. Yeah, no, that's not yeah, that. Oh. And he, hey, Unks has got some dry skin on his scalp there. Are oh, you your fuckery? Jedi, no, you're fuckery, you man. Like, I'm sorry, wait for the you, can, you, can, you can see. No, nah, man, you're fucking see, man. No, 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 look at this, look at this. Nah, you can see on, where, he, where he creamed his face, but not his hair. So he's how's that bald? How's that bald? Maybe he had on a hat. Maybe he um, maybe he had on no, a hat no, and no. took it off uh, no, before no, he made no. his entrance. Nah, nah, unks, unks. Do you know what's happened? Yeah, he shaved his head, yeah, and he ain't fucking greased his scalp. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean, man? Delini, man. You know what I mean, man? But that's man. That's what's happened. No, but I can imagine when I reach them kind of age, then you look like yeah, they just got make me on sure the screen criticizing. Does anyone tell me why is he wearing uh, William Penn Year Eight school tie? Like, what's going on? No, you're going too far. I'm glad you're going to school. You know, you're done. But why has he got? Why has he got Tina Turner's uh, shoulder pads on? Oh, oh you look fuck you, know? Nah, you look gone too far. My jokes wasn't as cruel as you <laughs> look, man. Nah, man, you look a bit... Why does he look like a guy from the bowl? I'm not going to lie. Tony, he looks good. He looks good. I'm, I'm not going to disrespect yeah, man. him, man. Because we don't, yeah. we don't know him. me, man. Yeah. Leave the man with his shoulder pads, <laughs> man. Like, <laughs> Sorry. Leave yeah. the man with his shoulder pads, man. Even though he looks like the oldest student in Grange Hill. Yeah, that way, man. That way, man. Yeah, you're yeah. What? Hold on, hold on. Why are you making a cursor go along yeah, his, his, his uh, forehead and all that? What are you doing? <laughs> Look, you know what I mean, man. Just say nah, but, no. Like, personally, I hope we know we're joking. He, he's doing his best. We don't know his life situation. Yeah, so, for yeah. real. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Don't get nah, into he, he, He's got he's lyrics, it. though, isn't he? He's got lyrics. He's got yeah, lyrics. He's, he's, he's trying, trying his best. Uh, Bag of yeah, confidence. Yeah. And she was like, yeah. and she was like, I ain't oh, trying well. to hear. I ain't trying to hear all that jazz, man. This greasy scalp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold like, on, oh. how can she talk about greasing his scalp when she's got her scalp covered with some uh -oh, white right. over here? We can't talk about her greasing his scalp when he has scalp covered. Wait, wait. If she takes off that wig, it's going to be bad for all women. I'm just saying. That. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. And you're saying someone said that that might be a real hair. No, I know that's not a real hair because I know we oh, get. No, I thought you said one. you like wigs. You said I you like, like red wigs. wigs as well. No, no, I do. But we we we're talking about this man's bald head. We can talk about her bald head. It's like. <laughs> like but, to be, but to be fair, up. it wasn't it wasn't the women who were criticizing his head. It was Jedi. Oh. And the lady, right, 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 it was right. them man there yeah. who was criticizing Ooh, the man's right, head top. Right, no, but I'm right, just right, going to criticize right. his head, head part. We can criticize right. this new head. I'm you know, we both, we both, you know, equal opportunity. And Paul, and, and Paul, and <laughs> both me and Zelini can grow hair, so we could, didn't it? Zellini's exactly. Come on, let me get me. Zellini's okay, bro. I'm looking at that. I had better looks than Bob Marley, so boy. Anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> we, can, we, can chat. we can chat. We can chat. What? <laughs> no, so we're not going to talk about that man's head without talking about her fucking weak head. Sorry, her no, head. But we, no, 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 but Mona, we can see yeah. the scalp, the scabby scalp. We don't know what's underneath, whether she's growing I know, but, what, at least, but at least she's braiding up. No, but at least Does she's braiding up. At least she's braiding up. She might have braids. Yeah. She might have alopecia. We just don't know. No, like, no, I, I, don't I know what you're saying. At least she's braiding up. For real. No, but at least she's brave enough. To, at least he's brave enough to show his head. See, I, I respect women who show their picky head. I, I say, look at you, you really? picky head, ho. I, I respect you. Yeah. Because at least she's brave enough to show her picky head. Yeah, sorry. 
No, you can't see my pick ahead. <laughs> Why not? Of course not, because like I said, I've got pride. <laughs> 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 You're Mona, you're not normal. You're not normal. We're not normal, but I'm just saying we're disrespecting him. But what about her? There's lots to say about her. We're not going to do that. Do you know who's no, person sorry. is, Mona? I, I, I can't, I can't like... let you light skin, you light skin and Indian ladies team up on my sister. I'm not that. <laughs> mm. That was Indian. Is that what we're doing tonight? All right, oh, oh, so, oh, I forgot you were still on the head. I was talking about shares. I was talking about shares. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's Kelly LaRock, man. She's a legend, man. I love it. Um, so do you mind if I ask you some questions? Absolutely, fire right, away. Cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's buzzing. He's buzzing. He definitely buzzing. So, um, what do you do for a living, man? What do I do for a living? Where shall I start? Um, that's never a good sign. When a yeah, man repeats, repeats the question. When... Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. when when repeats the question, they're not confident or they're making it up as they talk. Oh my god! What it's like unique time to think what to say. That's in yeah, yeah. time. Mm. More than it's enough time. time. That's crazy. On, man. I'm a performer. I'm an actor. Okay. I'm also a DJ, but I spend a lot of time in Los Angeles. I'm normally. I love LA. Oh, Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. I'll have to take you over there, my dear. Really? How, how old are you? That's not the sort of thing you should really ask a gentleman <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, um, we once I get to know you. He's in his fifties. That was bad, blood. I don't know why. That's what women say, bro. That's what women say. What's going on here? That was man's like, an old, old man. man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, sixty. He's pushing sixty. He's in his fifties. He has to be Jedi. He has to be in his sixties. When men say, "Oh, that's something you ask," you're an older man who's in your fifties, fifties, sixties. He's I don't. Suffering. I don't tell people suffering. my age. I never. I've. Ne I never tell people my age. Well, I would say at least say you're in your thirties, your forties. He's not willing to say anything. Was, That's what makes me know. Forties, you know, Jed. What's this woman saying? Um, uh, uh, you don't do that, Jed. You don't say I'm in my. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He had no way to fill the gap. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now this poor is in his 50s, 60s. He's in his 50s, 60s. Let's give him that. 50s or 60s. Uh, 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 I was 30 in 1995. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Right um, there, we... Once I get to know... Huh? There was no word. He's like... Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. I'll have What's to it? take you over there, my dear. Really? How, how old are you? That's not the sort of thing you should really ask each other. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, um, we, once I get to know you, <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> to be fair, it doesn't really matter, does it? Exactly. Because men are virile to the day they die. It's only us women whose eggs dry up. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Is it? No. If you, no, if, you were, if you were seriously considering a co-parent, you'd be considering the age of the co-parent. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah? Well, like, for the child, like right? Men, 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 go dead. men the shoot child, dead right? once. What the you fuck are you talking about? You don't want a 70-year-old man because he's only going to be around for another 5, 10 years. It's true. Possibly. Yeah, that's that true. Mean, that's so true. She's Unless you help alive. So how uh, old is he then? Because you've got a point there, Jedi. So how old is he, for real? I'm guessing 60-something. <laughs> no, but the you thing is, that when a man reaches... No, but a even that's age, a bit too old, isn't it? Yeah. No, but when a man reaches a certain age, his sperm is no longer of quality. You can, It's on. It's scientific fact. He's, I can tell when a baby yeah? has... I can tell yeah. when yeah. Old, yeah. scientific you know what, fact. Yeah? That's yeah, scientific no, no, fact. There's got to be some truth to that. I, I think there's got to be some truth to the, the fact amount that of sperm quality is of... Um, no, yeah. no, listen, listen. Oh, it's yeah. aging. It's the aging yeah. process. Listen, listen what happens, yeah? People still have babies, but now these babies have got more issues than the younger Thank babies, you. Right? Okay. Why is that? Because maybe the quality of DNA you're passing on is... Yeah, that's what it not is. As, <laughs> not, as, not as piff, isn't it? Not as... Mm. Thank you. Know you. I mean? it's it's sometimes, Jedi, I can sometimes spot an old man baby. I say, yeah, that, that baby... <laughs> 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 
evil. No, it's not being evil. Sometimes I see the baby and the baby's got an old man baby. Yeah, they've got an old man baby. No, but I've seen one woman, I say to myself, yeah, that's an old man baby. Because And the way she's smiling up and looking at me, I say, yeah, I can tell you're breaking my old man's sperm. Mm-hmm. Wow! No, I just got that Putney man. I feel like everyone in Putney is like. You're trying to say you're trying to say that anyone that has a baby with developed features, yeah, they got an old man baby. You're taking. They've got an old man baby. Everyone's got twins, and everyone's like fifty and forty. Like, no, sometimes I look at a baby and I say, "Yeah, that that is a, an expired sperm." Bro, I, I see, I see, I see right. Instagram. Lulu's an old man baby. Oh. <laughs> and one of you, lot, and one of you, lot, I mean, they considered panel, an old man daughter. One of you lot on the panel or in the chat said your dad's in their eighties. I can't remember who oh, he is. Oh, 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 no disrespect to you. Yeah, that's definitely Yunus. It's Raheem, definitely. isn't it? Oh, so Raheem. Yunus. Oh, one of the man them, their dad's yeah. in their eighties. So yeah, no, I love it. I, I don't mean to any disrespect. No, nah, it's not a disrespect, man. It's jokes. Yeah, I don't want to disrespect, but I can tell old man baby. And they also have, uh, their babies tend to have a developed look, on the de- uh, overdeveloped ball head and old features. Oh, Azula, you're an old man baby. Don't lie, man. <laughs> <laughs> old man yeah. baby born in, the, born in the 90s, 2000. Yeah, 1999. Born in 1999. Yeah, December. December 1999. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, born in 99. Talking about he's a 90s baby. Oh, your dad's in his 50s. You little young old yeah. nigga. <laughs> oh, Zulu said his dad is in his fifties. Yeah. Right. Oh, cool. Yeah. Still kind of old, but cool. <laughs> I don't think. But we're not having. They're not having children at sixty and fifty though. Are they Zulu? I don't know. I'm not no, some people do. Yeah, they've got men who are in their fifties. Yeah, and you know what they say is like, just because you can create life doesn't mean you should. But my dad had that... um, more than one wife. You got my dad's birthday to have two children in a year. I've got a brother the same age as me. It's mad. Uh, <laughs> We're literally months apart. Who's got a brother? What? You found out? Who's got? Who found out they got a brother the same age as them? No, I said I've got a brother. Mm. And my stepmom, who's the same age as me. So oh, different yeah. mums. Well, yeah, my, my dad still wears jean suits. So. Nah. Do you remember when I showed the picture? Do you remember I put the picture up? I think I might have covered his face, but I put the picture up. Was that real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Mother don't age. Like you guys think it's a joke. Go Africa. Their men don't age, you know. Yeah. I don't yeah, know what it is. They fit. They're out here just working like it's casual. <laughs> and then they come yeah. here and they end up with like faulty knees and their knees are hurting. Yeah. And I'm like, no, nah, they put something. <laughs> but maybe it's maybe because they're further away from the equator or things like that. I don't know. Like, the sun is boy, keeping them young. All that goes away, sis, when they go back home. Like, my dad goes back home. Exactly. That's what I've heard as well. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have joint problems. He doesn't. And it's maybe it's the water up. as well. The water that water is clean. The air mm-hmm. is clean. It's not from nature. You get me. So. Definitely um, uh, let me just say something. Someone said, um, Blue Red said, um, if you have a, a, a kid at 80, you are selfish. And I agreed no. with you. And I thought about it and I thought, not if you've got a family. Not if you've got yeah, a good not family. not in this society, family, I was going to say. If you've got a good family and a big family, then not necessarily. Because your brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles, there should be enough people there to have, have you. I know, but that's family. selfish though, Jedi. Why should, again, why should other yeah. people have to your offspring? I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying, why you're being selfish? Because, like, for example, imagine I said to you, at 80, I'm gonna have a baby because I know my my um children will look after it. For what? No, but that's selfish though. Oh, you're Why should I put the responsibility on another human being? That child is my responsibility. Of course, I could get no you and I know that I could get killed. I could anything could happen. Like, blue and, red. But yes, why did, why have a child at that age, knowing that you're going to die within the next ten years or so? Why would you do that? You might and not even get ten. You might just get two. Thank you. That's and selfish, not just, like, man. Imagine how the child feels with you taking the child to school, an eight-year-old mother taking the no, child. No, I'm sorry. You ain't going to be able to carry no you to school when you're eighty, <laughs> man. <laughs> You'll be using a Zimmer frame. Somebody will. Somebody will be pushing yeah. you in a wheelchair to carry that but imagine how the child feels knowing that his mother or her mother looks different acts different can barely walk compared to other mothers i'm sorry but you have to worry about the, 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 the child, i feel as well they're not, they're not that I, would feel, 
No, I'm just saying, I wouldn't feel be. embarrassed. I wouldn't feel embarrassed with an eight-year-old mother. But another child, I can imagine they would. I've seen children feel embarrassed when old mothers pull up. I've seen that. So, yeah, I would worry about the child too. It's selfish, in my opinion. Ah, uh, well, you, you could have not had life in it, so deal with it. You get yeah. Okay. And the rest of the world is in that vein. Like, your children are wealth. Like, the more children you are, the wealthier you are. No, but that's, in, okay, in but that's society, the same adult. You see how you've got adult mentality? Yeah. You've got a very yeah. mature mentality. This is the same society that teaches you to kick your children out at 18 and then they mm. put you in a care home. Okay, but, but can you imagine, Cheryl, how other children react? You, know, you think of when you're a child and how when you see an older parent, you hear kids say, your mom's a granny. In his late 40s, right? And yeah. trust me, they will call me and be like, your sister, I need something. I've never felt any type of way about it. I've got to no, I'm it. Saying, think no, of, no, I'm saying, think of how children act. You know how children are. That's an eight-year-old mother pull up and they'll say, your grandma's coming. And the child's like, no, that's my mom. And ha, 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 every child start laughing. That's Western mothers, though. That's the no, but I'm just saying that's how children are. So I would worry about how the child feels, knowing that his his own mother is older, and then having other kids laugh and mock you, and that's another thing a child has to worry about being bullied because his mother is a child, the age of great great grandma. I don't think that's fair for a child. That's just me. Having children is wealth. But but let's be honest. Let's yeah. be honest. We don't really see a healthy looking eighty year old. Like no, not let's really. be honest. Mm -mm. A lot of people are on their way out at 70. Yeah, you're right. It's very rare that you see a healthy-looking 80-year-old, you know, like they've got yeah. life still left in them. When you normally see an 80-year-old, you know that they're on their way out, man. Right. And that's fact. No, but that's this society, Tony, that's rinsed you out. In other society, there's a bit of a balance. Like my yeah, grandma... Maybe we're the sunnies. Yeah, I like, agree with you, Sarah. Maybe we're the sunnies, but not over here, though. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you 100%. Yeah, and and yeah. just uh, you have to, okay, I know that you're saying that um, some people say, How's making, sorry, Trillo, you said that how's making life selfish? I personally don't. I'm saying that when I think of the child's experience, so the child's experience in life, I don't experience the child's life, the child does. And then experiencing life as an eight, you know, you're 80, the child's only five years old. You know, you're 85, and the child's 10 years old. How do you how do you think the child feels about that? And you as a parent cannot engage in activities. You you can because imagine you kick a football, your hips break. Why would I want a mother like that? Your affection and love for a child isn't shown by you playing football. No, I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying that a mother who, I'm not saying it is, but a mother who's that age can't she can she yeah, can't just um, kick her legs, much less a football. A mother that age yeah. is less likely to be able to be Sarah. So, you know what it is because you're young, yeah, and you're yeah. full of vigor, you don't yeah. understand. You see, I'm telling you, you see, when you start reaching in your 50s and all that, you right. realize that you know what life ain't easy again. I'm telling yeah, 100%, 100%. you, you know, what I mean, your faculty, your faculties start That's going, your, your, your yeah. senses, yeah, and all that. So, you're not the, the person who you are now, you know what I mean? So, now yeah. having to you know, nurture and grow a you from like so, 60 ain't going to be the same as when you're nurturing, growing a you in your twenties or your thirties or even your forties. You know what I mean? It's a complete different ball game. Yeah. I think and I, when I, I go to like, when I go, yeah, when I go to visit one of my relatives, right in the old people's home. Yeah. I'm mm. telling you, blood, when you see 70 year olds and, and, and eighties and, they don't, they don't even know what day or time it is. And the only reason they're in there is because my relative is because the dementia is that bad. It's like, can't do nothing about it. You know what I mean? It's, I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's, 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 it's not okay, good well, anyway. But yeah. Okay. Where people live in bigger families, naturally, from young, mm. the responsibilities are passed down. Like, when you get to a certain age, you're not going to watch your mum in the kitchen. That's, that's a normal thing. So you can naturally take on responsibility. It becomes second nature to you. But in the West, I think it's pretty much impossible, to be honest. There's no way. Yeah, no. yeah. There's no, there's okay, no. so Trilly said, I hear you, Mona. There is also no guarantee that you're not going to die tomorrow. So the old and going to die argues out. And I said to Trillo, Trillo, I understand what you're saying, but but at eight years old, I know that I have, I don't have long, sorry, Trilla, I made a mistake. I don't have long to live and I decided or could have a child at that age. Is that fair to make that choice? 
is it really fair to make a choice as 80 you had a child, and you're gonna and have a child? Great. Yeah. They say that child at 18, they became something great. That's what your child yeah. becomes is rich for them before they even born. The most high knows what you're gonna do. No, I know. Them. I hear I hear what you're saying, but is it really it's fair to have a child? Yeah. yeah. But is it fair? Do you think it's fair to have a child at 80? Because you can. I don't no. think. I don't, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair at all. You're not giving your child the best of yeah. you. I'm, I'm, the child never got I'm, the best I'm, I'm, of you. I'm definitely with Mona on this. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's fair at all. But do I think that I you want to kick ball? ball. I want to yeah. kick ball and play games with my youth. Yeah. Man. I want to do things with my with my youth. But I don't want to just sit down and watch. Yeah. And half of the time, I might not even realise that it's my youth when I'm eighty. Yeah, but the other hand, I, even I, I wouldn't shame a parent who has a child at 80. I'm not... That's no, not no, me. no, no. That's not for me Definitely to shame not. Yeah. De- no, it's shame not that. about yeah. shaming. No. It's not about shaming. For me, but it's we, about a bit yeah. of common sense. At right. 80, come on, man. You're pushing the boat out, man. You know Let's you've be got real. Like 80. Left or five years left. You know that. You're not, you might just have one. True. Like... Yeah, man. It's not everybody... Listen, half of my, my bridge and them dead at like called... 50 and 60 mm-hmm. like you, you know what i mean it, and then also why is it that anyway, women by, opinion, why is anyway. it that women are biologically designed to have menopause around 40s 50s and so on because even even nature knows that there's a certain cutoff point even nature nature is telling you it's not good to have kids why is that men's sperm dry up at a certain age and become infertile because even nature agrees with what I'm saying. Nature's like, that's not okay to have a child after a certain age. It's just not. When you hit the wall, you hit the wall, man. Yeah, that's it. Simple nature that. even, na- nature has a reason why it cuts off. Why do we have menopause? Why do men get erectile dysfunction? Why is it that their sperm swing back, swim backwards and not forwards? Because nature even agrees with that, that there is a point where we do not have kids anymore. And I agree with nature because I've seen what happens to old parents or older parents. Yeah. Tell them, yeah. Mona. Chill out, G. Chill out, G, you know. It's <laughs> one funny guy, you know. Have you oh, seen yeah. his comment? <laughs> no, and and, and Trillo G says she will be changing two nappies at 80. Right? <laughs> two nappies. Come on, man. Yeah. If I see an eight-year-old having pushing a pram with her baby, I'm not, I'm not going to mock her or shame her. That's no way. We're not talking do. about mock. Like, we're yeah, just talking about I'm being sensible, right? Don't you think so? Correct. Correct, yeah. I truly I understand what you're saying. I do. Life is important. Life is beautiful. And if you can have a child at 80 and it gives forth life, more power to you. But is it fair and right? No, I don't think it is. But I would never shame a woman who's 80. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, you know what? I'm on you lot's side now. You lot convinced me. And yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Jedi. You're doing it for you. You're not doing it for that. You're just doing it because yeah. you, you want to be involved re- in the act of having youths and that. Like, allow it now, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, man. For real. And, and you know what? This is making me feel like I want to call my son and tell him, have some youths, man. What's going on? Like, have some fucking youths. Because I can see... I him, encourage all my youths to have yeah, babies. All being, of them. I can see him being cautious. I can see him being cautious, being like, right, oh, yeah, I don't want to be like my dad. And my mum, mm. you know what I mean. So, but I want to tell him have youths because you're in a good age now to be having youths, and I don't want you to have youths old. Don't because we were all we thought having youths young was bad, but that's because we weren't prepared and we weren't mentally in the right place and did it there and all that. And society just was trying to like demonize anyone in their teens having children. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. But like I, I genuinely think that you should have children young. I agree. Yeah. Have your children young, man. And have your four or five children. Don't be, don't pet. Oh, I've got one. Oh, I'm shook. Oh, two. Oh, that's enough. Have your four or five, six fucking children, man. And then chill out for the rest of your life. So that you're not that you're not that 40 year old or 35 or 49, 39 year old thinking, oh yeah, let me, you know what I mean? Have you, it's young, man. I've always been one for a big family. Always. Yeah. You know, I come from a, you know, my, my immediate family is very, very small. So I knew when I got the chance, I was going to make sure I had the biggest family I could. Yeah. 
yeah, but yeah. but yeah, I made sure as I went along and had them that I had papers also. It wasn't a case yeah. of where, like you know, it was a guessing thing. I made yeah, sure yeah. I had papers, so if another one come along, they're yeah, safe. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm getting better right. at this thing now, isn't it? I'm chatting yeah. more fluently now, right? Well, come on. Oh. I'm not so argumentative. Um, Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Carnzellini, you look there, yeah? Cool. Obviously. Where are you, man? I'll still be able to um, hit the target. So, you don't have any kids. Is that why you would consider being a co-parent in yes, sperm donor? Yes, absolutely. 50% of marriage is these days end in divorce. Mm -hmm. So it seems like an excellent idea to have an arrangement where you're going to co-parent, be friends, and live happily ever after. Why, why have you decided to go for a sperm donor? Well, where I've been single so long, I'm very aware that my eggs are drying up. So where I just was like... If I don't have a kid now, I'm not going to have a kid, probably. And then if I meet somebody, then I'm going to have to have a kid straight away. So I considered getting a sperm donor. Um, I think I... Uh, left herself on the shelf too long. Bear, Bear man must have been on her. He's or always through, been... Like, or through her. Yeah. Like, how did she pick the guy? Did she know him from, from somewhere? It's she amazing. didn't know him from previous. How it's an agency. It's an agency. <laughs> To pick him. Oh, oh, it's the agency. Okay, so a picture, and then um, they um had his um his his skills, abilities, and characteristics. Say they had that noted as well yeah, as yeah, the picture. Yeah. So yeah. she's the same. Yeah? Okay, right. I held out for the fairy tale. Uh huh. This didn't happen. Um, and then I find now because of my age. I'm at the penultimate stage of still being able to have children. Okay. And then when you meet somebody, like when you're dating and you meet somebody, and then one of the first conversations I always have to have is, how do you feel about kids? And then they get scared because they think that you necessarily want to have their babies. But you, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. you want to know because you're like, if we get into this, yeah, then yeah. at least I know you want kids because I want kids and I don't have them. I have a very unique talent, which is I'm... <laughs> excellent at mimicking accents okay so i think that when we do have a baby with your musical genes and my acting genes yeah this little kid is gonna be a star okay do some of your accents for me okay i'm gonna start with my favorite which okay. is scottish i don't mean to mess about if you're <laughs> going to be serious about acting you've got to do things properly and that's what i do <laughs> Accent. Up that didn't sound authentic. In, it oh, didn't sound authentic to me. Nah, that sounded nah. like it got worse. That sounded like it got worse as it went along. He was getting yeah. worse. Though. He was getting worse and worse. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it with my. I'm gonna listen with my eyes closed. If you're going to be serious about acting, you've got to do things properly, and that's what I do. He's trying to gruff it up. He's trying to gruff yeah. it up too much. Ask oh, Trillo. Ask Trillo. The first line was all right, but he, yeah. When he he said, did she say Stephen? He's, 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 trying, he's trying to gruff it up too know. much. I don't know what that was. You are you are proper harsh critics, you know. Properly. 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 I thought it was all right, but yeah, it did get worse at the end still. It did. <laughs> Properly. I do another one, bro. When I see you sitting there looking at me, anticipating that we will have a baby together, it fills <laughs> me with excitement. <laughs> I like that. Irish. 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 Yeah, free. <laughs> the cord. <laughs> that's how they do like the police stations. Like the cord is Omega. Yeah, have three minutes to evacuate the area. Um, Trill OG says is MJ on the panel? 
<laughs> OG man. OG's an OG. I've got to be honest. As I was coming here, I thought about bringing you daffodils, but I decided against it because you're a beautiful Jamaican rose. Do you know what? That's that the best bad. so far. I believe no, that, that we could right be. You there. sound like Jill and B Billy Job, Billy Joe. <laughs> you, you sound like Billy Bob Joe. Marcus, don't give up your day job. Them accents, cringe. Darling. The agency said it through of you guys today. Listen, why don't you cancel the other two? You know, you, you and I both know these other idiots ain't going to have a chance. It's going to be me. I, I don't know if he's a potential. We'll see. No. My criteria for a baby daddy is different than my criteria for a potential significant other. Listen, I think... Hence why I'm single. He was a nice guy. I can't say I didn't like him. Uh, he said he didn't have any kids and he was quite mature also, so... What we'll do is um, let the other boys in, see what you think, and then I'll come back and get your details. I'll, I'll get your details from the agency, thank you. Okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> okay, that. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. It's lovely to meet you. Thank right. you. <laughs> Who's trying to church? Yeah. Perhaps I'll see you again. All I can say is, as Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, I'll be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> next one's going to be the other thing. Understand why he ain't got no use. Next, next. Oh, I thought he was going to show the next guy. It's going to be some young things and that mandem, some lighty and that. Yeah, I work in marketing or, or I work in tech. Wow. Fuck off. Play, bro. We did. We did it, bro. The ladder's rolled in. What's going on? Hmm? I saw this person in Mona's basement one time. <laughs> Love it. Hello. Are you. You know, this is the type of man that Mona likes, isn't it? Yes, I do. Let me see him then, Jeff. Let me see him. Harvey. I am indeed, mate. Nice to meet you, Harvey. Sorry, I thought it was a flag. I thought it was like a stripper's name. Oh. I didn't, didn't realise it was a real Kelly LaRock. Uh, it's a bit weird, though, because everyone's like, Kelly LaRock is weird. I know. My <laughs> God, did I, a, a, my, a childhood crush, you thank know? Thank you. Oh, I'm sitting in front of an icon. Oh, How thank you. How amazing is that? How cool is that? That's really cute and weird. Yeah, well, yeah, weird for you, but I mean, how cool is that? You're making me blush. Oh, there you <laughs> go, you're going you. red. You match your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in front of a, a rotten tomato. No, I'm only <laughs> Don't listen to me, I'm stupid. So, um, Harvey, yes. you know you know what this is about, right? Yeah, I, well, I, I kind of, I don't know what I signed up for on the internet. I just... It's, uh, I've just thought it might be some money in it. I've got to be honest. There's with no you. money in it. Is there not? No. Am I not getting paid? No, babe. It's for free. Avi, read the fine print, babe. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. So, all right, sorry. I thought there was a bit of dough in it, but no worries. Like, this is even better. I might have a child with Kelly LaRock. How cool is that? That's even better. Cool, that'd be the top okay. of the cup. But it is a co-parenting sperm donor. What does that mean? It means you've got to be around for the baby. I can't have all that CSA stuff. I can't, no, no, you can't do that to me. What do you mean? I've got to pay for the... You're telling me it's it's going to be... I can't get paid, but you're going to want... Oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't realise. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I don't mind. What, what, what do I have to do? Do I have to do much? Okay, that's good. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Can yeah, you he was up? on the field. <laughs> When you're going up, you're from the like, beautiful <laughs> thing. She's acting like she's in a, she's a child, school child. What's this about? <laughs> for yeah, what? I don't, know what <laughs> I don't get it. Like, for what? <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, man. Weird, man. I don't know what she's doing. But you know what? At least it's good that we're not as good at faking as the Americans. So you can see... <laughs> yeah. the, you can see... The, because the Americans now, you're watching it and you're like, this is fake, but this is a bit real though, isn't it? But it's yeah, fake yeah. What's going on? This is just straight, like, acting. It does look fake, that's it. Yeah, you don't know what one. Obviously, if this was to do with an agency selling a sperm donor, they would know what one. And what gave it away from the beginning is the fact they kept saying agency. You would say what agency it was. 
it would it would have a name. You wouldn't just be saying an agency. What is that? Mm. You'd be promoting them. Mm. You're doing this for a show. You be yeah. like bullshit, bro. It's bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know what I'm getting into. I think he thought. I don't know what he thought. Like I was going to give him some money. He was going to go in the toilet, have a quick jerk off, and come back with some sperm. I was going to pay him for it. If you were my sperm donor, I'd want you to be present at the house and like I don't get it. just to have your kid and you know take care of your kid. 50-50. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. He was funny though. A bit of a dull boy character, like a bit um yeah. Like, oh, on. Give us some sperm, get some money. But is Good it a day, sperm it? Donor, Good day's then, work, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Jenna, yeah. it's a sperm donor if the man has to be involved in the child's life. Yeah, is a is a co co-parenting sperm donor. Exactly, it's not the same. A sperm donor is different from a man having to be involved. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And go to a sperm it, and he's not involved. <laughs> That's it. That's the end. Like, what's she talking about? This is very weird because you can see that the geezer is a nutter anyway. So would she really... <laughs> uh, well, I know she's not going to choose him, but if they had vetted these people, wouldn't they have spotted that that guy is a complete fucking donut? Like, <laughs> who, who's doing the vetting it? <laughs> <laughs> doing the vetting. She is, obviously. <laughs> And she picked oh. him. Mm -hmm. I, I don't get it. Child uh, potatoes. It's, it's, good, it's good for the show, isn't it? You get me? It's, it's yeah, yes, yeah, the... ratings up. But the fact that she's laughing, giggling over this man, is she attracted to him or does she want his phone? Or both? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I keep a spit like that. <laughs> Do you exactly. have any hereditary family illnesses? I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> what is it mean like any high blood pressure? My great uncle was born without ears. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's hard of hearing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong. What do I get? A kid. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. With me. All right, fair enough. But you don't want the man. This is, sorry, it's just strange to me. It's amazing. Fair enough, fair enough. No. Have, you had, have you had other guys here already? Uh, you're the second guy I've seen today. I'm the second guy. What was the first guy like? I'm not going to say anything. Was he you. bald? <laughs> no, I'm not yes, Stay away from bald men. <laughs> Why? Why is that stay away from bald men? They're not to be trusted. Why not? You can't trust a man with no hair. Because you've got a forehead of hair. <laughs> you're just like, stay away from bald men. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is that she's a bald woman. With a wig. What do I have to oh, do then? Calm down. You've got to put it in a cup. <laughs> with a dirty movie? Whatever takes your fancy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Come on, like you've never done that before, though. Please. You just never collect it in a cup. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> well, it's been lovely talking to you, Harvey. Yes, brilliant. So, Harvey was hilarious. Uh, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like I knew him from somewhere. Like, he had a really familiar face to me. Um, <laughs> She's had him before. He thought I was going to pay him. It was just a bit awkward. Like, Pay you, pay you for what? I mean, for the sperm, I guess. I think she, I think she's a, a all right bit of no, totty, though. Three. No, she's. Yeah. I found her attractive too. I found her attractive. Hello there. Too young. No, yeah. I think she, How are you? I think she's I'm a all right bit of totty. Yeah, she's so, all right. She's um, and there's nothing wrong with her looks. It's oh, her. It's what she's what? saying that's the problem I've got. How what she's saying. That's, Why is Ulysses' dad turning up for mm. the day? Because he's... <laughs> I, st I can't. Stop hating on Godfrey, bro. Now Godfrey, bro. Let Godfrey from the park. Um, give give thanks that he's got cross-dresser vibes. <laughs> Go deep. Stop it. I, I'm an entrepreneur. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good. I'm Kelly. Hi. I'm Robert. Nice oh, to hi, meet Robert. You. Nice to meet you, Robert. Good to see you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wow. Did you have far to come today? Mm, kind of. Where are you um, from? What, <laughs> Look at um, his lips, man. Yeah. East, East London. <laughs> okay. I'm on it. It's uh, <laughs> called uh, Walthamstone. Yeah, you look into Was he going to start up? Uh, Come on. his lips. Uh, is it? Did he say mm. East South London? <laughs> is it East? Is it East, 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 East London. Walthamstone, <laughs> isn't it? They might be lying. They might be lying, man. When someone does that, they might be lying. 
No, but he might be lying because he doesn't want to tell the truth. He sounds like he's lying. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Did you have far to come today? Mm, kind of. Where are you um, from? What? Is that Eunice? Um, from uh, East, East, East London. Okay. Please. Uh, no, no, he's from the West. Eunice is, <laughs> Eunice is from the East, isn't it? London. And he's no, he's from got that West. same kind of fucking yeah. voice. He's got the same voice. Um, Listen. From, uh, East, East, East London. <laughs> <laughs> well, man's going to look like he's one of the three uh, wise men. East, East, East. East, East, East. East, East, East. East, East. Yeah, you look better in real life than you do in your pictures, you know. Ah, oh, thank you. On the Hungry website. Hungry like uh, the yes, wolf. That's, that's the I, I like your hair, you know. Thank you. You're very complimentary, thank you. You're beautiful. Uh, I have to, you. I have to give you that. Thank you. My man is definitely, my man definitely yes. chirps him, boy. Um, no, they don't know that. Can I ask you some questions? She can. Fire away. Fire okay. away, Kelly. Oh, God. I'm all ears. Yeah, no. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a security consultant. So, what are your interests? Wow. Yeah, yeah, you know. Security guard. Security guard. How old are you? Um, I'm, I'm 30. Oh, are you? Yeah, just don't lie now. Yeah. This man's no, lying. No. He's lying. He keeps doing that. Like, the, uh, I'm 30. That means he's thinking before he answers. It yeah, man. Yeah. This Why man would you need to he, think? He, you know he, you're he, real, You know where you're from. That's it. You know where your age, you know where you're from. You know what area you live in. When I'm lying, I say, uh, uh, because I'm trying to think of a lie. <laughs> it's true, though. I know it's quite funny, you know. She only asked the two black brothers how old they are. She never asked Ollie. Mm-hmm. She said she was in her 30s. Is that what she said? Oh, okay. Uh, Kelly the Rock's got All right, she never Kelly asked. Kelly the Rock. She never Kelly asked my guy. How old yeah. he was, but she's asking the two black fellas. Yeah. yeah. You think they missed that Thank bit you out? So much. So do you? you know, Maybe. Like, yeah, you look. I, I would not go down that road, but you look. You look. Sweet sixteen. That's 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 how I do. I, <laughs> I don't think so. But of course, of you. course. You know. Thanks yeah. for the compliment. I have to. Do you have any kids? Uh, no. I would love to have children. So why would you want to co-parent as, as opposed to like meeting a girl, getting married, having a family, you know? Well, I, I was in a relationship um, some years ago and it didn't really turn out the way I expected. Um, but that's there, life, no? It is, but it's... You, you can know, have loads of relationships that, turn of course, up, that don't turn out the way course, you expected. I think, I, think, I think that particular relationship was really, um, was, it was painful mm. at the end. You know, I didn't want to, I didn't expect to go to go through that turmoil you know at the end of the day so i think um um i just want to, to take my time That's why I'm, I'm here, you know, hopefully you know once i you yeah. know we see see you know meet someone you know tr try and see how things go you know de develop something you know in the end of she's like obviously, next. you know if, if i'm develop uh, something oh um platonic you know uh, and then we see where, where we go from there you know i'm not i don't know but this isn't a date inside it's fine it's, it's a co-parenting yeah, it's it's come with the wrong. Know, you know, we never know. You know, anything's possible. You know. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything is impossible, but that's not oh. what I'm on the site oh, for. All right, then that, that's fine. I'm on the site to find a co-parenting sperm donor. Of course. Okay. You're saying be, of I'll course, be, but I'll, be, I'll be happy to offer you my services. He thinks dating. He really thinks it's all the dating. He doesn't <laughs> understand that. This yeah, is a the concept really of the show. I think he's kind of missed it. He's, he really has. I don't understand yeah. this. This is dating. I thought you were going to say, I'm more than happy to offer you my sperm. <laughs> he nearly said it, innit? He nearly I'm said it, though. He nearly I'm said it. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Yeah. Kelly LaRock, she, like, she, she shouldn't have done this, though. That, whether it's serious or not, she, I don't know, man. She's still got a look. Her brand look. is fucked. Not a good look, man. It's not a good look. Yeah. yeah, her brand is fucked, mate. Yeah, she should have done this. But big her up, though, because she's always trying. Her. I've met her a couple times still. We even interviewed her. So big up, big up Kelly LaRock. <laughs> yeah, they should have had you on there, Jets. Doing what? Just pretending to be <laughs> one of their suitors. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Yeah. It's a day's wage, man. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. But boy, that's a, that's peak. Yeah, that would have matched up Jedi's brand that's going peak. on there talking about how he wants to 
touch that one and get to my girl. Uh, 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 you know what I mean? And then, and then I got to spend. Then I got to spend the whole month on on the phone to the baby mothers talking about. No, it was acting. It was like, <laughs> like yeah. therapy. Really acting. <laughs> really acting. Like, yeah. now. Why are you even shouting? Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Why am I shouting? Why are you shouting? <laughs> Trust me, Pete. And, and, and then after that, one of them takes the news, yeah, and expose you as being a fraud. Yeah. Just goes on and on and on. I don't care what you're saying. Like, you get me? You lot was clearly, like, flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happened off camera. But Jedi, when was this film? Do you know? Like, roughly? About a year and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so she might be pregnant now. She might have a different story. <laughs> now, nah, this is just for the show. She's never pregnant. Oh, there you go. So it's all fake. Yeah, <laughs> look at the, the riffraff they've dragged in off the street. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quick, yeah. Oh, the front yeah. door and get the security guards. <laughs> Literally gave, gave them about 25, 30 pounds each. That's yeah, a deal, and a coffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why coffee? Any hesitation. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't did you read the small print? I don't know. I if did, you did, I did read the small small print. I'm, I'm only I'm only kidding. I'm only playing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure you're only kidding? Uh, we'll yeah. see. I'm joking. Yeah, we'll carry on. Does anyone know what he's kidding <laughs> about? You know, any questions for me? Yeah, um, what did you do for a living? Let me ask um, you. I'm a creative. So like predominantly a singer oh, and an beautiful. entrepreneur. That is lovely. Thank you. I, I can tell you, you've got you've got a really beautiful singing voice. Thank you. Oh can, my can you goodness. just any any it's sneak gone beyond now. No. Oh come on. <laughs> oh come on. Just a, li a, li a little bit, please. It's a tiny bit. A tiny bit. Right. In the midnight hour, baby. <laughs> Right. See, look at, no, but I can <laughs> tell he's looking to run to her pockets. He's looking to run to her pockets. Come on. Right. Come on, man. Her mouth was crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he looks like he's looking to run through her pockets. Right. This man, <laughs> man both know he doesn't work. He got those clothes from the homeless shelter. This man yeah. is acting, but let's see. But he's wearing Eunice's best clothes. <laughs> Yeah, a tiny bit. Big in a midnight hour, baby, when your mind wanders free, no. yeah. darling, no, darling, do you ever think of me? He's out of time, but yeah, she's she's sick though. But He's yeah. out of sync, man. Fuck off. He's out of time and that fucking it up, no rhythm. Wow, 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 wow. I wonder where, where do you Jamaica think he comes from? from? Where do you think Jamaica. he comes from? Lagos. Jamaica. Who that? Ah. Jamaica. Who that? Jamaica. Who that? Jamaica. Who that? Jamaica. Who that? Who that? Jamaica. 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 Who that? Nigeria, all that helps. Opportunity for me, absolutely. To be a sperm donor. Um, for you. <laughs> well, it's about time they got a fucking Nigerian on the show. It's been all Jamaicans and that helps everywhere. Right now Jamaicans, man. Now Jamaicans. Jamaican, 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 Jamaican. You know what? I was, I was waiting. I was you waiting mean? for your comeback, you know, Jez, you know. I when was there just twins? waiting for that comeback. Where do you think the Skin Out twins are from? And Kelly LaRock and that. Love it, man. I know what yard. Nigerian, anyway. No, they're not authentic yardies. She is. No, man, a guy. Oh, the twins. The twins came from yard. Yeah, they yeah, are. Like the twins. They're from JA. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, they're just saying that, man. Everybody comes from fucking JA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Robert. It's not you. <laughs> oh, you, you know. Robert. Um, Kelly Laurent, it's been an absolute pleasure. Nice to meet to you. You. <laughs> you take care. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Thank you so much. You smell lovely. So do you. Thank you. Yeah. I wear aftershave. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Okay. All right, well, then I'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye, Robert. I like Robert. Okay, no. Um, Robert was lovely, a bit probably a bit meek for somebody like me. Obviously, he's not going to be my partner, but for a baby daddy, he was a bit timid and a, I don't don't he, a bit timid, and I definitely don't think he could handle me. Definitely not as a person or a baby mother. But he was a nice guy, though. He was a nice guy.
I see that. Nice. I see that. I see that. I'm Josefa. I'm a model. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, 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 I'm Josefa. I'm a model, an actress, singer, dancer, all rounder. What can I say? I've got an exotic look. Scary. Very so the hate is not the What can I say? I've got. she looked like the Undertaker in this. In this show. <laughs> 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 Looking very necky, very necky. No, I love a necky shouldery one, man. That looks like a transsexual. Let me just. Yeah, that's a big neck still in her. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. You know, the whole she must. She must like giving neck in her blood because that so neck there's the whole is big thing. for real. She's yeah. built her neck muscles. I love it. Where, where the dead man walking? Am I looking at? Told where you, man. This? All she needs this is, is Paul Bearer walking next to her. Where the hell, man? Where's Kane, bro? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> but she's still pretty. No, but she's still pretty. No matter what you you lot are saying, she's still a beautiful woman. Or okay. man, Mona. I, I don't. I don't. Th- yeah. Not. Not. not I don't yeah. think she's that pretty. She's no, not no, ugly, but, she, but I don't think no, she's, she's that not pretty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she's not. She's not yeah, she's not ugly, but definitely not a ten. Or I no. would say, I would say about seven. If I've got to be honest, but she's not my type. Good. But if I've got to, if if I've got to be real, I would say she's about seven. Yeah, because so, so it doesn't matter if she's type or not. At, Sorry, what's the age group you're saying? The range of like, what would you I say? I think she's she's in the forties. That's just me. You think so? You think that old? Yeah. Mona? No, in that image, the one that Jedi's pause, and then like, just look at the image that Jedi's pause. She looks like skin kind of looks pulpy, 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 pulpy still, isn't it? It kind of looks pulpy still, like pulpy. Yeah, so yeah, a little bit of you like, in that skin there, yeah? No, no, I hear what you're saying, but that could be filler. And that, you know, we know that women use filler. Oh, yeah, it could be filler. Yeah, you're right. True. You're right. Could be a but bit I'm of filler. Hating, I'm hating on her. If Jedi plays a video more, then I'll be able to say she looks younger. But in this still, she looks in her 40s or late, or late 30s. The funny thing is, Mona, this is what I imagine you looking like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't let me box in your mouth now. <laughs> but is that bad? No, I, 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 I think if I've got to imagine Mona, I would say the woman before. What? Who, oh. the rock? I would say the I would say the woman before. If I had to uh, imagine you, I would I think, think the woman before. Maybe not with that colour hair, but the woman <laughs> yeah. before. That's, yeah, okay, but you see how Khan's a hater because at least I know that <laughs> in that image she does. She, like she, she looks like a man. Thank you, Khan. Now I think this woman, but four stone heavier and in a wheelchair. That's Mona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, see, like I said, you're a hater. Yeah. Don't let me don't let me choke you out in my cock. I mean, my um strap yeah. on. I'm just saying, don't let me choke Khan out with my strap on. But I'm anyway, saying, but this like you yeah. probably got this kind of complexion in it, no? I'm not saying nothing, Colin. You're a hater. No, but he's saying... saying you've got the same complexion as Kelly LaRock. And I'm saying, I don't think you've got that much... Um... Melanin. Yeah. Melanin. Yeah. Okay, and hating. Um, let's... Can you play the video, um, Jedi? Got an exotic look. A foreign name. What can I say? I've got an exotic look. It is a dead food, bro. Okay, if anyone says I look like her, I'll happily take it. She looks beautiful. This dead food, this dead food. You think so, Mona? Mm-hmm. No, um, I think she's beautiful, but um, again, some people in the chat are saying she looks like she bench presses at least 600 stones or pounds. So, yeah. Apart from the puppies, I, I can't really see anything. Like, when she was walking along, there's nothing there. I, I wouldn't look at her twice. If I've got to be <laughs> but he was a nice guy though. He was a nice guy. That's what can't I look like. I'm Josefa. I'm a model, an actress, singer, dancer, or I want you to watch this again, yeah? But at this time, only watch her eyebrows. 
<laughs> nah, I swear that is bare job. Just watch your eyebrows. I'm Josefa. I'm a model, an actress, singer, dancer, all rounder. What can I do? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, bow top. Yeah. Yeah. Body popping. She finished, man. You said you wouldn't look at this twice if she's walking down the road. You're a liar. Um, I wouldn't look at her twice, man. I'm telling you, man. She's attractive. You're You're man. Face. That's not the body Come shape on. I like. I'm calling you a liar to your face. No, she you won't. Run, 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 run her back again. Run her back again. Run her back slightly. Microsecond back. Microsecond back. Let me have a proper look. Microsecond back. I'm not saying she's doing anything special, right? Come on. But if you saw her on the road... Her body shape ain't for me, man. It's shape... We all got our preferences. That's not my body yeah, shape, man. You would look twice, though. You would just look. Not I wouldn't look like, twice, oh, man. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, I'm a man. Up, 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 yeah, up, yeah. You know what I mean? I I'm not I a would. predator. I don't no, Google up on you, ah, No, ah, but cool. sorry, no. Wrong word. Wrong, wrong yeah. wording. I don't really Google up, girl. I'll take a oh, quick yeah. glimpse and move on. And if I glimpse and I see something I, I, I like and it's in my age range... I'll make a move. But I don't really Google up, girl. I'm a big man. It's going to look kind of like... Tone, what's your age range? Anything over 30? Is that your age range? Anything over 30, yeah. Well, I... Yeah, yeah, same. same, same. 30, yeah. yeah. Yeah, same, yeah. An actress, singer, dancer, all-rounder. What can I say? I've got an exotic look, a foreign name. People always say, where are you from? I mean, my father, he's Spanish. My mother is Cuban, French, Trinidadian, and Caribbean. Yes. <laughs> Don't be jealous. I'm kind of turning it up a bit, man, but she's selling herself. I haven't seen Mason in a while. He'll be great to give me some advice on the modeling industry. He's so well connected and he's going to help me build my confidence and he's going to help me get back out there. I know he will. You know when you were talking about eyebrows, Jed, yeah? Was yeah. you saying that it's Botox for it? Is that what yeah. you were saying? Yeah, and okay, the eyebrows are No foreign ain't doing shit. Yeah. North Pole. This is the first place that I I um I tried balloons. <laughs> there was a there was a rave there, a house rave there, and these times they were serving balloons at the bar. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And it was like, oh, balloons, have you tried this before? Rare, rare. Like, try it. And I was like, all right, let me try it. And then I got like a head rush. I was like, yo, what's this? Now, this ain't for me. And that was the last time I ever tried a balloon. That was so many years ago. Like, it was it was legal. Like, the, 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 the club was selling it. Not selling it. Were they selling it? Whatever. The, cl- the club was doing them at the bar. Like, yeah, filling up people's balloons and that. Oh, what the fuck? This is in Deptford? Yeah. Deptford or something like that. Deptford or, or, or Greenwich. One of the two. Love being with Mason. He's just so positive. He's got Can good vibes. Mason, and he just oh, builds me up. Fuck it out. Mason! <laughs> Definitely. So. What? Who's going to deny him now? Sorry, mood guest Sarah. Um, oh accent. my yeah. god! Step up, step up, step right up, step right up. <laughs> oh <laughs> my Come on god. down. Come on down. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> No, who said this is Eunice? No, stop it, stop it. No, that is Eunice. I've seen him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you sure so you so Marley. You should have thought it looking for sperm pause, cuz like <laughs> it's <laughs> unit looking for sperm. <laughs> so so Marley boy. Oh the hell. It's about Somalia time you got a couple. Somalia called Mason, yeah? All right, fuck <laughs> it. If that's what we're doing, all right, cool. But uh, that's what these stage names, Mason Smiley. Mason Smiley. Mason Smiley. Yeah. Wow. Presenter and stylist. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. Yeah. You got a job. Hey, you know, I've finished. <laughs> you know, I've finished. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can make that into a meme. <laughs> and smiley. I'm looking at the images right now. You lot are done. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You lot are finished. Like, hold on. Let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Everybody get your popcorn ready, man. You lot are finished. Get your popcorn ready, man. Nah. <laughs> oh, this shit. Your, this is your oh, guy. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> oh, sugar. <laughs> Zesty all the way, you know. Yeah. What in the ultimate sass is my looking at, Black? What, what is this? No, but remember, he's here to date a female, so he's straight, oh, obviously. Yeah. Who told you he's here to date a female? Exactly. Oh, maybe they no, that's a, no, that's a matey. That's a matey, Mona. Stop, 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 stop. stop, stop, stop. stop. Date, date a female, Mona. Date a yeah, female, that's yeah? It. But sure? that's what he came to, that's what he came to do. That dating uh, show was a female with the red hair. Get and him. out the way, man. You no, know he's didn't a say, uh, Come on. Didn't he's she not say that's money. a matey? <laughs> no, uh, I don't know this guy. No. I don't know this guy. Got him! Oh my god! Got him! Got him! Oh as, god. The, as the leaning would say, fragrant to the full, you know. Yeah, oh my god! Yeah. Fragrant. Yeah. He's winning a kill. Yeah. He's winning a kill with. You don't uh, find that suspicious. Of... You don't yeah. find that suspicious. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Too funny. Too hey, funny, man. Hey, Sarah, where you at? Yeah, I know. The horn's gone quiet all of a sudden. Come collect, man. Come collect. Come collect. No one's here. No one's here. <laughs> Don't worry. Coincidentally. We'll, we'll hold it, we we'll... Nah, it's just a mess. It's a mess. Yeah, it's only going to get worse. Yeah, it's yeah. only going to get worse, Jedi. No, yeah, nothing good is happening here. Yeah. Nothing good is gonna come of this. I'm just gonna leave it, bro. Because I feel like we're gonna <laughs> we're all gonna hold L's like if we the more we look, the more L's is, you know what I mean? We might end up sharing. Jedi, you said nothing good's gonna come of no good is gonna yeah, because if I type in Mason Smiley in Jamaica, people are gonna cry. Oh no, 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 no. don't do it. No, don't. don't do it. We held one yesterday, man. It was too much for me, man. And that's a burst. Don't do it, man. Why do you keep this? Why do you keep oh, oh, it? Oh, oh. That's all right. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, relax. He's not going to let him talk like Relax. He's not going to let him talk like that. Nah. As far as we know. You lot are safe. You lot are safe. This is a strong, a strong East African L blood. Yeah, strong. Strong. It is a firm one. Man, you can yeah. do take the L and just move Yeah, on. there's no way they're getting the out XL. of this one. No Double XL. Double XL. <laughs> Double XL. No. What do you mean there's no one from the hall here to accept this L? What's going Where are you? Me. I, I, guarantee, I guarantee if I go in the chat and type some at, at the names, I'll find you. <laughs> yeah, you're find who's, yeah, who's lurking. I'm new best. Funny enough, you're yeah. a prop. Mad thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just uh, get me. All right, man. Big up Somalia, man. Uh, big up Somalia. Uh, Mason Smiley's in the building. Oh my god, you look gorgeous. Oh my god, you look gorgeous. Wow. Oh, did you amaze me, Ty? Oh, I know you, you love them. My favorite. How's it going? Oh my gosh, honey. Fuck, you know. I mean, I mean when's, this, last, when's the last time I saw you? Carl, you've been MIA for Does like. Know? Is this years. a date? <laughs> <thing? laughs> I'm not here Carl. to date. That's her Mona, that's her pal. No, that's that's what I'm saying. This does not look like a dating. No, come on, man. This is not a dating show. This is a friendship show. That's a, that's a matey, man. Yeah, that don't look right, man. Come on. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yo, yo, we need a representative and we need one now. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah man. Can you hear I don't me? care who it is. I don't care who any of you are. I don't give a damn. Female, you want to hear me? Yeah, yeah. MC Nemesis, we hear you. What's good? Oh. You got to say this. Uh, What's up? Hiya. What's up, bro? 
what's the topic of conversation today? I'm just barging in. Sorry. Okay, so if you don't know the topic of conversation, why do you not rewind? Hey, fill me in. Don't be rude. No, I'm saying, why did you not rewind? That's hey, what I did. Be rude. Okay, no, I'm just be saying. Rude. I said, hey. Here we go. I said, Very you American depressing. cunt. I mean, American barber. Why is it that you can <laughs> rewind? Why do you not rewind? That's what I did. Listen here, mate. Don't be rude, um, Marder. Don't be rude. All right, rude. fuck your fuck on. L listen here, mate. <laughs> I appreciate you, and I think that you are just too angry, and you should practice patience. I'm a black woman, so I'm always angry. So what do mate, you want? it doesn't matter. I'm mate. telling you, don't make me, bitch. I said, what do you want? We're watching a show. What do you want? Soulmate, listen. No. Soulmate. <laughs> Is that what you call the black one, soulmate? Oh, wow. Wow. What? Whoa. 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 What Another fuck? redneck. Hey, what do you guys think of this redneck. hat? Oh, nice Confederate hat. What do you guys think of it? <laughs> Are you guys think it's racist? No, or no, guys. Think oh, it's God, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Battery. The fucking shit. Out of shit bitch. Okay, so are you here to detract from the show? Oh, my God, look at this. I'm here to fucking just bring the life into this dead dog. Okay, so look at you. Look at you. Why are you wearing a Confederate flag? Why are you, on, why are you wearing a Confederate flag? Yeah, that confederate. Is that not a confederate flag? What does it I'm represent? Proud of being American. I said, what does it represent? If you're proud to be American, stay to the hey, American country. Why are you over here? Why are you, you proud to be American? Bravo, don't you bitch me, me Cracker, why are I you said, here? Okay, so I'm care. saying to you, why don't you go to the American side? Why are you here? You want a fucking rap battle? I bother you right now. What rap battle? Shut the fuck up, Oh, yeah. What rap battle? What rap battle? your prime, mate. Ouch. Mate, don't make me bitch. Don't make me bitch. See what you tried to do there? You see what you tried to do there? I said, don't go back to your prime, mate. I don't have it, Moni. Try to call your prime, mate. No, but I'm saying, what are you doing here? What are you doing here to distract from the show? This is a show of shows. Do you understand that? Go drink some fucking bleach and die. I don't what know what is with the anger? I'll kiss the demon. I'll hunt that demon. I'll spawn. Oh, okay. Bullet. Anyways, um, we're watching a fucking show. We're watching a show, and you're coming to distract. We're watching a show. We're doing something. You're coming to distract. What are you here for? I'll get the you goddamn crossbow out and shoot that goddamn demon in the heart and eat it. Okay, and I'll okay, okay, blood. Okay, I'm a demon. Okay, I'm a demon. I'm a demon. Okay, I'm a demon. So, what are you here for? You here to participate? You little fucking demon. You admit are you here it? to participate? Redneck, red, redneck KKK, are you Shut here to up, participate? Shut up, you little demon. Yeah. Now, I tell you this guy's this guy one sentence away from saying the N-word. Are you here to participate? Are you here to participate? Why are you here to participate? Why you even see this? Can't we go back to doing what you did, man? What the fuck is this? Yeah, okay, sorry, Jedi, you're saying. Tell this fuck, boy. What is that? Is meth pipe? I hope you choke to death. Keep choking. I hope you choke to death. Go on, choke, Soul, bitch. Mate. Go on, choke, bitch. Choke, bitch. Go on, choke to death. Look at you, you racist. You f MC Nemesis, Church of Bones, streaming on Spotify. Yeah. Fuck boy. Who's that, that? Who's that man in the background? Who's that dude in the background? Oh, that. That's his girlfriend. Yeah. That's your girlfriend. Not my girlfriend. Uh huh. Boyfriend, husband. It's your husband. You boyfriend. see this oh, your string, husband. motherfucker? It's your husband. Okay, I'm who, sorry. I thought it was a boyfriend. This. This I thought it was your girlfriend. Oh, you're married. Okay, anyways. Who, who's the dude? Where did he get that? Uh, the lucky back. Yeah. Where did he get album. that ring from? Yo, I love who, you, this is Church of Bones. It's a 13 track album available to stream on Spotify. Who was that so dude in the background? Think that you know something, I'll educate every one of you sons of bitches. MC Nemesis, who is the dude in the background? There's no dude in the background. There was a dude that walked past in the background. Who was that? No, you need your eyes checked, mate. Uh, I'll just go back and play it. Okay, worry. did we not all see a man or something that looked like a man in the background? So we just imagine it, yeah? Yeah, we imagine that it. Looks like a man. What it looks like a man. That so looks what, like a man that walks the earth. Okay, what was that um, binary person that walked yes. past? What, what is the binary? That looks like I a man said, that what was the binary that, 
Neanderthal. Listen to what I'm saying. What, what is something that looks like a man, okay. but yet is not a man, but yet is part of the human Okay, Neanderthal. Race. Neanderthal. What was that creature that we saw walking? <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways. I mean, okay, look, look, look. What has two legs but it's not oh, a man, but it's like a man? Oh, you fucked up, like bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> do you know uh, or was that Harry? Was that Harry? Cards even get anything? Uh, was that Harry from uh, Harry and the Hendersons? God dang you, Gen Z fucks! <laughs> Hold on. Is that a goddamn Homo sapien? Anyways, what's these monkey people doing on here? There we go. There we go. That's what he's waiting for. I, I, told, I, told you, so. I told you he was a sentence away from saying the N-word, innit? I didn't say the N-word, I said the M-word. Yeah, whatever, you fucking honky cunt. I said Fuck monkey, off. I, I call people talk, here yeah. monkeys. And I'm calling you a because fucking Because they're pig. flinging shit, not because of their race, because they're fucking. flinging shit at me. And I don't like the shit flung at me. Quit shitting in your hand and throwing it at me, mates. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, MC Nemesis, I've ever on the panel. If I was to nominate someone that looked like they shitted in their hand, it would be you, brother. I, I you. Lie. I can't lie to you. I saw you. I got the videotape. If something happens to me, I'll fucking put it on YouTube. Yeah, man. I believe you still, but you just look like you need to have a wash, bro. Can't lie to you, man. <laughs> just, uh, I just, it's, not, it's not even a diss. It's just an honest statement. And and how do you come to that conclusion? Because you look dirty, bro. You look grimy, man. Like it's yeah. like because I have a beard. Oh, I forgot. Nah, Basically, it's not even that. It's not even that. You just, you, just like, you just look like you got a dirty tinge to your skin. I'm not gonna lie. It just I don't know. It, 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 it might be a if you were to, you to Google skin? dirty. It, it's oh, like, you mean up. you mean a tan? Nah, I mean a dirty tinge to your skin. No, no, no. no. You mean a tan? Time. You're a no, retard. No, like no, it, it's, it's called no, a no, tan. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, I, I understand no, English very well. Tan. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. I understand English very well. If I meant to say tan, brother, I would have said tan. I think I was correct when I said dirty tinge to your skin. Yeah? No, you're confused. You're too stupid to <laughs> understand the difference. You're just stupid, bro. I'm, I'm superior to you. Hell Ooh. yeah, look at that face. Is that Harry from Harry, Harry okay, and the Harry Henderson? Superior. Is that no, okay, fat, okay, fat boy, how are you superior? That's his sister. That looks like his sister in the background. Right. Is that so how are you superior with that Neanderthal in the back? Oh my god, look at this Neanderthal. And, you know, and that's who he's married to, you know. Mary, you don't have waterway in the background. That's not waterway, that's a fat fuck. Look at her. That's not waterway. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tip that up, man. Is that a guy with yeah, chin back there? Look at, this, look at this Neanderthal. There? Look at this That's female sister, Neanderthal. Mate. Even your mum. <laughs> I don't know what to say to this. It's ridiculous. Look at your mother. It is man. ridiculous. Your or your girlfriend. Look at it. Re reject from Hills and Wives. Playground powers. insults. And it doesn't mean a damn thing. And it's just re it's childish, honestly. It's oh, just on, childish, what? and it just proves to exactly the maturity of the time. I see the I see the swollen, bro. Well, everybody does that now because I'm more mature, and I'm just, you know. She looks like she's got elephantitis. Guys, he said that she looks like she's got stretch marks on her chin. Look at that stretch mark. Look at that. What do you know? Her stretch marks on her chin. Your mother. That's who. Your mother. What chin? The chin looked like a belly. Is it? Is this the chin? <laughs> I don't know which what one. Chin, it look like a belly. <laughs> Y'all are gonna get porn bombed. She looks oh, like no Winston way. Churchill. Oh yeah, uh, you will kick you off before you oh, yeah. oh, yeah, bro. I will kick we you off before you even do bro. anything. Dub like that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hurt his feelings. Who was yeah, that? You know, if, you, if you don't go a spare second, just Google Fat Bastard Austin Powers. I'm kind of resembling. I'm kind of resembling. <laughs> that's his Marjorie, isn't it? Wasn't that his mum? Snap. I don't know who that was. That's his, no, that's his lover. No, that's who he's married to. His I'm sister. Dude. I don't know where he is. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, Chris. 
Yeah, he fucked up. He's like, yo, I'm gonna pull up. She's on looking me. like a speed bump. <laughs> About your girl looks like Albert Pike. <laughs> oh, oh no. nah, you got it. You got it. I ain't gonna lie, that that's what I saw, bro. More chins than a Chinese phone book, you know. Chilo G, man. <laughs> Deadly, you know. Hey, girl, hey. Look at you. How's it going? Oh, my gosh, hon. It's been crazy. I can imagine. I mean, I mean when's, the last, when's the last time I saw you? Carl, you've been MIA for, like, yeah. what, seven years now? <laughs> Like, Has it been that long? Girl. Come on. I, COVID's been three, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're How's, right, actually. How are you doing? I heard about grandma. <sighs> yeah, really, really sad, actually. Yeah. But I'm feeling a lot stronger now. And you're, um, you're ready to get I'm back, back out again. There. So that's why I kind of reached out to you and I was yeah. like, I need Mason to kind of, you know, give me that. Oh, girl, you know yeah, I'm here and for give you. Me, give me some advice, hon. I mean. Hey, but listen, you still got it. Like, you're yeah. still banging <laughs> doing it yeah you think so yeah like yeah. you didn't change at all so i just i want to kind of get back into like the modeling again yeah. and just and the modeling do... industry's changed so much yeah. so there's so much more options now you've never been past it you're a legend darling <laughs> yeah so i just i just want to kind of get back into it and just yeah let's do, do a shoot or something yeah. soon oh really yeah let's we'll do be up some... for that yeah i'm so down yeah. okay and, you know give you yeah. a little pointer that's here it. and there that's, that's why that's why because i know that you know yeah. what to do when you just give me that you know Lucky just give me that this. so you know obviously i put on a few pounds and stuff right. but um pounds in the right that, places that's it. and the <laughs> right I mean, places so i don't have to be scared about that do i for the for... no there's just so much inclusivity right now yeah. and there's so many more things you can do yeah. back then you yeah. were like put in a box That's but it. now it's like you can do it all you can do the commercials you can do the catalogs you can do the campaigns yeah like magazines have like listen there was a 200 pound overweight woman on the cover of, of vogue a couple of months yeah. ago i don't have to kind of put myself no, in the box anymore <laughs> yeah. you know G, that's a good one add your square than minds boy yeah it's a proper square one still yeah i don't find her attractive at all <laughs> no, seriously. Nah, really from bro. complexion, from complexion to her jawbone, I don't find her attractive at all. There's no life in that complexion. You might say, "Well, who am I to talk?" But I can talk still. There's no life in that complexion. Wallahi, wallahi. Yo, yo, bronze. Yo, what's good, bro? Hi, bro. Peace bro. to chat. Peace, so, Mona. Peace. Easy, bro. Easy. Giving me Peace, bear bread the other day. Yes, brother. <laughs> Wild out, Willie. <laughs> no, I had to come at him. Wild out, Willie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. Wild that was funny, funny, so bad bro. at me. Yeah, what life. day was it? Because I tried to find. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I think that shit was like four or five days ago. He's like, wild out, Willie. I look at the left and I look at the right. You see me? <laughs> that was. I tried <laughs> to find it the other day. You know, I'm telling you, I couldn't find it five days ago or four. Wait, when was, was the it? Middle, was it, was it last week? Was it last week? Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday? All right, like Wednesday, I think Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, I'm gonna look for that in the yeah, night. In our yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Stores, stores guys, it in. Guys, Moon yeah, Bess is here. Funny, boy. Moon Bess is here to collect his parcel. Yeah, big up Moon <laughs> Bess, man. There you go, man. Yeah, we've got a couple here for you. All right, your your mate. Uh, yeah, chip on. Yeah, your mate Mason Smiley. Yeah, he was he was collecting elves for you while you was not here. Was, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> you know, he's giving fashion. <laughs> So, hun, what have you been up to? Oh, just so much. Looking like P. Dicky, muscle. So Miley. P. Dicky, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mona, I said that it was. You can't stop. You're going to stop. Was her yeah, mate, though, no. Mona. Uh -huh. I don't know this Mona. man. I don't claim this I man. I did say what that was her mate, right? Mate, what part? <laughs> <laughs> 
Because the amount of Batman jokes I make, they would never be my friend. No, what I'm saying, I did say <laughs> that was her, mate, earlier on. No, no. Come on, man. That's her brethren, I'm telling why, you. But why do you think that? <laughs> Say that why again? That? Why do you think that? Loud, loud enough. No, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's her, that's her brethren. He's there to style her. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. why they've met up. Oh, 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 everybody, he's there to style her and promote her. <laughs> no, stop it, Tony. I don't know this man. You must, I'm, no, I'm telling you, you must I have went out of the room like that. I don't know Eunice like that. Stop it. Right, who said who said mood worst? Sorry, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> man said mood bounce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mood best. This is your done. Okay. Cool they, like, you know. National awards recently. Oh and fashion is coming up, and you, should, you, should need, you need to come to a few parties yeah. with me. Oh, definitely. Let's I'm do back. There. I've got a photo shoot arranged for next week, Friday. So I would love it if you'd come along. Yeah, yeah and then just kind of give me some direction, and just you know, just yeah. so it gets you know, just so I can get a bit feel a bit edgy and really Let's confident. Do it. I'll bring some champagne. We'll take some fire pictures. Yeah. So get you back in the group. Yeah. So definitely put that in your Let's phone. Put that in your it diary now. now. And let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah? I'm down. I'm okay. excited. Fantastic. <laughs> so excited to see you. Yeah. I know. Let's have a mojito. Yeah. Oh, cheers. cheers. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> yeah. Mason's agreed to come with me on my first modeling shoot back. Oh, my God. I was so nervous. But now I know Mason's going to be with me. I feel so much better. She doesn't even know him. <laughs> Yo, bro, where is she, man? It would be interesting to know what his real name is, still. I can't you want to know what she is? Where is she? Like a social stroke, model, stroke, whatever. I think, I think, I think uh, the answer you asked, she's on a cutting phase, I think, if that's what you're asking. The cutting phase? Yeah. Oh, you weren't talking about weightlifting. So. <laughs> 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 No, like, yeah, what is she? Is she a socialite? She? She yeah, she's a socialite, a musician. What is she? Yeah, she says no, she's she claims a she's a model. Yeah, oh, she's dancer. a model. Okay. Yeah. Model, uh -huh. dancer, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> et cetera. Mm. Socialite, probably. Got you. Not in our socialites. We don't know her. So much better. <laughs> Gorgeous. I'm so nervous. No, you've got nothing to be nervous about at all. Really? Oh, you've done this a million times. I know, I know, but it's just just getting myself back, you know? Yeah, but it takes a lot of courage to do this and just get back, you know, get yourself back out there. Yeah. So you've got this. You've got nothing to worry about. Look at this face. Is this even on a separate day? Or have they just changed clothes? Don't play with me, man. Oh, maybe it's a separate day, but they do change clothes as well. So I don't know. It's it's a nah, it's not like it's a separate scene. It's the same day. Change clothes so we can make it seem like it's not what it is. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Shit, look at yeah. Wild Shady. Man came to, kept on the same hat. Yeah, nah, yeah. man. I can, I can just tell. Can <laughs> <laughs> Let me change the jacket, though. All right, all right, listen. Listen. Bro, he's Somali. That hat, that hat, don't come off in the shower, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My man's put on like a plastic to make sure he got to stay on his head while he's taking a shower, though. <laughs> to hide the head, isn't it? But yeah, look at him. He's cute. That shit is glued to his head. I remember <laughs> that hat is filled with head. Like it's filled with his head. Filled <laughs> <all in. laughs> to the brim, literally. <laughs> 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 yeah, totally. All right, Kanye. There's only one Mason. Trust me. I'm so excited I'm, for you. I'm ready for action. God, you got to slay the shoe. Oh, you look so good. Thank you. No, honestly, I'm so excited. Slay. Let's do this. Ale. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my God. Leopard. Drama, darling, drama. <laughs> Give me more drama. As the photo shoot was going on, I could feel that my confidence was coming back and I was loving it. Brava, boom. <laughs> Stop playing with me. I love it. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> 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 
It's because he's not doing anything else, is he? No, he's a bad guy. Is he there to know he's right. evil? Because he's not doing anything else, is he? No, and I think he's just there to be on the film. That's it. He's just there to be filmed. Yeah. Film. Yeah. To his name out there. That's he's trying to be a support system. That's all he's no, trying to do. Yeah, yeah. This man ain't even doing shit, bro. He's just sitting there just talking. Like, yes, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Something ain't right, man. It's not. Something. They're hiding something. She was. Can you look? She's um, taking us for Pappy Show, man. She was. She's taking woman, us for right? Pappy Show, Jed. I'm saying she was born a woman, yeah. No, but guys yeah. keep saying that she's got a package. Does she have the package or does she have a package? What's happening? Is something happening? What the here? fuck? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold, on. <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. I'm not prepared for that. The package or the a package? You no, think she's she... got, it's either she's got the package or she's got a package. Like, like She's carrying that the package. Is a man. Hold on, you, you think not. that's a man? That's what they're saying, yeah. I told you. You're I bugging, told you bro. Not. Nah, I told you bro. From the beginning of that's a woman. Why are you figured? Segment. Wait, but bro, why are you figured that that this is a man? Why are you figured that? The funny angles when they're showing when they're <laughs> clipping her, the funny angles and all that. And up till now, we've not seen uh-huh. below the waist. But I'm saying, how you, you know, know she told stuff? the producers? My fault, bro. How you know they told she and tell the producers don't show my stomach and my midriff and all that other stuff because she's insecure about her body. You could be right, but boy, there's definitely something suspect about her. I said this did, from day dot. Did you check under the neck? Full Botox. <laughs> well, I, the forehead full Botox, the jawbone <laughs> looks like it looks firmer than mine. And I've Jedi, got says, <laughs> Jedi says the tummy looks like a tiger roaring with a mouthful of scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. No, but what? Jedi on the panel, who thinks she's no, a I, don't, I don't know. I'm not. I wouldn't do that. I don't know. You're not, you're not dead. Wait, no. All y'all think she looks like a man, though? I don't think she looks, she looks like know, I guess she looks like Chloe Kardashian. Ah, man. And she looked look like a woman. She's just no. a middle aged woman. No, but look at her face. She looks like Khloe Kardashian. Look, she looks she like Khloe. Like who? Khloe Kardashian. Kardashian. Kim Kardashian? No, Khloe. Oh, Khloe, yeah. Khloe, she looks like Khloe Kardashian. Facts. I, I brun, she looks like China, the wrestler. Remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She yeah, does. you're right about that. Or oh, like a Jennifer Tilly. Oh, man, she does, you know. Like Bride of Chucky, that, that lady? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I know what. Yeah. yeah, Jennifer Tilly. Or that, or that, um, that MMA chick, Chrissy Cyborg. <laughs> 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 Do you know that chick? Hey, that chick's crazy. That chick's scary. Do you know the girl I'm talking about? Let me see. Let me show you that Chrissy Cyborg. Man. She's scary. Trilla said, "Yes, yeah, she looks like China. She does. Look at the eyes. Look at her eyes. Is there a man? Is there a man? <laughs> God, you stop it." Nah, that's a woman, man. Well, I think she's a woman. I look look at her neck area. She hasn't really got the um Adam's apple, but some men don't yeah. have it either. I mean, it's not like her neck is well, like could, brolic or anything. Could, like it's like a strong neck, you know what I'm saying? Because then it'd be suspect. She, she, she could be a you woman, but I don't think she's a beautiful Oh my god, woman. because her neck she got bigger shoulders. She got bigger shoulders than Chrissy Cyborg. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Look at those traps, man. Mm. Every <laughs> kind of right. Yeah, and look at her shoulders. So what right has this chick got to... What kind of dancing is she doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she looking more mask. This one looking more masculine than her. Fuck you know. Oh, how, how you got shoulders like that? That's what I'm saying. You got bigger shoulders than, than this MMA chick on roids. You say you're... The- you say you're a dancer. I want to dance now. I want to see what kind of dance you do. Yeah. So, well, have you found her? Have you found her dancing on um on the internet, Jedi? Calisthenic, calisthenic calypso. I don't know what she's doing. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but we're near the end, isn't it? We're near yeah. the end of this vlog, isn't it? So I don't yeah, think yeah. it's gonna be. Yeah. No, you're not gonna see her dancing. She looks like she could do muscle ups. I don't know. <laughs> It's like sure I can do chin up still. Charlie and Mason were fantastic. I loved it. Next on There's No Housewives in the South. Charlie, Charlie, whatever, yeah? Shut the fuck up, I'll on you. She'll even whenever she walks. She will not be on whenever she climbs the biggest ladder. Like, seriously? I'll blow up on you. She'll even whenever she walks. She will not be on whenever she climbs the biggest ladder. Like, seriously? But we hold that little launch party here. Get loads of get sexy girls in. Whatever. The right guy comes along, then I'm up for it. But other than that, she is the most focused person I've ever seen. 
silly bitch. It could end up costing you guys quite a lot if you don't get on top of it. Hold on, not just yeah, the right. investment, yeah. the money. If he's rich and he's hot, you know what I mean? I had to hit rock bottom. Some girls will turn a blind. Nose jobs, fake face. Oh, yeah, man. all that is on the face, man. Man. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's, it's real when they face look tight. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they yeah. can't move when they smile. Or they're in pain. It looks like they're in pain. Like, god damn, man. She looks like a shouting this, 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 this is really worrying, you know, what women are doing to themselves, you know, at such a young age. It's really worrying, man. I'm telling you. It well, is. anyway, I ain't got long to go, so... Well, I'm happy I got the what I got in my time. Like uh, I'm just glad that I saw it because, boy, it was pure natural. Now you know what I don't understand. You, you know what I don't understand. I don't understand when black women get lip fillers and all that shit because they naturally have nice lips. Or mixed mm -hmm. women do it. It makes no sense confused. when they do that. No, but there are some black women with thin lips. You know that, right? That is yeah, true. No, there are, they just... no, there are black women with thin lips and. When you say what you mean is that there are, you're confused about black women who've got naturally big lips who get bigger. Is that what yeah, you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. There's no reason for all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I have no problem with black women get or any race. Um, I not that I've got a problem with it. I'm saying that, that I can see the insecurities because we're told that we're meant to have big voluptuous lips. And <clears> I see in black women with very skinny lips. So I can understand why they feel pressured to do it. I can understand that. Mm. No, nah, but mm. Mona, man, I, just, yeah. Mona, I, can't, I can't really roll with that. You know, you're not pressured mm. to do anything. Mm. You choose no, think, to do it. No, okay, you know what I mean. You know how society put pressure on them. Like, for example, now the okay, the society we're in before it was mm. all about Barbie with no, you know, Barbie look, looking anorexic, mm. having smaller breasts, Straight now it's all about voluptuous, big breasts, big lips, big hair, and big thighs. That's that's what sells now. So lots of women look at that and say, "I'm not that." But yeah, but you know the thing about it, it's the look positive all the time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the look changes all the time, innit? It, does, it changes it does. all the time. So, you know, you'll be, you know, swapping, flip flopping all over mm -hmm. the place if you were to follow these people. And that's you why have I don't to know your lane. Yeah. Go, you you got to know your lane. You get me, Mona? You've got to know no, your lane. You know what? This is what I've got, and I've got to work with it. No matter mm -hmm. what the crowd may say, this is me. I don't give a crap. But is it okay? But is it bad that a female decides to get it? Is it bad that in her personal struggle with her lips, or her personal struggle with her bum, or her breasts, is it that is it bad that she changes it? Does yeah. it hurt you? Yeah, I, or think, me? I think. I think. I don't know. If, 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 I think if they're all right and they fit her face, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Roll with it. But when you're yeah. not trying to make it look like Mona's mouth or my mouth, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, that, you know, like you know, you're going a bit too far with it. You know what I mean? It's I unnecessary. You don't need to. You know what I mean? But I, I These try not. Are, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Go on, go on, Mona. Go on. No, I was saying that I, I see nothing wrong with a female who decides, or a man who says, "I'm not happy with my body, and I'd like to modify it." But I, because who am I to tell them what to do with their body? I'm not them. I don't know what personal struggles they have. I don't know what um. Uh, re the real reasons why they get in. Some of them have body dysmorphia. So who am I to tell them that they shouldn't have these things? Or who am I to judge them? Again, I always give them high five and praises. Yeah, Honestly, you what would, you think? You would, you would think that, though. You've got a prosthetic penis. <laughs> 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 so what you think about the yeah. dudes that get the, the fake, the BBLs with the fake packs? Um, I don't like it, but again, to each their own. If that makes them sleep at night, if that gets them women, I'm all for it. How does it affect us? How does it affect you? It doesn't. It looks that's fake. their choice. It looks like a human. No, but that's no, but how does it affect us? What do I think of it? I think more power to you. If you feel that attracts women, I'm not here to judge you because that doesn't affect me. As a female, I have I've got all the choices. I'll say, look at your fake six pack, high five, but I'll go to a man that has real six pack. But I don't even like six packs. I'm just saying that's what I would do. I'm not right. You like the gut. I feel that you, you like yeah, the gut. Yeah, I like the gut. Yes, I do. The gut. Yes. The culture of um of cosmetic surgery promotes. I'm proud to be fat. Things like promotes things like body dysmorphia, low self esteem. Mm. And it's actually a problem because people think that that's the beauty standard to attain, and that's actually fakeness going against um nature. And the problem with this thing is yeah. these procedures have medical 
um, repercussions. In in years time, they kill nerves. They you lose sensitivity. Um, there's uh, prone to infection. There's slipping and all kinds of mishaps that happen. Um, and obviously, those areas that have had cosmetic surgery are now vulnerable to injury and things like that in the future. So, to be fair, yeah, we can't say that it doesn't affect you as a woman because this culture will actually affect your sister. Or your no, but I'm asking, or... how does it affect you? See, Jedi, that's what I'm saying. How yeah, does it affect you? We're part of society. We are part yes, of society. We are, but it doesn't no, affect no, no, no. Okay, yeah, it, does, it does, it does. That's a naive way to see things. Yeah. yeah. When you're part of society and the things that we make normal will affect you. In mm. one way or another. It's short-sighted. Is, to is it my normal. Wi-Fi or is everybody... No, Jedi's talking. Yeah, Jedi's talking. Tony. Is everybody crying out? No, no I think nah, you can't. we good, right. man. Nah. Yeah, so, yeah, sorry, Jedi. Uh, n- n- it yeah, was kind of like choppy. No, it was no, no. all right. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can hear you, bro. Okay. All right. all right. Yeah, so it does it does affect everyone, and mm. it does affect you. What the group does affects the individual, as long as we're part of society. And what it does is shifting the norm of what we see as acceptable and our abilities to have self-love. More humans with less self-love, more humans with lower self-esteem, um, more humans that think that fake is the way to become popular and make it in society will affect the society you live in and you will find hey, the repercussions hey. come to you in different ways. Okay, so I'm saying to hey, you, hey, Jedi. Hey, I hey. always say, I hear what you're saying, but I say to you, Jedi, I'm telling you that when I see females with big lips, um, big contoured bodies and all that, I say more power to you because her looks does not affect me. I'm saying me personally. I'm asking you as an individual, how does it affect you when the, I hate it? She's this, she's this, and hating on that female, particular female, hating on her. I always ask the person, how does it affect you as an individual? I hear what you thought was saying about group thing, society. We are a part of society. But as a person, as an individual, how does her getting her breast done affect me? It does not. All I say is more power right. to you, sister. And I All hope right. that... Yeah, go in, ahead. In, in my, in Mona, my Mona, effect, Mona, my... Mona, Mona, Mona. Yeah. How does a man traveling to Haiti mm-hmm. and picking up a six-year-old boy to have sex with affect you? Go. It doesn't. It doesn't so affect does that mean you. That, so, so, no, but it doesn't that, mean it's right. That's why, we're, that's why we're different people. No, I'm just saying, yeah, I, that a, man doing that, no, a man doing that does not affect my personal life. But what do I see as wrong or right? I see it as wrong. I, see I live in the same world as that being, yeah? And as yeah. long as these type of acts are happening in the world, my spirit can't rest. Okay. No, I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying I, to and you... Can't find, you can't find true peace in a world where these things are occurring. So I, I feel that. like every ripple, it's called the butterfly effect. Yeah. And I believe that every ripple has an... Um, every stone thrown into this reality has an effect. I hear and, what you're um, saying. We choose not to um, um, observe it until it's inescapable but i'm saying before it becomes inescapable even just being vocal and and letting our other brothers know that this type of shit is unsexable um unnecessary letting our sisters our moms our daughters and our girlfriends know that this shit is unnecessary and we don't even rate it then they can at least have the chance to hear brothers like us say that we don't rate it and maybe have the chance to say you know what i ain't gonna do it because i thought everyone was on it but everyone's not on it and i respect that if yeah. you stay silent, then it just becomes more and more normal. And, it, yeah. and to be fair, as a father, I don't want it for my son. I don't want it for my daughter. I don't mm. want them to feel like they have to go under the knife, risk their life, die like Kanye West's mom, mm-hmm. just to get some breasts. Because you've had children and children have suckled from your breasts and your breasts are doing what thousands of women's have, and millions of women's breasts have done in the in the past. Okay. Now you want to do the next stuff. But there's some females who end up doing what do they do end up taking their lives because they don't they're not happy with the way they look they do self-harming so what you, society. No, and exactly so i'm yeah, always so thinking, rather than encourage society yeah, to, yeah. to keep creating women that are unhappy with their bodies let's create society that makes women and men happy with the bodies that they were given and and understand that whatever you think yeah you might your tits might not be yeah. equal yeah your funny <laughs> flaps, flaps might need to be able to be <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, your yep. bum, you might have an ingrown bum, you might be <coughs> HIP, you might be HIP negative, whatever the case is. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, um, it, it, 
it still doesn't mean that you should go and alter, alter this and risk yourself. And to be honest, yeah. life has got many challenges. Like, I think cosmetic surgery, I agree with when it becomes an impairment. If something happens, do you know what I mean? If you can't breathe properly because your nose is not formed in a certain Class, way, yeah. it's cool. if you get your nose smashed, you get me? If you get your teeth knocked out, yeah, go and get some false veneers. Like, of course, like, rare, rare. I'm not saying, but it's the cosmetic as aspect of it, where it's just for a, a, a perceived body enhancement rather than for a necessity. Yeah. I but I see nothing wrong. With, I, me personally, I see nothing wrong if a female says, after having severe mental um, trauma about having a small breast or their breasts, okay, okay there are females who's got like size BB and they don't like their breasts. And if, I'm not talking about females who have got none, like A's. I'm not talking about yeah. you females. I'm talking about ones who, there's, it's reasonable. B, C almost, and they say, I hate myself. And they look in the mirror every day, hating their body. Again, if they got their breasts enlarged and it helps relieve of that mental torture, I say, high five, sister. That's it. Nah, man, high they need five. more love. They need, no, they need no, more okay, support they, and love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and, I, and I just say, you celebrate it, right? Because it just be like, I just say to my girl, be like, yo, you got cleavage. That's the best right but there. What, you just what, appreciate what, that woman what, that I want milk and you got it. Okay, but what about the women who don't have someone supporting them? And what about women who hear you saying that, but they don't love themselves? They don't like how they look. I can have, there could be a woman who's been told a million times she's attractive. But she mm -hmm. still feels that she's unattractive because she doesn't believe it. No, I so get that. You, we all have our own. We have. We all have our. I mean, listen. On, on real that, shit. We that. have our insecurities at the end of the day. I get that. But you yeah. know, I, I mean, for me, I, I'm gonna be honest. In certain certain ways, I'm I'm kind of against the whole entire surgery thing. In certain mm -hmm. ways, I'm kind of against it. Like I'm just like, look, be cool with what what God gave you, what your parents gave you and all that other stuff. But I am empathetic to the fact, like, I do understand, like, if this is something you really want to do, who am I to sit up there and come in between that and say you shouldn't do it? Exactly. So I get that. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no. It, okay, it, gets on, it gets worse. Your insecurity, Mona, Yeah. Um, somebody else's paycheck. And guess what? The reality mm -hmm. is most people that undergo plastic surgery never, never do it just once because it never mm -hmm. happens result so they do yeah. it again or they find something else to do and then before you know it you're looking at some fucking cat tiger lady how the hell you, you get whiskers on top of your head like no, that but, oh, like, okay, but those females they suffer from body dysmorphia and that's yeah. a mental health problem Yes, but it's also, but but it's still addiction at the end of the day, though. No, I know, but yeah. I'm just but, saying to you, who are we to stop them? Surgery, who are we? Cosmetic surgery preys on these people. I know it does. Okay, well, okay, but the thing about it is, again, it's addiction. Because think about it like this. How many times it would be a woman that's insecure about, let's just say, her boobs or her ass. You go to get a BBL surgery, especially when they go out of the country, well, out of the United States. They go to South America or something like that. And they mm -hmm. keep getting and keep getting it. This is what happened with some woman. She died from that. Yeah. And, and what we, and it's just like, at the same time, it needs to come with precautions. No, it's just be like, no, I hear what you're saying. They don't come with precautions. So you spoke about the women. But that's what I'm saying. But, you spoke, but, you spoke oh, about the women that killed themselves. Yes. Talk about the women that killed themselves. Sorry, unalive themselves. Yeah. Um, because they were unhappy with their body. There are now women like that. The, let's talk about the other women that died because they were unhappy with their body. And I agree with you. Water. Yeah. So that's why I believe in choice. So I say to women, you have a freedom of choice. You can die either the hand of a knife on the scalpel, or you can unalive yourself, and that's up to you. I, if a woman wants to kill her, sorry, unalive herself because she doesn't like the way the look she looks. That is her. If she gets, if I try to get her help and so on and so on, she does all the surgeries and she's still not happy, that's on her. But I'm not going to stop her from doing all the things that she felt she needed to do because I don't think it's right. Who am I to tell a man or woman what they should do? Who am that's I? a basis. All right. That's a basis. And I, no, I, I get that, Mona. That's a basis. But what I'm saying is a lot of the things that happen now in society, it picks up like a trend. So it's just like, yeah, you can say that. Who am I to say anything and stuff like that? But the more and more no, people catch on to the wave. To a personal, personal, I, but, on a personal level. Like if a woman was telling me I want to have my breasts done and I think I'd, and I'm seeing that her breasts are double Ds and she wants to get it bigger. Her breasts are perfect as they are. 
double d's are loved by most men but she wants to get it enhanced i'm not i'm going to say to her i don't think you should do that because i just think you are perfect as you are but if you want to do it go ahead i'm not going to stop any woman who's got mental torture that they think their breast is small blah blah, blah and stop them from doing something because just like that lady uh martina yeah. big it, no, it's like that. that right. My Mona, point is that Mona, lots of women choose Mona, to do these things even when they don't need Mona, to do it. Yeah, Mona, go ahead. Go you're ahead. You're basically saying that you ain't got an opinion on other people's behavior, right? So therefore, why are you objecting when people are telling these people I don't to object. have self-love as their goal yeah. rather than society's uh, false goal of like um, yeah. looking like Kim K or whatever? Okay. No, Khan, I'm so saying, you're to you saying that... I... that yeah, like you've already admitted that having some sort of corrective surgery is a, is a, is a, a step on a on a uh, a trajectory, right? Yeah. But the question yeah. is, what is the final destination? Is it self love and self acceptance, mm -hmm. or is it to conform to society's um, ideas? And I'm saying to you, Kong, that I don't, I look at women who do that and I say yeah. to them, if they want to do it, yeah. that's on them. And if they say, right. say to me, no, but I also no, say, but to if them, I want to no, them, I'm saying, no, let me speak, Kong. Them, I'm saying to you that if they say to me, what is your opinion? I'll say, I don't think you should get your breast done. For no, what? I hear what I'm saying, though. You I'm can't saying, really I'm then set yourself as the, as the precedent, right? Yeah. You're saying, yeah. I'm opting out. I'm not saying yes or no. I'm leaving it up to the person. Yeah. Right? Choice, freedom of choice. People here are saying, no, we're saying that self-love mm -hmm. and self-acceptance yeah. should be the pinnacle right, of your life. You should aim for that in your life. Yeah. And, and, I'm, and I'm saying to Khan, so I, do say that that, to them, yeah. I do say that to females. You're not, you're no, not I do say that to females. Why are you even speaking? Uh, no, I'm saying I do say that to females. I'll say to them, oh, so why do you want to get your breasts done? Oh, because men, blah, blah. I know there's women like women like you. I'm like, yeah, thank you. No, I you're saying who am I? I'm, who no, am I I'm saying, anything, no right? but I do. I'm saying to the, if I've told this female what I think and she decides to do it, who am I to stop her? Stop yeah, her. This is why you don't need men, though. You're sorry? This is why you need men. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, calm. But it's true though, because no. how you how yeah. you're describing it is how women deal with each other. Yeah. When women are doing fucked up shit, other women don't come along and tell them, "Yo, that's no, why they you need don't. more love." You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, more love from the men. More that. love right. from the men. I love you. You like I love your titties just the way that they no, are. But, but Can we get some milk that. in my cereal, please? No, women do do that because you know I've, I've said to females who want to get their breasts done, I've told them that you're you are beautiful as you are. So what if X Y Z the society thinks DDs are are the best size? So what? You're ha you're beautiful as you are. I don't understand yeah. why you're doing X Y Z. And they then tell me. I want to do it anyway. I still then say that's your choice. I can tell them why they're that's beautiful. a basis. I can tell but... them. I can no, no. I can tell them why they're beautiful. I can also tell them the dangers of that. But if they yeah. still go ahead with it after me telling them dangers and saying that you are beautiful as you are, yeah. that is not for me to judge her. That's so like, your decision I, at the end of the day, and that's not right. for me to judge her. But I, I don't feel like, but the thing about it is, it's like low key, we like low key saying the same thing, low, low key. Because okay. the thing about it is, at the end of the day, yeah, I would be the same way. I'd be like, you know, I don't really agree with it because right. I feel like you look fine the way that you are. Well, I'm like, what, what was your reason for getting surgery? And yes, of course, that is a basis. That is your choice. That is going to be something she yeah. does at the end of the day. But the problem that I see sometimes is that it, people is just catching on to a wave just to catch or, on to or, a wave. And that's the society. They're high fiving it. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, get your breasts. But it's also enable. Mm -hmm. But that the problem is the enable the being able to enable it when it's I not even necessary, that. right? I no, I'm not saying. You, I'm not saying. Yeah. I'm not saying you do. Okay. But what I'm saying is there's just that problem in society. Certain people really do enable it to the point it's not necessary. And the fact of the matter is, it's just like how I see you have these women that get their breasts on and their butt done. And stuff like that look weird as fuck when they come off the surgery table to be honest but that's none of my business but what i'm saying is at the end of the day is it's about the society projection because if you go into the same doctor 
If you go into the same doctor that killed such and such and you go to the same doctor to get surgery, that's insanity. You know you're about to get set up for your death, even though you <laughs> want to and make yourself happy by getting yeah. your ass done and looking crazy. But all I'm saying crazy. Is that I hear what you're saying. So that's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, we can say to females why they shouldn't do it. We can say to males why they shouldn't. Like, for example, I know males. I don't know them. Sorry. This is just me pretending. Say, for example, I know males who's had pe penis enlargement. Am I going to tell them, don't get penis enlargement? I'm going to no. say, do you know you could risk? No, I will say to them, you know you could risk losing your penis altogether and you'll have a mangina, right? You know that. Yeah, yeah, I know that. You know that your penis could die and part of the tip that you got injected or whatever could die. Yeah, I know that. But they still go ahead with that. Guess what I'll tell them? Go ahead, have a dead penis, possibly. Who am I to tell them not to? I will just say to them the dangers, but I'm not going to try and stop them because that's not my right. They no, I ain't be... either. No, but, but that's you, uh, free but will. Mona, I, you no, but they've got some to stop them. No, but I'm going to tell them I think you're an idiot. I ain't going to yeah. speak to you. Don't come around me and don't talk about this shit in front of my children. And don't come around with your face looking like a cat. You going to ban that person? Okay, but Khan, all I'm saying to you is, okay, say, so let's use penis example. When men want to get penis enlargement, do you tell them not to? I always say to them, I don't think you should. I, I would say that. Sorry, I've never said that. No matter what if a man was to come with the argument to me, yeah. Going under anesthesia, if a man was to come where you can with me with that argument, I tell him to go about his business. what the surgery is about. You can die just from the anesthetic. I know that. Yeah. Why are we yeah, living your life over stupidness? Okay, but, I'm, but, but, but I'm against them doing it if that's their free will. You're not against them doing will. it, you're driving them to the hospital. No, no you're, yeah, 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 you're can't, you're can't no, stop them. You can't stop them. But, from but you doing said, it, but you, you know said that's an extreme, it. though. Because you would sit up there and say to Who's that, that person, Robbie? don't be around me, don't talk about that around me and, and my him, kids. Man. Like, did that, like, if they get that surgery, that's kind of extreme. If they was just saying, yo, look, listen, I want to get my ass done, or you know what dudes nowadays, they get height lifting in surgery. Would you sit up there and tell them, nah, you can't be around my kids yeah, talking yeah, about that and that and the third act? That you say? Yeah, if my sister said, I'm thinking of getting the uh, Brazilian butt lift, I'd be telling her, listen, you cannot be seen anywhere with me now. You can't come to the Christmas dinner. Uh, you can't come to the funeral. You can't come on much. holiday with us. I don't want to be seen anywhere with that appendage stuck to your body. Don't nah, that's too me. much. That, that, like, like, why would that? you just... Okay, but whoa, whoa, no, bro. See, I'm not supporting you in that. And I can't okay. be down the road with you like everything's normal. But bro, you wait, bro. This is what I'm not understanding. So you ready to disown yeah. your own sister just because yes. she decided to get a Brazilian butt lift? I would disown her for less than that. Yes. How, how does it okay? What does that look so you want because of a decision she made because she yeah. wanted to enhance her body? Why? Yeah. Because that's just how it is. So okay, but that, that means you so you you don't want to you want to love her less just because she decides to do that? No. Like what has she done that's unhonorable? No, why I, why I is that a, such an unhonorable thing? Car. I can love you without you being in my life. You but that's what I'm saying. So so just because of that decision alone, you ready to yeah. cut her off just yes. because of that. Yes. That's extreme, bro. But my sister knows me. I told her from day one, don't come chatting shit to me about anything. If I tell you don't do something and you go and do it and it goes wrong, you can't come to me. I can't that. do that, bro. Telling me, oh, I want to go out with Jim. And I'm telling you, Jim is an armed robber, you know. Man's dangerous. And you still want to go out with him and you end up in a fucking serious situation phoning me three o'clock in the morning. Ah, man, he's buzzing. He's buzzing. Come and see him. So, so like, basically, so Khan, you're basically saying that you fucked up yourself. Hey, Khan, yeah? it's God on your fucking Khan. big boy pants. I hear what you're saying, Khan, but God is forgiven. But, things, okay, man, but Khan, me. God, God is forgiven of making mistakes. Remember, you see, God, you, no, no, I'm just saying, God is forgiving us for the mistakes that we make. But you, as a human being that's imperfect, are gonna not forgive and not accept someone who makes mistakes that you know they're gonna make. Exactly. God that. is a forgiving God, but you, as a human being, are yeah. gonna say, "I'm not." That's gonna crazy. Forgiving, and I'm not gonna. I'm say not God, but I'm how? How am I gonna disown like, somebody that came outside looking like God, Bugs God. Life? How is that on me? No, but I know you're not God. I'm saying to you that if God of the heavens and the earth is forgiving, remember. I'll give you an I'm, example. I'll give you an I'm example. I'm saying God I've got is friends forgiving. Here. Listen, Mona, but you I've got friends that are alcoholics. Me? They Come. don't accept the fact that they're alcoholics, but they are. Yes. Right? I'll yeah. give them one chance, two chance, three chance. I might give you 20 chances, 50 chances. Mm -hmm. and They'll come a day 
where I just don't even want to chat to you no more. I, I don't want to see that. your face. But bro, I'm answering your phone calls. You just, you're just an alcoholic to me now. You might as well okay, but, but, that but, but okay, but that's, that's different. Okay, 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 hold on. But that's that's different. That's different. No, though. it's not. Because yeah, yes, it is. Wait, let me explain bro, why. Oh, wait, wait. Let me explain. I'm not okay. tolerating. It's this. different. I'm not tolerating your bitchy behavior when you're on a comeback Time. from alcohol. I'm it is a difference, now. but it is a difference because that How is a is behavior. Let me tell you why. Because that is a behavior that's being repeated over and over and over. That's an addiction. Whereas uh -huh. if it's someone, wait, if if it's someone that's getting a surgery to basically just change themselves that one time, that's not an addiction. It's just an enhancement. So you're ready, to, you're ready. You're ready. You're ready to just I don't know. It's not. It's not the same thing. It's really not the same thing. Alcohol. Wait. Alcoholism. Okay. Alcoholism. No one ever has one it's, surgery, bro. It's an yes, they do. Bro. Yes, they do. They can have one surgery. Yes, they can. They might have to come back for checkups. Wait. Hold on. They have to. They might have to come back for checkups. But you can get surgery one time and then just be like, oh, I got it, and then just go to the doctor repeatedly to make sure you're fine. So it's a difference when you say that versus alcoholism, which is a behavioral problem as well. Look, here's the difference between me. Your, and your sister's hey, people, your sister's behavior is not going to change by her getting her ass bro, done. When I see people doing fucked up shit, yeah, and they got people like you in their life supporting them during their fucked up shit, I kind of like have to blame you. I'm not like, saying that no, I would support it though. Support. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not saying that I would necessarily support it, but I'm not going to disown my sister because she decides to get a Brazilian butt lift. And whatever yeah, yeah, your decision, definitely. I'm here. My for sister you. comes to me tomorrow and told me she's getting a Brazilian butt lift. I'll be like, don't even chat to me, and I'll shut the phone on her. That's okay. crazy, and oh, that's because she decides to do that as an enhancement. That's wrong, no, bro. I'm saying to them, say that. you make a decision, and I say to you that you shouldn't do it. I will still be there to support you. That's what Martin, I am. Because Martin, God, no, Martin. but God is a forgiving God, and God wants us to live as He does, or to live up to the standards of God. And you're saying you're not a forgiving human being. You that's know, right. I'm saying, I'm saying everything is you're from not God, willing. right? If no, I can forgive you, if God allows me to forgive you, if God give me the capability of forgiving you, I would already forgive you. You don't need to ask me, innit? No, but I'm saying that okay, but you worship a forgiving God, and you are you as a human being cannot be forgiven for others who make mistakes who might not think like you. And when they make that mistake, say they did make a mistake, they can't come to you and talk. Because okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a better, this is a better example. Khan, can I ask you a question? Khan, let me ask you a question. Khan, 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 hold on, wait, wait. Khan, let me ask you a question. Have you ever lied to your parents or to your sister about something? Obviously. You have, right? And have they forgiven you? Or did they disown you when you lied? How do they know that I lied, bro? Wait, wait, told have, you, have you told them, wait, have you actively, wait, 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 wait. Have you actively told your parents you lied to them before? No, for what? What self snitching? Have you came clean? No, have you came clean and said, you know what? That's not never. the truth. Never, ever, I'm never, just saying. No, no. So you never came close to you never said to your parents, you're no. a lie. Or they found no, what wait. Or what about wait, hold on, con, con, con. Let me say this. Let me say this. Did they ever find out you was lying and you admitted no. that you this is crazy, no. con. So let's just say you lied to your parents. Would they be wrong for disowning you? That's their say I don't want you wait. That's their wait. That that's fine, but if you lied to your parents and then you finally come clean and said, "Yo, I lied," is it right for them to disown you? If I'm a compulsive liar and I'm gaslighting the fuck out of people, and they're like, "Listen, we don't know where we stand with you. You're constantly lying for no reason. You're driving everybody up the wall. We just don't want to be around you no more because you're just a fucking liar, right?" Uh -huh. I, I, I wouldn't uh, argue with that. Oh, but uh, so let's say you're not a compulsive liar. Let's just say you lied that first time. Should they disown you? No. There you go. So they shouldn't disown you, but you're ready to disown your sister just because she decides to be honest with you and want to get a BBL surgery. How is that right? Die. Okay. And if anything, you could lie. You could lie about a situation you could have died or you could have got caught up in. Who are we to judge on that? Brother, you're trying too hard now. I'm not. I'm just saying you because it's like, no, nah, no, nah, but come let's on, be real. Bro. Let's be real, because you listen. No, 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 Khan, but but it's perfect sense, though. Bro, because it's in it, because what I'm getting at, it's it's an extreme. No one ain't gonna die, bro. Okay, but what I'm saying to you, it's an extreme. So you're ready to to basically off your sister from communication just because she decides to enhance herself. But when it comes to any examples that have to do with you, if it's not a learned behavior, and you do something, wait, wait, if you do something one time, wait, wait. Bro, All right, go ahead, Con. In this go society, ahead. I can't hit you. 
I can't do anything other, yeah, other than just walking away from you. That is the only thing I've got over you. I can't hit you. I can't shout you. I can't abuse you. I can't name call you. I can't uh, henpeck you. I can't badger you into doing what I want, right? The only power I've got is to walk away. And I'm saying that there's certain things that once you cross that line, yeah, there's no going back from it. And getting the BBL is one of them. But okay, let's just say she okay. But let's just say she doesn't die from BBL, B. Getting lip fillers, getting lip fillers, and looking okay. Like a surgery, bar, okay. If she gets a surgery, lip okay. And looking like a cock sucking prostitute. You're okay, not and that's for her. But okay, you know but that. that's you're not okay. But what I'm saying is that's not your body to sit up there and disown her about. Yeah, if she looks, if she decides, wait. If she decides to look like a fool, that's on her. No, no. So no, you're no, gonna no, disown no. her. What if? Okay, hold on, wait. What if she gets the surgery? She gets the enhancement. You can't lie as a brother. You just be like, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. My sister right, do got a fatter ass now. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, this real quick. Though. Wait. Can I ask you this real quick, please? Go on. Go on. So what I'm saying is, if your sister was to get that Brazilian butt lift enhancement, right? Mm -hmm. Everything went well. Everything went safe. Like everything was good. Mm -hmm. As a brother, you can't even lie. You'd be like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. My sister do got a fatter ass now. You still gonna be on some shit? You want this owner? Or it's gonna be like, I don't like that you did that, but I'm happy that you got it done safely. What is your what is your whole entire thing on that? You still gonna disown her? Yeah. Even even after the whole procedure and everything went well. A man already said, yeah, in it. Listen, let me ask you a question. Let's yeah. say you got a daughter and she's telling you, Dad, my friend Susan, she makes a lot of money, yeah, doing porn, right? I'm not going to lie to you, Dad. I've been doing it for about a week now and I've made about five grand doing it and I really enjoy it and the people are really nice. But on Wednesday, I need to lift home from the film, uh, the, the crew, the crew. there's no one available to drop me home. Dad, come down and pick me up from, from the site. Are you going to go down, meet her boss, shake hands with everyone, go, thank you for giving my daughter a job and pick up your daughter, your cum-filled daughter and take her oh home? My <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, Khan, let me, let me tell you exactly you what I... Hey, no, no, hold on. I'm going to tell you. I'm, in, I'm you about to tell you. I'm about to give you an answer. Yes. I'm going to tell you why I say yes. First of all, I ain't. First of all, when I get down there, I ain't shaking hands with no motherfucking body. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. Give a fuck about my daughter. That's first and foremost. Let's be real. No, I'll come in there and I'll be like, if it's my yeah, I'm talking. Like, I'm be on the cell phone like, oh, get your ass outside right now, and we going in a car back to the house and having a conversation. Why the fuck you didn't tell me that you was doing porn? You understand yeah, that? She's, she's and then after that, after that, after that, after that. And I sat up there and I said, did you make the decision for you or did you make the decision for somebody else? No, she's like, daddy, it empowers me. It makes me feel like a woman. I love it. It's great. It's like, that's, it, this, is a, this is a saying This is a saying that my parents my parents and my grandparents used to tell me. If you're going to be a hooker, be the best hooker you're going to be. Wow. If you're going to be this, if you're going to be that, be the best that da -da you can be. They've always told me that. So my thing about it is, if my daughter decides to be a porn star... I'm I'm gonna disagree with it, but if this is something she really feels in her heart she wants to do, I'm like, yo, all right, cool. But just understand, you may get STDs, you may get your your, your vagina might get ripped yeah. up and all yeah. that shit. But I'm yeah. not gonna sit up there and say, stop doing it now. Yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah. that's your decision. No, you know what, Bronzeberg, props to you. Yeah, Bronzeberg, sorry. I ain't props gonna to like you, it. Bro. Big up yourself. Yeah. I wish I could be as civilized and evolved as you. But obviously, I'm just a Neanderthal barbarian uh, madman <laughs> who can't relate to you. So, you know, like, courses for courses, isn't it, as we say? Neanderthals like, was bad, courses, brother. Bro. So, big up yourself, man. Nice well, you say Neanderthals. Neanderthals was the I'm most saying, that's me, isn't it? horrible exactly. people in the world. I that in my life. I would spaz out. I would have to get sections or do someone. I'll have to murder someone. Like, would you murk? Okay, me. would you murk your daughter if you found out she was like, doing yeah, porn? Don't worry, daddy's coming to get you. And I'm like turning up with the AK and deading everyone, including my daughter, probably. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I got shit parenting skills because I'm like, yo, I'm not that's for it. Time. Yeah, that's just extreme. I said, I'm not for it if my daughter decides to do porn. No, I'm, I'm not, not for it. Either. I wouldn't be for it, no. But I'm like, yo, if that's your life choice in your life career, then all right, cool. But and it's the just know I don't if like daughter, it. If my daughter said she wanted to enter, enter a penis sucking competition, I'll say, how can I join up too? That's it. Move along. You know, like, like I said, horses for courses. Like, I'm not judging you, innit? Like, you mm -hmm. can, you can live your life, innit? But that? I'm saying, and if I want to tell someone something, yeah. you can't tell me I'm wrong for that, which is what you're doing. No, no, I'm no. not, no. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying you're no, wrong. If my, you're daughter, wrong if my daughter said that Wait, she's... Wait, no, I didn't. 
If my daughter says she's said that was wrong. Trump, if my daughter okay, says she's in Hold a on. competition, I would say life. to her that go, wait, wait. To, do, go do the best you can be and where is it so I can join? See, I'm open-minded. Well, <laughs> I let my child, if I had a child, which I'm not going to ha ever have, I let her decide how to live her life, even if I don't agree with it. Damn. Even if well, I don't about it, it's less, Okay, okay. One minute, one minute. If you're uh, responsible for someone, all right, that's your child, or you're married to someone, that's your partner or your wifey, you're, you're, you're under the, the eyes of God, you've taken responsibility for this person, right? You said to God, please, yes. God, marry me to this woman, I will take responsibility for her. She's your woman now. In the eyes of God, she's your woman, right? And she does something to dishonor you, right? The only course of action you've got is to walk away and tell her, listen, like, I can't, you've dishonored me, me and you's done, right? Correct. And walking away from it, right? Mm -hmm. How are you going to tell a man he's wrong for doing that? Wrong for doing what? Like, walking away from somebody that's dishonoring him. I'm just saying it's extreme. Because the thing about it is, you're sitting up there saying just because she decides to get a surgery, you willing right. to walk away from her and say, just be like, nah, I'm not banging with you just because she decided to do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. So if my sister, I mean, turns honestly, up, if I'm at my mom's house and my sister turns up in front of my kids with lip fillers and her lips are looking like a porn star's face, I'm gonna be getting kids get our stuff together. We're leaving now. Nah, I would laugh in her face. On the way out, you turn up looking like a fucking whore. Don't never check me ever listen, again. And I'm, I'm I'd be look. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I'm be like, you got a shit doctor because I'm laughing in your face right now. You really got lip fillers looking crazy, looking like Donald Duck. Like, what You're are you doing? You're gonna laugh yeah, I'm gonna laugh it off. I'm gonna be like, yo, you look, yo. No, but you, I wouldn't do that. I, I love you. What, I love you, but like, you look crazy. Okay, what right are you, both of you, to be laughing in a woman's face about how she looks? That's I don't give what a causes, fuck. That's what causes then, insecurity in the first place. People it was already. Let's People let's be real. So let's be real, Mona. Don't that cap. What? Listen, the woman Mona. Do you, not, you laugh in her Mona. Face. Do Come not on. cap. Do not cap. Like, you have not seen surgeries going wrong. Yes, you I sat have. up there laughing. So yes, why is it a difference? Why yes, is it a difference if I decide to laugh about it? Because you're laughing in someone's face. That is hurtful. What about her feelings? Do you know how hurtful it is? Can you imagine someone laughing in your face about how you look? Do you know how hurtful it is? Yes, I laugh when I'm not targeting a female or male. Yes, of course I laugh. We all do. But who are you to sit in her face and laugh at the way she looks? Do you know how awful that is? Do you know what it means right. like someone to look at you and hey. laugh at you and pointing and say, you're it ain't going to be pointing. It's kind of like one of those sort of things, like <laughs> tough love. Like, 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 let's be real. How, how honest are you going to be? Are you going to sit up there and say, are you going to sit up there and lie and sit up there and say, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Are you going to sit up there and lie and say the surgery, the surgery came out good when you know it didn't? No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Not would you be honest enough? Would you? Hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Let me just finish this. So uh, I was, you said, no, you wouldn't lie. You would tell the truth. You would sit yes, up there and say that. Yeah. Okay. So how you don't know, because of your criticism and how blunt you're going to be towards maybe your sister, for example, she yes. might get hurt by that as well. Okay. So I'm saying to you that it's human nature. When we're laughed at and mocked, we're more likely to be affected than someone saying to you, sister, why did he do you look like that? Okay. Listening to her. Um, okay, do you not think that maybe you went too far? See, that's my approach. I'm not gonna right. go, oh my god, Mo you like Mona, Mona. I got, I got you look like for a you. crowd. Oh my god, you. look at you, everyone's laughing at you. Look at you. everyone's laughing. No, you're right, you're right, Mona. Either way, either response, you're either you're response. Either you're response. Either okay, it's Mona. Worse. Mona, you've it's gone around to visit your mum, right? Sunday yeah. afternoon. Okay, with yeah. three people in their living room with a paper that they're getting her to sign. And you're like, mom, what's that paper? He's mm -hmm. like, oh, these are the guys from the Church of Scientology. I've yeah. been chatting to them for about three months now. They've convinced me that their religion's the truth, but I need to sign over all my worldly goods to them, yeah. including your inheritance. And I'm just about to sign the paper, Mona. Yeah. At that point in, in your life, can you tell your mom what to do? I'm saying to you, I would, but I wouldn't laugh in her face. Ah. I was like, I wouldn't, no, I, did I not say it's how you say it? So I wouldn't go, ha ha, mom, you are so dumb. Look at you. Oh my God, you look stupid. Ha ha. I would not do that. I'll, I'll, I'll sit her aside and say, mom, why are you, why? Again, it's the approach. Laughing in someone's face is not okay, no matter what they've done. No, but telling someone what to do. Face. A minute ago, you was like, who am I? Who no, am but I? it's true. I would, no, I'll say, why are you doing this? Yeah, it's it's okay truth, it? I believe in their religion. I no. get what you mean. I get what you mean about the laughing part, but no, still, okay. or either, either way, finish, please, Bronzy. Okay. Um, so I'd say to the person, 
okay, why are you, my mom, sorry, mom, why are you doing this? Like my mom, she goes to a church I don't agree with. She, my mom currently goes to a church I don't agree with. But again, it's her choice. That is her decision. I don't agree with it, but that's me. I don't agree with it. Who am I to tell my mom that she shouldn't go to that church? I'll tell her I don't agree with this, that, this, that, that. But at the end of the day, mom, it's your choice. I don't agree with it, but it's your choice. So it doesn't matter what you do. If a woman decides to kill herself, I mean, sorry, off herself, I would say, mm, I don't think you should do that. Explain to her right or wrong. But who am I to tell her that? She, who am I to stop her? So I'm going to tie her down, make her not do something. I can't. That That's not my right. I don't have a right to do that. It's called I free agree will. with that. It's free will. Well, I, I agree with that. The There's no problem. Will. Right. But I'm saying your approach, Bronzy, when you said, oh, love. Ah, for what? Why would you do that to so a human being? Why? Because shaming is a being? control human. mechanism. No, but that is not our right to laugh at people. No, but he's saying he will control yeah. someone yeah. through shaming them rather than my yeah. approach. Control? What you mean? I ain't saying nothing about no control. What, what, what you mean? Shaming them okay, let's let's control. put that. Okay, all right, fine, 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 fine. You know what? You let's let's riddle back on that. Uh, would my reaction kind of be like I naturally want to want to like you know smirk or something like that to it? It would be a natural response, but of course now taking this into account. Right? Hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Natural repulse is natural repulse. So what I'm saying is, it's like okay, fine, y'all got me on that. Now thinking about it, I'm like that is a little bit mean spirited and fucked up. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if that was the proposal that happened and she came through with the duck lips or whatever, and this, that, and the third, I'm gonna have a conversation and say, you know, I don't really agree with. I'm like, you know, I don't really agree with what happened and stuff like that is the doctor uh, certified you, wait hold on wait wait i would i would ask questions and i'd just be like are you proud of what you got are you proud of the surgery and if not hey, what steps do you want to take to make sure it's getting right. rectified hear, hear, what, hear what i'm saying to you now you're a lovely guy you're a kind guy and i get all that but the fact that you would allow your daughter to do porn Means that me and you, we can't be broskies, bro. And you can't never <laughs> ask me to lend you money. You can't never ask me to start a business. That's too extreme. You. you can't never ask me to come to fight okay. for you or whatever. Like we're not bros, bro. Like, Khan, let me ask you this. Khan, no honor. Do you understand? Khan, no, that's not that? true. That's not true. Did, that's bro? not true. Khan, Khan, are you supposed to live through your kids forever, or are you supposed to let your kids live for themselves once they're a certain my age? Kids forever, even in okay, heaven, they're my kids. Uh, okay, but uh, so are you going to make every decision for them? When they're well, like I'm twenty or thirty, would, would you make? Factor. I'm asking you. I, I'm asking you. So, are yeah. you going to make decisions with them for them you when they're in their twenties? Yeah. Wait, yeah. hold on. Yeah. If for twenties and it, what do you mean indirectly? So, when they're well, in their twenties and thirties, making their own decisions. Okay. Yeah. So, so if they decide to make their own decisions, why is yeah. it wrong? Let's just say one of your kids decide no, to get in porn. You're not getting what I'm saying. I want to train them to think like me, and then I'm going to give them the freedom to carry out that thinking. So for me to see them so what's the difference? thinking, I have to kind of like step back and let them get on with it. But as soon as they start doing something I don't agree with, I'm back on their heels again, going like, what's going on here? And I can say the same thing. I, look, listen, you can raise your child to the best of your ability and still at the same time, they might do something you don't like. You can yeah, raise I'm your child. And, wait, wait, you can raise. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just. But I, OK, wait, OK, tell me. You're tell. missing the point. The point is for you to turn around and say it's her life. Who yes. might tell her what to do? I'm saying it's her life, but there's repercussions to those kind of actions. Number Me one, too. you're fucking up society for everyone else because you're normalizing How? porn, right? You're making porn normal, right? You're contributing to the to the sin of it and the and the the negativity in the world by being uh, involved in the porn industry. And number two, you are basically saying that honor doesn't matter i'm a man of no honor so that means that anyone who's associated with you and knows what you're doing is also implicated in the action okay i'm gonna I'm tell you i'm gonna tell you why i kind of disagree with what you say i understand what you're saying my, my first important my first point first and foremost individualism matters in society you understand so i can raise my child to be like he he or she went to a good school. I taught my my child discipline. I taught my child integrity. I taught my child this, that, and the third. At the end of the day, they as a person has the individual choice to make the decisions they have once they leave my house. 
So my thing about it is if my child, or every, everything that I taught them in life, I said, yo, don't do this, don't do that, this, that, and third. And my daughter wind up being a porn star. Yeah, I'm going to feel as a father embarrassed because I'm going to be sitting up there like, yo, why did you decide to do porn? And that's when I'm going to have the conversation like, why did you decide to do that? This, that, and the third and blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, there's going to come a point in my life where I cannot have that much direction over my child. I have to let my child live. I have to let my child be who they want to be. I may not be proud of it, but I'm not going to sit up there and try to tell my child, oh, because you do porn, I'm going to disown you in this. No. And I'm going to be like, look, listen, I don't really like the fact of the matter. You sucking dick and you taking pain from mad random dudes. And you, you know, all this shit, but as your father, but hold on, wait, wait, as your father, as your father, wait, hold on, as your father, I still have to be there and say, I still love you nonetheless, but I do not support that you are doing porn. And not just that, try and live in the, try and do what Jesus will do. Um, Khan, do what Jesus will do. Do what God would do. That's it. He yeah, the real Jesus, you. not the fake Jesus they've told okay, you he would about. Still, Khan, he would still love you. So, if, Khan, if you decided to do Jesus, a Batman porn, well, I don't know he would still love you. I don't know idea that Jesus was like this walking embodiment of love for everyone. I'm saying to you, I'm saying just to you that that still, thing that they tell people. Thing, okay, Khan, all I'm saying to you is that even if someone does something, the most heinous act, like some people have uh, um, murdered people, some people has ate people, you know what I'm saying, I can't say the words but they've done all of that and guess what they still can be loved, they still can be, and if you can, if people can love people who've done the most heinous act why would you not still love no, no, and you're getting it wrong, your bro. Okay, I'm doing it because I love you mm -mm. I'm, I'm going to stop speaking to you because I love you. If I didn't give a fuck about you or a yeah. fuck about anything you did, that's I'd hatred. be like you and Bronzebird. Nah, that's like, hatred, no, but that's no, hatred no, you coming that's from, though. Um, that's harsh. But because it's like, yo, so because how are you going to sit up there and say you love your child, but you're ready to disown them just because of the decision they decided to do? I love them. Okay, so what if they went, well, okay, what if they get into a situation and they depress and they start to have, they want to off themselves because of the decision you made to disown them? Then what? Oh, I'm going to let them disown themselves? Mm. What? Disown themselves? Okay. You know what I mean. I don't, I don't want to say the word for, you, can't you know. can't say the word. Yeah. Oh. I can't say the word. But I said basically off themselves because you decided to disown them. And because they mm. have to live with the fact the matter that you don't want to be involved in their lives based off the decision they made. So what I if they call it out to you and they say, right, hey, look, listen, Dad. Listen, Bronsberg. Bronsberg. Okay. You seen that film Scarface, yeah? Yes. Tony Montana has got the roughest life ever yeah yes he turns up at his mum's house going mummy i made it she's like look at you look at that suit look at them shoes you look like a gangster but she's saying gangster like she means a piece of doo-doo right but he thinks he's a star isn't it his mum kicks him out the house and says listen i don't want you around your sister she literally disowns him on the spot saying listen i need to bring up my daughter with honor and dignity can't be having some fucking gang banging gangster right driving around in cadillacs with snakeskin shoes on, coming around the house fucking her head up right, right. his mom is dressed like a house cleaner like a tramp basically that like she's a servant for other people right mm -hmm. you can see that she's poor she still he takes him and his money, puts him out on the doorstep and says to him, don't ever come around us yeah, while you're doing this fuckeries. Are you saying that she was wrong? That's his mum, don't forget. She brought him into this world. Ain't that his, his little sister? Ain't his mum? Like, ain't his, his, his wife, sorry. That's his mum that brought him into this world, telling him, do not darken my doorstep with your fuckeries. Yeah. If it, affects, if it affects her life, can't I? If it affects that. her life, yeah, I, I understand that. Uh -huh. Because it's also about her daughter being raised up. So imagine oh, a danger. Yeah. Uh -huh. Imagine a danger that he would be bringing into his mom's home and he's no. she's trying to raise his daughter. His, no, her daughter. But, but, no, it's not a contra. Okay, okay, it's not a contradiction. Because my thing about it is, okay, no, I, no, I can't. What I'm saying is, case by case. Can't I can, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you, it's it's like it's like, bro, like that's an that that's because that's an environment that's affecting not only that's affecting other people, and then you're bringing it into somebody's household. But nobody's gonna how okay? How is BBL surgery? How is BBL that affects her? That's her. How is how is how is BBLs and someone being a porn star affecting the household itself? If you can't see that, if you can't see that, then. 
I can't come. And I do because I'm not understanding. You're, you're talking you're about and no, 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 no. Hearing him, ain't gonna change. You're comparing him. a gang member to BBLs, which is two different things. Oh, if he's yeah. a gangbanger, it's a possibility of that there's his ops that can come over to his mom's house and get her and her daughter killed. Correct. If it's yeah. the fact of the matter that you have someone who gets a BBL surgery, what damn doctor is gonna come over to the, the go over to the daughter's house and be like, you know what, I'm gonna attack you because your your daughter got BBL surgery. Oh, Nobody so doing that. No one's doing that. Your sister who's got the BBL and some rude person's walking past going, damn, that's a fat ass. Yeah, but that's not that's not that's not harming that's not that's that's not, that's not that's that's nobody. That doesn't, Regardless, that doesn't take anyone's life. That doesn't oh. take no. That's all they're doing no, is catcalling. Look at wait, hold on. Look at Miss Mona. If Miss Mona walk out on the street right now and be like, "Damn, Miss Mona got a shape." Does that mean someone's trying to harm her? No, not at all. They're just sitting up there saying that she's attractive. She has a nice and body. Right, so, so if Might not like that it. To your, to, listen, if you're a man and you're walking down the road and someone says that to you, any woman that's with you and they don't know whether it's your girlfriend, your daughter, or your sister, or whatever. That's a blatant disrespect to you as a man, right? So if you yeah. don't say anything, you're a fucking mug. And if you do say something, what? Like you're a mug. How? How am I a mug? Because you're I decided not to by some guy who's talking like who you gives a... there, like you don't Bro, exist. Who cares? Like if a guy, as so long as it, okay, hold on. As long as the guy is not actively trying to go after my woman or the woman I'm with, why do I care? Like there's going to be dudes that sit no, up there and say, "Yo, you're going after hold her on, at the same time, she's got a fat ass." Bro, 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 she's he okay. So is he trying to actively trying to holler at her in front of me? And yeah, if he does, so if it, oh, and, hold on, if he is, hold on, if he is, if he is, I would react and be like, you know, this is my girl, this, that, and the third, right? But then if he tries to be aggressive and try to fight me while I'm with my woman, then that's harming. That's the, the likelihood of trying to harm me. Yeah. It's two different things, Based bro. On the fact that she's got a BBL. Yeah, because she got a BBL. So what? Because she got a BBL. Who is that on? Men, men, men do that whether you have a BBL whether or Whether you have a BBL or don't boy. have a BBL. Do anyway. Yeah, but men, if you don't have a BBL, you're yeah. not asking for it. Are you serious? Would the woman that have a BBL, she ain't asking for it. Are you Jeez. serious, Khan? Let's not Khan, do that. are you for real? Whether Thank you me. have... Whether a woman has a... Whether a woman has a BBL or don't have a BBL, she's not asking for it either. So what do you mean? And and, and then Khan, there's men who there's agree. men no Khan, there's men who um holler at females who don't have that. They're natural and they still get hollowed at. There's men who um target underage people. And they why are they targeted? So you, men are gonna target what they like. It doesn't matter what the female looks like. They're going to do what they like. I'm saying, me personally, I'm going to do what I like. If I want <laughs> a BBL, I will. If I want to have a breast enlargement, I, I will. But do I didn't I know I cat calling. I know, but do I agree with it? Do I think that I should do it? No. Do I think other women should do it? No. Be happy as you are. That's my opinion. But again, if they choose to do it, hi, good, you know, I'm not going to slate her. I'm not going to sit here and go, ew. Ew, you look disgusting. You're ugly. Oh my God, it went wrong. I am not going to do that because that can lead to self harm. I'm not going to participate in things that could cause self harm. Why would I do that? That is evil. That's why I wouldn't do it. I'm not going to sit up there and rate her. I look on social media and these women, they've got lots of comments under their picture saying, You look ugly. You're disgusting. You should, you know, off yourself. Or because she's had a BBW, a BBL, sorry. Oh, okay. like, I don't see that's how cat wrong. calling. That's I don't see wrong. how cat calling is a harm. You like that when you it's say stuff helpful. like that. Hold it on, wait. Cat sometimes. calling, yeah, cat because of the way that they talk. But what I'm saying is, is when you have these random women, these body positive and nonsense people come outside and say, "Oh my God, it's an act of violence." How is an act of violence? It's like not. that's. I'm sorry, Khan, but that's like how you just came across when you said that. That's fine, bro. Obviously, we're different people from different backgrounds and we've got different points of view. Like, I was surprised yeah. when you said you'd pick up your daughter from the porn shoot. But, yeah, you know, I would. If ain't nobody going to pick up, her man. up, ain't nobody's around, I'll pick her up. I ain't going to be proud. Like I said, and, I'm, and say, I'm for not... example, say, for example, Khan, your daughter walks home from that porn shoot and then someone harms her. And then you say, oh, all your life, no, 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 hold on. All, no, hold on, Khan. All your life, you're thinking, for the rest of your life, sorry, you're thinking, all I had to do was pick her up. That's all I had to do. But I would have known about to because I would have disowned her already. She called me to pick her up. Okay. And I would have disowned her already. Because I chose not to. She's now no longer alive. But Khan, how would you feel about it? Do 
already you disowned don't. her. Whatever no, happens to her. That's, oh, you're not. That's God's so, wait, wait, wait. So, you're already... So, so, okay. So, let me get this straight. So, if you found out your daughter was doing porn, you disowned her, and yeah. she wind up unaliving yeah. herself... Yeah. And she wind up dying. Yeah. You just like, oh well, I, I don't care because she no, would have had the porn. If I didn't, you would feel you would feel nothing from it. Place. I'm disowning her because That's I care terrible. about her. That should be enough of an incentive for her to think, wow, Dad's really serious about this shit, man. I must be doing something wrong, isn't it? That's emotional blackmail. So you're making yes, someone exactly. do something. It is. You're making someone do something because yep. they've been emotionally blackmailed into doing it yep. rather than choosing not to buy mm -hmm. free will. By hook so, crook, baby. so you're willing, so you're willing to have your daughter die just because of the fact of the matter she decided to do. No, porn? if I've disowned you, you're not my daughter anymore. I've disowned wow. you. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. You, though. Whatever happens, that's, that's crazy. You. Like you're in God's hands now, isn't it? So wait, wait. So going back to the Tony Montana thing, if he died, if it's when his mom put him out, is, is she wrong? He did okay, die. we know that he did die, but but uh, imagine how the mother felt. She she's, sad, she's not supposed to. She'd be sad, isn't it? Yeah. But what happened to the daughter, though? That's daughter bad. That race. That's, that's bad, crazy, bro. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, like, I you you saying, just but, it's yeah, messed up. Because there's a lot of stuff in this world, like people have a battle with, and their parents just be like, I don't well, agree I'm with it. I'm showing you the, yeah. the the toned down version. I'm saying to disowning people is the least of your uh, abilities. Really, you can Least. take things into your own hands. And What's the most, in your opinion? A, a no, the most slaps. is harming her. Harming a few her. smacks about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then if necessary, yeah, you're my child, and you're doing some efferies like that, you might have, have to like get some slaps, in it. Wait a minute. So, so let me... Okay. So, Khan, let me get this straight. You're willing to say someone is not your daughter and someone's not your son mm -hmm. just because of a path that they decided to take in life. You don't agree yeah. with the fact. You don't agree yeah. with the fact that sometimes yes. the parents. You, wait, wait, hold on. You you don't agree. You don't agree with the fact that sometimes you gotta allow your child to fuck up in order for them to see the truth and see the light. Yeah. So, why is it not for? You, why is it okay for you to say, "Oh, they if they unalive themselves, I don't care." But I say I you don't care. You just basically said that's not I your daughter won't anymore. Really care, otherwise, it won't be going through the effort of disowning. Okay, but when I asked you, but when I asked you if they unalive themselves or they at the point that they want to unalive themselves, then what? What if they calling you say, "Yo, but dad, like you made me feel like shit"? Already, no, you've already that taken means you out of your life. You're on your own now. Yeah, you you to take them out of your life and depression, and you're dealing with it and blah blah blah. You want to come back into the fold. You want to come back into my support system. You have to give up the fuckery, isn't it? But if you're being wrong and strong and you're saying, no, nah, I'm going to carry on doing gay porn, dad. Then I'm like, don't chat to me then, boy. Sipan, you're perfect, yes? So no. You're perfect, Khan. Exactly, saying, no one is. If you want no, me I'm in saying, your life. No right? one. I'll take the con. I'm saying no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not What's perfect. perfect got to do with being a gay no, porn star? That means that you've got things about you that you're not doing right either. Yeah, but I'm not asking other people to accept me. And I'm saying to you that as a parent, you gave birth to that child. And yeah. as a parent, you meant, you're meant to have unconditional love for that child. Yeah. And they choose... No, they could... I'm, I'm not saying I'll stop loving no, you by disowning you. I'm just yeah, saying, okay. listen, I can't support you in what you're doing. You're right. on your and own, you isn't it? No, and that's fine. That do not mean you. I don't love you. Exactly. But that doesn't mean you should disown them. What do you mean? My mom, my mom has said to me, Mona, you're a batty woman. You're a half batty woman. I don't accept that. But imagine she disowned me because of that. But that's, between, me because that's, I, you, but that's between you and your mom. She's doing things you don't like. You're doing I'm things you don't like. Example. My mom's a religious woman. She's mm. She believes what the Bible says. These mm. things are an abomination and it's wrong. And hellfire should rain on me. And I'm like, okay, mom, I look forward to the hellfire. But at the end of the day, you're still my daughter. And that's not a reason to disown you. That's not a reason. Because even though I'm doing all these things, she kills me with kindness, not hate, not um, not something that she turns her back on. But is it working, though? Is it making kindness. you think that you, there's something wrong with what you're doing? I don't think anything's wrong with what I'm doing. She does. And right, I'm, like, well, I'm saying, how is she going to convince you that yeah. you're doing something that's wrong, like or unhealthy, or mm -hmm. just degenerate? How is she going to convince you of that? As I said, my mother doesn't agree with my lifestyle, but mm -hmm. 
But All guess right. what? She, no, but guess what? She says, I will love you still. All right, but can you I sit have, down with your you mom and start telling talk- her, Mom, yeah, you know, Susan, mm-hmm. me and her are having problems because, um, yeah, this happened. And I asked her to do the laundry. And mom, she like, she don't want to help around the house. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I've been living with her for, for a while. And like, we share the same strap on and everything. Like, yeah. is your mom going to sit there and listen to that conversation? My, I don't, but the thing is, I wouldn't say that, mom, um, a male was entering my vagina hole and he was diggling around. I wouldn't even have that conversation with the male about a male. So you see, I knew, I, I actually I would, but in general, you would respect your mother. You would respect your mother not to talk about it, whatever, whatever the sex. And especially because she doesn't like homosexual acts, I would definitely not sit there and tell her about that because it's out of respect. But my mother could have chosen to disown me, but why didn't she? But she because has, you know what, she no, has disowned mother, you. No, wait, let me she's, think she's this compartmentalized it and disowned okay. the lesbian part of you. Yeah, maybe she has. Ignored, like, like, she's know. in denial that, oh, it's not happening. Hey, no, she's not in like, denial. Not, well, she's not in denial, but in she's like, in um, like a state of like, I'm, I'm not acknowledging the existence No, my mom said to me, I know you're a batty woman. And I say, yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. But she don't want to hear about it. No, but I don't. But I, out of respect, I don't. But she didn't disown right. me. But she could have. Because right. the Bible says, no, the Bible says this is an abomination. Right, this but is to wrong. what extent my, is she prepared to take Bible. that? Like, no, no, but no. Also, like, sorry, listen, yeah. listen. Yeah. Is it just in talk? Is it just in theory? Is it just like waffle that your mum's saying, I don't agree with it? Or is there actual repercussions? What I'm trying to say um, is, like, okay. if you were to say to your mum, yeah. my longtime lover, Susan's moving house, mum, and we yeah. need you to come down with the car so we can carry some boxes to her okay, new flat, so, is your yeah. mum going to be like treating it as if it's like any other friend? Or is she going to yeah, draw the okay, line and go, listen, so my... don't involve me in your okay. gay life? Okay, so you see, my mom, because she's a Christian woman and she believes in God, she believes that, what does God say? Even if you're a sinner or a saint, I'll still accept you in the fold. See, my mom doesn't judge you based on your sexuality, your skin color, the way you look. My mom says, I will treat you as if you are my own, no matter what you're doing, even if you're living in sin, because Mm -hmm. my mother is a loving mother. She's mm. a loving mother. She doesn't mm. care if I, she doesn't agree with it, but she's not going to look down on that person because they're, me and them are having a lesbian affair. She, she's looking at, she's looking at the person from their heart. Mm. She doesn't agree with the lifestyle. She doesn't mm. accept the lifestyle, but mm. she's not going to help me move because I'm a, because I'm having a homosexual affair. No, she wouldn't think like that. My mother would still help me because my mother says, kill them with kindness, love them, even if they hate you. Love them even if they're going against the Bible. Love them even if they're living in sin. And then one day I might think, you know what? My mom loved me even when I was living in sin, even when I was in iniquity. And I might turn around and say, I accept Jesus Christ because I realize that God is of love. And maybe the things I'm doing is wrong. See, because I'll accept that kind of Christian. You see a Christian like, sorry, uh, a religious person like you can't. I would reject you because you're nothing but... I'm not faith. religious. I'm just no, righteous. Okay. I'm, That's I'm right. My, my apologies, I'm Khan. not religious. I'm, I'm okay. righteous. My, yeah, my apologies, Khan. I'm saying that someone who thinks like you, who is of, you know, religious or whatever, I would turn against you and I will forever be. But you see, when you embrace me with love, I'm more likely to listen to what you're saying. I'm more likely to respect what you're saying because you're teaching me that you yeah. love me no matter what. Do you know, do you know what you're doing. saying, Mona? Do you yeah. know what you're just saying? That's yeah narcissistic gaslighting okay yeah. you're saying you're saying that if i do something you don't like which is mm-hmm. calling you out on your bullshit yeah i'm a bad person for you're reacting. not a bad person i'm a i'm a, a uncaring or unloving person for you're reacting not. yeah to your bullshit but you the fact that you That's said you wouldn't help me babe. No, no, I'm but you, said, you said that. okay fair enough but you so said you're mentally me, not well to okay do that. And I'm saying to you that you're saying that you wouldn't help your daughter or you wouldn't assist if she I'm was doing the a life. The more you love someone I, and the I, more I, you I, want I, to I, see I, them doing yeah. the right thing, the more you're going to be upset with them I would. Yeah, if they yeah. don't. Exactly. But I'm not going to disown them. That's all I'm yeah, saying. That's, that's the only I'm thing you saying can I do. wouldn't disown that's them. The only thing you can let, do. I wouldn't disown them. Let me ask Khan. Let me ask Khan a question. Me either. That's not that's My mother is a mother of love. She believes in loving someone you even if you your sin. mom into Cuck. believing that if she starts trying to tell you what to do, she she's going to lose you. She does tell me what to do. She yeah, does yeah, yeah, yeah. Within she reason. Says, 
Mona, come back to church. Mona, yeah, yeah. the church members missing. But, you, but basically, no, you've conditioned your mom, mom into just leaving no, you alone haven't. to live no, your life. No, I haven't. My mother does not agree with my lifestyle, but she'll still say, yeah. as a child, as my child, the child that I gave birth to, I love you on condition. You're, you're threatening but, her with the chance but, of losing but you. I can't, but I do not accept and I do not agree no, but with you're your saying lifestyle. that I can't cut people what? off, but you're threatening She's your so mom sorry, with, with the with the uh, the thought of she might lose you forever. I've never done that. I've well, never you done that. Said. You said no, you'll never I turn said to God. You, and you, you, never, said that, no, you said that you disown your child. And I'm saying to you that my mother knew my lifestyle and didn't disown me. Didn't disown she, can't, me. she can't disown you, can she? Why? Why can't she? Because, you know... What? Well, she, she, she probably... That she feels that, you know, it's going to be worse for you. Well, there you go. What? <laughs> that's her choice. And that's no, a but good you've one. made her feel that. I'm saying to you that my mother chooses to be in my life no matter what choices I make. And that's what I call a mother. That's what I call unconditional love. I'll call it gaslighting and manipulation. But that hold is, on. No, Yo, no. Khan. That's the ask... love I would love to have. My mother would accept me even if I killed or, or ill someone and went to prison. She'll still sit up there praying with me, praying for me, and come and visit me in prison. And she'll say what you did was wrong, taking the life of another, but she'll still be there for me. Because what? She has unconditional love. And Khan, let me ask you, let me ask you a question, Khan. So Apparently, as a parent, you've done everything thus far, and everything you do is one hundred percent correct and right, right? No. So you do understand you're full of imperfections yourself. Obviously. So my thing about it is, let's put the scenario like this: so if you had a son that cross dresses and he dresses mm -hmm. like a female, yeah. right? Um, whatever his lifestyle is, what is, is whatever his lifestyle is, mm. you would automatically disown him. I think that's worse than your daughter being a porn star, to be honest. How? Just if, if if it's just if it's just your if it's just your son that decides to dress feminine or dress like a girl, dress like a woman, how is that worse than porn? Because you can't be sitting in the same room as me. You'll get smacked in your face. Uh, okay, what's worse? A, a man changing his appearance or a woman taking random dicks from, from different men? But that's your daughter doing that, though. Again, what's worse? A man just changing his appearance by the way he dresses himself versus a woman taking dicks from random dudes, which can get her an STD. Which is worse? I'm just saying it would probably hurt me more like, if my son was a, a cross-dresser. More than a porn star, right? It probably would hurt me more, yeah. I don't see how, bro. <laughs> I well, don't... People have sex, Either way... People have sex but... all the time in normal life, isn't it? It's just the fact that they're doing it on camera. It's, it's going to be a, an embarrassment or a shame. <coughs> yeah. But either way, you would disown your son if he was just yeah. to change his appearance? I, I think so. I think so, yeah. And that's the problem that goes on in this world nowadays because the thing about it is they'll make a personal choice that they see fitting for them and then you wonder why a lot of them have all these psychological issues well into their adulthood because of thinking just like that. Imagine if I had a son right now and I said, I, I don't like the way you cross dress and this, that, and third. I'm disowning you because that is gay. That's an abomination. That's this, that, and third, and blah, blah, blah. He would grow to hate me. And then let's just say he gets into a mold where he becomes homeless or something happens to him and he gets into deep depression and he's going to off himself. Who's responsible in some type of faction because he wants to off himself? That's Me. gaslighting, bro. No, I'm it's not, not gaslighting. It's that not gaslighting. Gas that you, but you even agreed. If you even agreed. Something that you don't agree with, yeah, but they're making you feel guilty for your reaction to their. Bad it's not behavior. about making them feel guilty. That's gaslighting. That's not gaslighting, bro. You you even said you're that you you said really wait hold on you're saying that I've a parent. Got an idea in my head of reality and what's right and wrong, and you're trying to change that. You're no, I'm not. Me, no, 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 no. Your idea of right or wrong, your version of reality is wrong. You, but you, you even agreed. That. But you even That's agreed with me. It. Hold on, listen. But you even agree with me saying that you're a parent to your child forever, correct? Right, 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 yeah. So yeah. the fact of the matter is you don't want to be a parent to your child just because they decide to change their appearance. That has nothing to do with you. It has to do with what their you life. That has nothing to do with me, though. Because it's individualism. Because they chose that. You didn't choose to tell your son to dress, as a, dress more feminine. That wasn't you. That was him that decided that. Yeah, that's, this is where we differ, though, bro. 
Okay, how you're, do we you're do... You're saying that your son's a cross-dresser and you're going to go shopping to Tesco's no. and you're taking him with you dressed as a, as a woman. I'm not, I'm not saying all that. Mates from school and they're like, yo, what's happening, bro? And who's this lovely lady? What? Like, oh, no. That's my son. Uh, I'm not saying... I'm not saying all that. And I'm not saying that. When they tell you, bro, how's your son a fucking cross-dresser, bro? And you're going to be like, well, that's on him, bro. That's his decision. Yeah, that's on him. That's what he does. Okay, first of all, number one, I'm not going to actively want to go with my son to Tesco and, so and get close. Him. No, yeah, it's not. Him. It's not the same as you disowning. Him. Wait, how is it disowning if I'm going with, if by your logic, if I'm what going did, with him to Tesco? What did Jesus say to his disciples? Tell me what he said to the disciples. He I forgot. To them, you're all going to disown me, all of you. And they all did. Okay, okay, okay. So they were getting carted off. They were turning a blind eye and letting him get uh, arrested, right? They disowned him. Okay. Anyway, when, when you're saying you're, you wouldn't walk down the road with your cross-dressing son dressed as a woman... I didn't say that. No, I didn't say you that. Said you said you wouldn't take him to Tesco's. It's the same thing. You're saying, I wouldn't take him to... No, it's not. I, I could, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You go to pick him up and he's yes. dressed as a woman and you're like, why are you coming out like that for? And he's like, but you know that this is who I am, though. Pause. I'm an American. So Tesco, we're saying, is like my version of Target. Do they sell clothes in Tesco? Yeah, Target, Target, whatever. You're no, I'm clothes, selling today. You're buying eggs, you're buying whatever, pencils. Okay, whatever I'm not going to disown my... Look, listen, first of all, if my son wanted to go ahead on, on a fashion spree and this, that, and a third, let's just say he wanted to go with his girlfriends or go with his, his boyfriend and this, that, and a third, cool. I don't have no problem with that. If he wants me to go with him shopping for some eggs and some milk and stuff like that, cool too. I don't care. But the thing about it is, what I'm saying is, I'm not going to disown my son and just be like, oh, nah, well, you cross-dressed, so I don't want you being in my life and this, that, and third. That's common yeah, cases. Well, and then you wonder why. And then you wonder why. You wonder why you have many of these people that, that, hold on, wait. You wonder why. Because obviously this is a cultural difference. You're saying you don't care. It's not a cultural difference. If he was in the United States, it would be the same thing. Sex work. You don't care about homosexuality. Sexuality. That's not true. That's not true. That's not. That's not. That's not, bro. That's not true. That's not true. Ask other people because I think. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hold, hold bro, on. Let's let's do this. Know. No, because you don't. Because you you don't get it, Mona. Bro, how many times? Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Just wait. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Okay. Con. Con. Hold on. Okay. Bro. Yeah. Okay, Mona, how many times do I always talk shit about how women do OnlyFans? Do I always talk about that? Yes, you do. Right. So if it was one of those sort of things, I found out my daughter is doing OnlyFans, would I automatically say, yo, get the fuck out of my house because you're doing OnlyFans? No, no I, I wouldn't. I heard that no. girls doing OnlyFans, which is on the IG level. They've just got like bikini. It's snaps still related them. to sex work. Well, but yeah, but it's not really something I'll disown someone for that. Wait, so you wouldn't disown your daughter for doing OnlyFans, but you would disown your daughter for doing porn? Yeah. What's the difference? Because they're actually it's, it's getting the, penetrated the, by... Like, I heard what? that there's girls doing OnlyFans where, like, they don't charge a subscription, right? Mm -hmm. And basically the pictures are just, like, on the IG level. Can't, but you're acting, like, right? you're acting like you don't know because you're subscribed to me. I'm so not. Stupid. Don't lie. <laughs> don't lie. He's acting like he doesn't know what's on the well, only. Why am I subscribing to some <laughs> fat woman in a wheelchair? Allow it. <laughs> it's like, is that when uh, women have this and that? Come on, come on. You and I both know what's on OnlyFans. No, it's I'm saying that insane. not everyone on OnlyFans is an outright porn star. And not every porn star does things outright. But would you accept your child if they did behaviors where they show their breasts? They're, you know, yeah, they're, you, know, you are cherry picking like a I'm mug, bro. Showing your breasts, I said bikini snaps and things like that. Okay. So what? If it was <laughs> hold on, if it was sex work, would it be the difference? What do you mean? What's the difference? What's the bro, difference if it if it was your daughter, if it was your daughter, and a bro. Porn star. You're if it was your different. daughter, if it was your daughter in general doing sex content on OnlyFans versus the woman that's doing porn, it's still sex work. So yeah, how bro. are you going to sit up there and say yeah. you wouldn't disown your daughter for doing Run. OnlyFans Run. and she's putting a dildo Run. inside Run. her Run. vagina, but you're ready Run. to disown your daughter because Run. she's doing porn and taking dick from Run. random dudes? The only thing we've managed to ascertain in mm. this whole conversation is that your judgment, right, is not something that we all, like, can go with. You get mm. me? So I you just don't understand where you're at with this. Right with certain things, right, that you've told me. I think we should I'm not, the okay. You're I'm not, yourself in deep, bro. bro. 
I'm not. Allow it, bro. Like, you're no, you no, because you're not understanding what I'm saying. I can right, disagree. Bro, like, bro, bro, bro. I'm not saying. Here, oh, yo, bro, bro. Like, I'm not right, saying. Bro, bro. <laughs> I, no, I'm not. You're, you're, not, not, you're, not, not, you're not. You're not. You're not understanding what I'm saying. Bro, what I'm saying is I cannot agree. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. But my stance. Hold it. Okay. Hold on. Yo, look. Listen. Hold on. Listen. It's no intervention. You're extremely liberal. I'm not. I'm actually not. I'm not. First of all, if you know me, I'm not extremely liberal at all. Actually, what? let me How tell you something. Because it's called being a parent. Because bro, it's called about uncon. It's just like what Mona said earlier. Bro, unconditional I'm, I'm love. If I'm, yeah, I'm going to sit up, why would I disown my son you, because he wants to cross dress? You've used the word individualism. You said yes. individualism. That's a yes. liberal concept. Wait, 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 wait. How does what okay. other people do affect me? How does my son being a cross-dresser making decisions, yeah, to dress as a woman, how does that affect me? And I'm saying, you would you walk down the road with him and fist bump your, your college mates? What? Oh, bro, first of all, my son needs to still be a man for himself at the end of the day. I, I cannot always hold his hand as a parent throughout his whole entire life. I have to let him live his own life. So at the end of the day, if that is a decision he makes as a grown ass man, I'm not going to agree with it. I'm going to be cautious of the words that I say, because I don't want to sit up there and say, call him the F word and this, that, and the third. But I'm not disowning my son because he decides to make a clothing change. I'm still his father. <laughs> I'm still, I still have to, I still well, have to care for my you, son. Bro. Good for and you. I'm not just and it that doesn't can't. mean that I agree with it. And not just that, can't. when someone decides to be a parent, they have to accept that that child might be anything. They could be anything disabled. They could come out so a color that you don't expect because you're not the father. You know things like that. So you have to accept things that might not be acceptable. And sometimes you have to love your child unconditionally without accepting what they're doing. So there's two things: you can love a child and not accept what they're doing, and you can love a child and accept what they're doing because they want to do it. Just because I love a child and it's unconditional doesn't mean agree or accept. It means as a parent, I knew my responsibility. My child wants to be a batty man. That's on him. That means I might not get grandbabies. But that's the child's decision. I'm not going to make decisions for the child. I'll only say to them that that lifestyle I don't agree with. That's all you can say as a parent. Who are we to tell an adult child? No, who are you? Who are we to tell an adult child? No, after the child reached 18 or 16, whatever the age is, who are we to say, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna off my child. I'm going to disown my child over being a cross-dresser wow wow that's crazy and they wind up you they wind up they wind up offing themselves you just like I'm hey it is what it is listen, listen, that's listen, what you just that's your logic i'm a militant guy if i see my kid smoking a cigarette i might just slap that cigarette straight out of his chops across your face where that cigarette used to be you like, I'm that kind of person. Like you might not mm -hmm. want to speak to me after that, but you will be getting yeah checked. Where like, you're rolling up with a cigarette in your mouth. Nah. Okay, but Khan, why do you have to hit the child? Why can't you say to them? So you know yourself? how serious I am about it. But you don't have to use your violence in order to show seriousness. Well, maybe right? I feel like it. Okay, so now if That's anyone crazy. uses violence against us, or if someone uses violence against you because they feel like it, is that mm -hmm. right? Depends, in it. They might be on the on the right side of being right. Okay, this so dude is cherry smoking. picking like okay, a mug, so man. So you go on the bus and it says no smoking, and someone slaps the cigarette out of your hand because the bus says no smoking. No smoking. Is that right? But is he authority you... over me though? No, okay, but you don't, have child, okay, but you don't have okay, so I'm authority over my child, isn't it? Um, not after the reach eighteen, for example. Uh, you, by whose law? After the reach eighteen or sixteen, whatever the legal age is, when a child by is. By whose law, though? Who's going by eighteen? Okay, so I'm saying to you, can you can you <laughs> slap the can you slap a cigarette out of a, a child hand who's reached but, the age? But listen, if I if mm -hmm. I'm like I'm 15 yeah. now, let's say I'm seventy, my son's going to be about yeah. twenty five, and I see him smoking a cigarette, he's getting smacked, bro. Okay. And you're you're gonna disown your son for smoking a cigarette? No, but I'll smack him in his face. Like, oh, so you, you know don't want to own? About, so you, know you how I feel about cigarettes, and I'm all about health and yeah. fitness and spiritual life, and you're doing this dunya fucking That's, smoking again, cigarettes so and fucking up say? your lungs and giving yourself cancer and okay. doing all this type of degenerate behavior. But you might catch you a say? like you, you already know what I'm time it is, isn't it? You're gonna but catch you a slap. But you said I'm about fitness. I'm about health. I'm about 
That yeah. is an I thing. The We're principles that I promote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're putting your ideologies on your. You're you your putting your ideologies. You put it on your your ideolo you ideologies on your. Hold on. You putting your ideologies on your kids past yes, the I time do. they're eighteen. Yes. Yes. That's the time they're 18. Why are you saying it like it's off? So that if you're talking no, about because you because you're manipulating hold on, wait, 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 wait. Because you're manipulating them. them. You're manipulating yeah. them. Manipulating them. Yeah. So then why would you say that I, so then that means that if you're gonna say that I'm gaslighting, you manipulate as well and you gaslight your own kids. No, manipulating and gaslighting is just like slightly different, isn't it? Okay, so Dar20 says can ask man. them if they agree with abortions. I agree with abortions, yes. As in, for example, some people have been aped and they don't want to keep the child. Right. What if your granddaughter wants to give up her daughter for adoption? Would you take the child on rather than let it go and get adopted? Yes, that's what my mother she's said. She's saying, but mom, I don't want to be seeing that child's face. Okay. If you take that child, you're not going to see me. Okay, so my mom said to me that, Mona, if you have a child, this is my own parent. Mona, if you have a child, I said, I don't want children. But if you have a child, if you're pregnant, you cannot have an abortion. I will take the child. My mom said that many times. Right. So but my mom then, said that. Then yeah. if you're saying, but I don't like the dad, isn't it? Like I don't want to see his little face okay. looking at me every time I come to your house. Yeah. That means as, you're again, not, you're as I said, mom, listen, me personally, I come to your house to yeah. see that child. Okay, me personally, if I had a child and I do not want to have a child, I would give the rights up to my mother. That's just me personally. <laughs> Regardless if I want to see the father, the face looks like the father. Thankfully, I've got my own home and my own things that I could not see that child. So when my mother mother's coming to visit, please leave that child elsewhere. So, so that's you're, your disowning, baby you're disowning the child then? Um, well, like I said, I if you want to abortion, you've got two options. You can either have an abortion, you can either have an abortion. Your own child. Listen to what I said. You can have an abortion or you can have the child. Me personally, I agree with abor um, abortion. I will not want, I don't want to have a, ch a child. That's me personally. I'd rather kill it in the womb. Yes. See, these are the type of people I'm chatting to right now. Yes, it is. People who make choices. Because, I, like I said to you before, Khan, some people are not meant to be our mothers. I'm one of those people. I hear you. At, I least, hear you. I, at least I'm intelligent enough to mm -hmm. say I should I'm never not judging, be a mother. Listen, I'm not judging mm -hmm. you because I've got no authority over you. I know you don't. Right. So I'm not judging you or making yeah. you feel like you're doing anything wrong. I'm just saying we're not the same, innit? No, you we're not the same. Because me right, personally... So. Okay, we're not the I'm same. I'm tolerating but you, you know, but you just can't seem to tolerate me because things that I'm saying no. seem to be getting you lot irate. No, can't. Come on, you and I both it is, know that. You're no, trying no, to tell me that my way of thinking yeah. is is somehow. No, uh, so I'm, I don't agree with your way of thinking, but I'm saying to you that I can't dislike you because you think differently. Who am yes. I? It's none, none of that. It's none of that. We just we just find that your ideals is extreme sometimes. Okay, so IFS says he's got issues, man. I think you're IFS, extreme, extremely I do liberal. Have issues. IFS, I'm not. <laughs> that's why I should not have children. So IFF, you're right. Because I have issues, I'm someone who shouldn't have kids. Again, I don't understand why people have a problem with someone who knows and identifies that they shouldn't have kids. I, mm. I don't understand why is it that more women do not identify that they're mentally Fine. ill. Psycho don't get cream pie, didn't it? Dangerous that they should not have kids. There's some women I see and I look at them and I think, why did you have kids? Hmm. We know people who we think, why did you have kids? Because they yep. have issues. They have issues. So I said, I know I've got issues. That's why I hmm. said I should not have kids. That's called being responsible. Hmm. Also, it's called being responsible. See, yep. irresponsible so, people. So, Mona, one one sec. Yeah, With this whole thing, like, I'm trying to show you a principle of. I don't believe in telling people what to do. I don't yeah. believe in hitting people. Right. I don't believe in moaning or shouting or nagging at people. But I'm I'm a firm believer in I'm gonna let you know what I'm all about, my my beliefs, my morals, my principles, and what I can tolerate. And if you cross that line, then I'm done with you, innit? Now now that is to me <laughs> a very mild way yeah. or a very soft way of dealing with people. Like I'm not hitting anyone. I'm not holding anyone to ransom. I'm not like physically assaulting anyone. I'm not henpecking them, gaslighting them, or abusing them. I'm just telling them, look, this is me, innit? There's certain things you can't do around me. Like, I won't have you in my life. So it's a case by case basis with you. And IFF says, because you're bisexual, you sound like you are a bit displaced. I'm displaced because I'm a human being. Being a human being. No, has Mona, great... Mona, Mona. You're no, promoting unconditional love, right? Yeah. Let's say, yeah. for example, you accidentally ran someone over and they died, yeah. God forbid. And you phoned yeah. your mum up and she got there and she was like, 
we're gonna have to phone the police you know like you yeah. actually killed someone and you're like no mom help me put the body in the back my of the mother car wouldn't do that. dispose of the body my if you loved me mom you would do this for me my mother wouldn't do that she see she has so no, she has unconditional love, love. Right? she has unconditional love but she still knows the law and right. my mother by all means try to abide by the law hiding a body after you've um you know ordered it my yeah. mother knew that is wrong that by law just right. by law alone she could get in trouble. I could get in trouble because that's disposing the body and that's contemporary of something that you so shouldn't be doing. Does that mean that her love has got would like not a certain me. degree of limitation? Like yes. she wouldn't risk going and... to prison herself? Yeah. No, so my you're, mother so has... you're saying, where's the unconditional love then? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't because that's what's in my mother. My mother could get arrested now. So why? that That's selfish of me. I don't have unconditional love for my of my mom. I don't oh, have oh, unconditional. Oh, 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 no, let me finish. So you got, so you got a son, so you got a son have... yeah, and you yeah. find that he and he comes to you and he goes, "Mom, I'm a serial killer. I just offed about four or five white chicks, yeah. and they're all buried in Epping Forest." Oh God! And like, I I just wanted to tell you before mm -hmm. I like get on this plane and fly to America, that yeah, and disappear. No, I wouldn't agree with that. You're his he, you're his mom, right? Yeah. There's unconditional love stretch to that far because you're thinking think, wait a minute yeah. if i don't phone the police and get this boy arrested yeah no one, th these five people then that their families ain't gonna know where their kids are buried okay so i'm, I'm like, gonna say there's this gonna be to, repercussions yeah. in it so i'm gonna to say this to you can't police. i'm gonna say this to you can't if it was my if my child said to me that they'd off some people yeah. and could i help them i would say to them you're on your own because i'm not going what, down in him no, 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 I'm not disowning it. I'm saying I can't help you. You know, like, for example, move the bodies, hide the bodies. I cannot help you. No, just I'm... turn a blind eye while no, I run away me... to America. No, no, no. So no, no like one I... knows where their kids are buried. No, I can't. I'm saying to you that I will say to my child that I, I care about you, I love you, but I cannot go to prison for crimes that you commit because I'll be an accessory to murder. I am not going to jail for my child. So where's that the unconditional just... love then? No, I said to you, my unconditional love does have a limit, and that is a limit. That's that breaking the law. That's a that's it's called, that's it's called still, still having it's boundaries. It still doesn't have a limit. There's, that's called having boundaries that's still. Because that child, that okay, they, they're making it. Okay, bro. It's called that having have limits. That's the whole point. Yes, it okay, does have. Okay, okay. Yes, it does have limits. Okay, let me call it. A conditional love then let's just call it that yeah okay a conditional love and, and the thing about it is still you can still have love for your child and say hey look listen i'm not yeah. for that you did that you have to go ahead and deal with that on your own okay i so love you Bronze, but, but you i can't deal with that okay so would you be able to say okay khan is right maybe i can say i have conditional love if you if you're harming other humans if you're taking the life of other humans i cannot abide by that One i minute, do not Mona, agree to that Mona, so maybe Mona, i will Mona. no khan let me just finish so I'll I'll agree with you. Jed, you there, bro? okay be, i'm blocked in the chat bro it's been about two hours i don't know like is there a reason why que paso jedaruni <laughs> jedarovsky Yo, Jeds. Mm, Jeds is maybe not, Greg man. Maybe away. So, Uncle Stanley Boy says, unconditional love equal confusion. Nothing in life should be unconditional. Should be rules and barriers. And I can agree with that. But in the in the nowadays, when we say unconditional love, we don't mean your child can do anything. It's just a thing that someone says, I have unconditional love. But, okay, my child says to me, Mom, can you give me your life so I can live? Some women would. I wouldn't. I'm like, child, you're on your own. Go to your father. That's your problem. Because I'm not going to give up my life for you. So that's why I shouldn't be a parent. And yeah, you're right. Unconditional love. Yeah, probably I don't agree with that. It has conditions. I don't, Khan, I don't think you're blocked. Try and type. Light minds can change. Okay. That's right, Smudge. There, Mike, Dar, Dar20 says, if there is no child, if it, it's getting aborted. Right. Um, XY says, oh, I, women can only have so many healthy children, but these men fail to understand treating women like factory pills. Um, Smudge says, stone cold can't help. Big up, Mona. Big up yourself, Smudge. Um, on, Starlet Boy says, yeah, on, on conditional love equal confusion. Yeah, I've read that. And I agree with you to some degree. You have to have barriers and boundaries. Maybe I'm just too liberal, um, but that's just me. Um, can't, you're not killing any ba babies. <laughs> 
Misa says, I agree with Mona. A lot of people shouldn't have children. They can't deal with the responsibilities. I'm one of those people. IFF says, because you're bisexual and you sound like you are a bit displaced, um, because I'm bisexual is not the reason why I shouldn't have kids. The, the reason why I shouldn't have kids because I'm not a good parent. I wouldn't make a good parent. That, you know, my sexuality, mm, well, some could say does have something why you shouldn't have kids. But me personally, I shouldn't have kids because I would not make a good parent. I'm irresponsible and I am not capable mentally and emotionally to deal with the child. So I should not have kids. Misa says, I respect your honesty, Mona. I think more people need to be honest with themselves before having a child. Thank you, Misa. I agree with that. Okay, sorry. Um, Khan, uh, bronze bird, you both muted. Huh? I'm okay. still here. No, okay, we're here, we're here. You're both muted. Okay, so don't get him started on the, the blood spanner. <laughs> Khan, are you a moderator? No, no, no. Okay. Um, it must have been my internet connection. Okay, uh, yeah, I see you typing. Khan, Kanito888, yeah, I see you. Mm. Um, Silverback says we can normally see blocked words or swim, but haven't seen can't I? Okay, yeah. X Y says if you think it's okay having ten children, then cool. I think it isn't. X Y, if you can afford to do it emotionally, mentally, and with financial means, then why not? But me personally, I can't see how you can look after ten kids and treat them all equally. How, how, sorry, what time would you have for yourself? <laughs> I I don't see how you could do it. But I'm not against if someone does it. I'll just be thinking, I can't see how a child could be raised and each child getting treated equally and getting the love, the emotional support that they deserve. Ten children, how? One mother, how? A mother and a father, how? But again, if you want to have ten kids, that's on you. And if you can emo emotionally and mentally support those kids, good for you. If you have a support system, a mother, father, grandparents, brothers and sisters, all willing to become a village around those 10 kids, then yeah, I'll, I would see nothing wrong with that. But a mother, single mother having 10 kids. Okay, that's all I can say. Um, XY said, it's not about affordability, it's about health. A woman would be battered by having so many children. X, Y, some women can manage to, they do manage to have um, 10 kids. They, some women can. It's almost like they've built baby breeding machines. So some women can have that. Um, so it is about affordability. In my, in my opinion, it's about affordability. It's about, can you raise those kids? Are those kids gonna be equally treated, treated equally, sorry? Are they gonna get the emotional support, love, um, care, one-to-one -one time with a mother when she has nine other babies to look after. Misa says, having kids recklessly and being dependent on the government to pay for them makes you a terrible parent, in my opinion. Well, Misa, um, I, I don't like to say anyone's a terrible parent based on the fact that they need financial support. So, for example, um, a mother could have be financially stable have her kids be financially stable, father and mother, and then they get laid off from work. The father gets laid off from work. The mother is a stay-at-home mother. The father gets laid off from work. Is that parent ter terrible? Because when she had the children, the father had a job, but then they get laid off from work. So you see what I mean? So sometimes life happens. And yeah, you, I wouldn't say that not having a, being dependent on the government is reckless. I guess it's by case by case. Yeah. Um, X Y says, Miss Mona, what if the ten kids are inbred? Then what? Um, again, I can't say what's wrong and right. So, if you decide to do ancestral stuff and you have a child, um, that is science. Sorry, based on science alone, there's a lot of defects that happen with inbred kids. But is do we have a right to say to the parents, the mother, do not have those kids? No, I don't think it's our right to say that that woman shouldn't have her kids because they're based, they're around incest. I don't, I, I'm not one to tell a woman what to do to her body. If she wants to have her ancestral babies, that's on her. Who am I to tell her anything? That's her body. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that we should have a right to tell a woman what she should and shouldn't do with her body, even if 
if it's ancestral. And then if she chooses not to because it's ancestral, I also understand. If it's based on a woman being aped by a man and she decides to um, not have that child, I can understand why. <sighs> Click the car name to 88. Ju jump on people. I've run out of chats. I'm Finally. tired, man. Okay, it's calm. Then you can go to sleep then, yeah? Rest your I'm blood here, clot. Phil. Rest your blood clot. I'm Sorry. listening, man. <laughs> Trill Sneezy says I'm on the loo. Trill. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Brunsberg said he'd pick up his daughter from the porn site. <laughs> oh. Still, still on it, man. Yeah, he did say that. He did say that. Bad um, people fall into that trap, you know. Bad people. No, but they do. But you know what, Khan? Uh, you know what parents think? If you're going to be a porn star, be the best porn star you can be and be as safe as possible. If I can't stop you from doing it, I'm going to try and help protect you. I'm going to give you guidance. I might pick you up. Yeah, I would not do it personally. I'll send someone else because, I don't know, I wouldn't want to know that my daughter smells a smut. Ugh. Exactly. That is what it is. How are you going to let her in the car like that? Bro? Oh, that's the only thing. It's that's Daddy, difficult. Got the Taking a shower so we should get back in the crib, yo. Mm. <laughs> Making sure I bleach that motherfucker down so we should get out the tub. Yeah, let's <laughs> say. You, you pull up and you're like, jump in, babe. And she looks and there's all that plastic sheets over Ew. the seats. I'm and not even, like, listen, in, listen, bro. In, I'm not even in, looking at, look, listen, oh, my I'm ass, nothing. my eyes is on the road, bro. I ain't <laughs> looking at at all, bro. I said, your ass in the back <laughs> seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and imagine um, Bronzeburg she smells of the activity she was doing that, that would mess with your head as a father or a mother mm -hmm. that would mess with your head I'm sure it would I wouldn't yeah. judge her like say oh you're not going to come in my oh come in my car come oh, in the car, car right yeah. you, can't, you can't come in my car you can't come in my get, car I don't want to okay. come on you to get in my car I wish you <laughs> She's one chick yeah. there. She made a video of her sleeping with 350 men. Oh, man. And uh, she, her story, I don't know how true it is, but her story was like um, she got off a bus and went into a, a housing estate and she met this guy and he was like, um, I really like you. Like, can we fuck? And he took her in the bin shoots, like where the dustbins are. And he was fucking her in there. But apparently while he was fucking her, he was calling other people to come down as well. Like, these little oh gang, and they all come down and all started fucking her at the same time. And she said, before I knew it, there was like a queue of about 30 guys oh my God. waiting to fuck her. And she like felt bad to say no sort of thing, like in fear of her life. So apparently to get over the trauma of that happening to her, she went and done a porn film where she slept with 350 men. Okay. And after that, apparently, like, she thought she felt like, you know, like she'd done something amazing and whatever. Mm. But apparently within the week, some Italian girl done like 500 men in one day or something like that. So like she felt like it was all for nothing, went into some depression, got the video and she was going around in this documentary, going around from like her family members to her like um, school teachers and just showing them saying, look, this is what I've done. Mm. I made this porn film and like it was because of my childhood trauma and I feel that you were a part of that like trying to guilt them into thinking like mm. it was their fault sort of thing but that was a really mad documentary about this girl that done it what's it called like, Tom? Huh? what's it called? Chinese girl she was like some Chinese girl no but does it is but there she a name flew all the, the way to China Huh? Is it is there a name for the documentary so I can have a quick look? It might have been Louis Ferru or something. I forget. Okay, man. Yeah, let me try and find it. That's sad. Yeah. Oh no! And it was like it's she sad. really felt that these people should care, like feel guilty for any kind of like trauma they put her through as a child. That yeah. she be she believed that led her directly to making bad decisions. And sometimes that's true. I know, but you're saying that adults need to take responsibility for themselves, they right? They do, but remember, childhood, um, um, childhood trauma and things that happen in your childhood shape who you are as an adult as well. That can be the case, yeah. And that's the fact. That's what therapy says. If you speak to a therapist, and then remember, in the Bible, it says, train up a child in a way he should grow so that when he's old, he will not depart from it. So things that happen in your childhood... Um, things that happened around your childhood can and does shape who you are as an adult. But I'm not, I don't know about going around filming saying, 
this is what you've done to me. I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know. About that. I know like, the, the reaction of the people is really quite bizarre as well. Okay, why? Okay, so it's um, Trill OG says it's called Iron Mint. Yeah, Iron Mint. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Trill OG. <laughs> Is it really? Is it really called Iron Minge? No, because she's Chinese, isn't it? But still, yeah, it was a mad one. Still, like I, I don't know, man. Well, I can't. <laughs> Sorry, would you date? Would you date a woman who's been um, ran through by three hundred men in, in a? Thing, I think he's like mm. no, but obviously okay. it'd be more to do with her mental state. Okay, you know so I mean? not to do with her the state of her vagina after being ran well, through. I think vaginas are quite elastic; they can kind of like you know, especially with a little bit of um, help, yeah. they can go back. <laughs> it's not necessarily that that's the yeah. problem. No, but sometimes the vagina. No, but I think can, about yeah, if you was in a, if you was in a relationship like a one year relationship. Yeah. And you had sex every day. That's 300 yeah. times, right? That's true. That's true. But remember, one time, at one time, it can cause trauma to the, you know, that area at one time. So imagine something being pounded 300 times and then it's, each man is having about, what, 30 pumps. That can cause vaginal trauma. No, so, I, I personally think the recovery rate would be better. If a woman had sex with 300 men in one day yeah. versus a woman who had sex 300 times but every, it, once no, but a day, I think yeah. the recovery rate would be better if she had to recover it once. Because <laughs> a lot of them guys ain't touching the sides, isn't it? A lot of them guys ain't even touching the sides, let's be honest. Let alone throwing a beat down. No, no, they're not really doing really much damage. Wrong. No, they're not. Um, no. Especially if there's, um, you know, like you use lubricant, but um... <laughs> a bit of spit. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. Would like you... for a female, I think a female could endure that. Like in terms yeah, of physical, uh... like do you get yeah. me? Because that's the, then that's like saying a woman who had a baby would you sleep yeah, with a woman who true. had a baby once before? Yeah. Do you get me? Um, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I, I don't, but what it might do is it might tear her and she might lead to... Don't they stitch it back, spark. though, innit? Don't they stitch it back? It's an infection. Yes, it lead to infection. Oh, infection, vaginal scarring. What, when she's having a baby? No, when she's having... Pound, when she's been pounded by 300 men. And nah, each one, they can't you know? do nothing. Nah, you pussy is that unbreakable, man. Don't be silly. No, a vagina... I've seen it no, it's not indestructible, Khan. So imagine a man with a big penis. And so say she's been um, penetrated by men who are like two inches like yourself, Khan. Two inches, two inches, two inches. And then she meets a man like Bronzebird and she gets like a good eight, ten, whatever inches. Then, yeah, it might cause damage. So that those men are not able to touch the sides, as you said. But that no, big... But you're getting it wrong. Especially if they hit the G-spot. If, if, if the vagina is, let's yeah. say, four to five inches deep and I'm uh -huh. six inches... Right? Yeah. And Bronzeberg is still. No, uh, all I'm saying to you is that he's got the width. I'm thinking of the width. I'm thinking about the width and the I'm depth. The width and the depth. So say you're um three inches with the, uh, you know, like two inch um width and Bronzeberg is like eight inches with eight inch width. width it does do damage. It does. I'm sorry. When you can obviously like, damage okay, someone if you went out of your way of to damage course. them. Obviously, no, no. Does. I'm just saying, Con. Like, for example, I've had sexual penetration from a man who's like, I don't know, average five inches, and it it kind of feels oh that hurts a little. I've had sex with a man who's eight to nine inches, and the penis tore me. So it can uh, be um, beautiful. No, beautiful. But, uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Tear <laughs> okay, that pussy up. Sorry. No, okay, okay, okay. But my point I'm making is <laughs> the bigger the penis, the more damage it can cause. And say, and 300 men. So say she got damaged, and then someone with two inches or five inches comes after him. It's. it's I don't think. I don't think they let actual porn porn stars oh. go to work on her. It's yeah. just av it's the average men. No, but the average man. It. There are average men with eight inches. Or 10 or 50. There are average men who are not porn stars who've got porn star penis. Some of them, yeah, but I don't think they, they let them ones in. BBC, How do you know that, Khan. Because, um, I've you seen kind of like 
You try I've to, seen, uh, I've seen, like, like, up, I, yeah? they, they do like the making of type videos, you know, mm. where they show like there's the, um, I don't know if you know, right, but yeah. like the woman lies on the bed yeah. and basically all the men are um, like, competi- they're like competition winners. They've all like Ooh. put their names down to be in the 300, right? Yeah. So they will come like, and basically there's girls that um, prepare them to go on camera. Fluffers. To give them a head. They're called fluffers. fluffers. The fluffers. Yeah. Fluffers. Yeah. fluffers. Fluffers. Fluffers, right? So they fluff them yeah. and then they go and hit it. And then they go about their business. But I think if anyone turned up with an exceedingly large um, appendage, Feelings, they yeah. wouldn't let them in because obviously they'd ruin it for everyone else. <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. But all I know is that even well, if that's I... That's, the, that's, that's what they would call... That's what they would call the damager. No, yeah. no, they would call that discrimination because you're because discriminating no against the big penis. Yeah, you're, 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 discrim- no you're a dick allowed. discriminator. Because if, if, like, <laughs> when, when you're... Fe- like, they were saying that if somebody had a female... Yeah. That was like a bit sharp that scratched the, the vagina that's and caused some sort of like bleeding, they would have to call the whole thing off. Yeah, so that's true. Like, that's messed up. Like, tell them no fingering. So mm. so they come prepared to work and that dude has a big pee and they get she's getting um taking dick from average or small dick dudes. And then this dude with the one big penis, like you can't work here today. That's fucked up. I I'm showed sure up to work and I can't put in work. Yeah, it's really Jesus. Can't watch history is sickening. <laughs> Come on, what you, 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 you watch, Tom? I swear this was on TV. It was on BBC. Oh. I think. Uh, I get, okay. <laughs> Let's assume there's like a BBC After Dark or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> we like big black. Yeah. Anyways. BBC. Mm-hmm. It was on BBC. The broadcasting for BBC. all up in your V. Yeah. yeah, I say less. Say less. I just, I just feel like it, there shouldn't be dick discrimination. You know what I'm saying? A man comes to mm. work ready to work, and it's because you have average to small dick dudes. Yeah. It's like okay, they do their thing, but why should I be discriminated because I have a big dick? What's the problem? Because your penis is going to be more damaged the to the female that can put her off working. So, for example, the That's bigger good. you are and the deep, the thicker you are, it's more of the thickness, especially the thickness that can care cause emotional damage no it can cause her vagina yeah. to kill. Yeah. if you go to that's good you go to i would be called a damager and then i would get rated to like the rest of the industry and no, i but that's fuck not more discriminating women. you though that's no, just you, making sure that you, really you don't damage one, her imagine yeah, you went sorry, to God. a prostitute and the prostitute's like no i'm not fucking you like and you're like why she's like well if once i fuck you i'm going to work for the rest thank of the day thank you thank you that's why nah, that's not son. discriminating that's, that's discrimination no but that's making sure that she's able to do her, her next job so you might give her I've never seen pounds. prostitutes put adverts saying not fair. I, I don't, have you ever seen prostitutes put adverts saying I don't fuck black guys and yes, I'm not I racist have. yeah they said yeah. that they I've say I'm that. not racist I just don't fuck black guys like that's indirectly that's what they're saying isn't it? they are saying they that they say no yeah. whopper size things that's right no but again I'm the god saying, energy but can you not understand that you being a bit of big size you can stop her from getting you might give her two hundred dollars or whatever, but she could get, she could lose that on a day's worth of another 200, another 200, another, because you've torn her, you've torn a pussy up, 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 up. Yeah. Is that really okay? Technically. No, it's not okay. It's like, I can understand why some women do discriminate. I wouldn't want something to tear me up, up, tear that pussy up, up, up. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a racist world when it comes to dicks. It's not a racist. It's a, it's it, it is racist. No, she, she doesn't want to fuck a black man. She doesn't she want to fuck a black. black. That's but, racist. No, no. Only, you think only black men have big penis. Are you mentally okay? No, 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 no. But we got the dick of the gods. We have already no, talked no, no, about this thousand times. Not only black men. No, not only no, black I know that. Men I know that. Men. I know that. It's other, so it's just other men. about race. She's discriminated against size. I'm just saying. With, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because of that particular prostitute. I don't fuck black guys. It's like, oh, no, you discriminated. Oh. Yeah, you discriminate against the gods. Like, I saw you a doing? TikTok the other day. They were showing the porn girls, you mean? porn girls that have conversations <laughs> and that. Yeah. And one one girl was going, "I do love a big dick." She's going, but like every once in a while, she goes, "But there's like a lot of benefits to like everyday size dick." Like what is a benefit? Size dick that you could fuck every day. Like, why would you want a whopper size dick mashing you up on a daily yeah. basis? Like, you couldn't have a tear you up. No, yeah. because you have a relationship no, with someone uh, like that. Okay, but you know what, Khan? Your vagina becomes molded to that penis. That's why vagina is elastic or it's got elasticity because eventually no, I've noticed. Wrong, no, no, there are 
the mm. giant is that are like a bottomless yeah. pit that could take us <laughs> up, no problem. There is some. But like there is some that's only like four four inches, five inches that's right. deep as well. Yeah, no, some females, you're right. Their cervix is lower. So their cervix is lower. So you, a four inch penis could hit it, whereas a ten inch could go right through the cervix, even though that's kind of in technically impossible. That's to, great. Yeah. What do you mean that's great? That's disgusting. No, that's awesome. Let the what? dick reach his stomach. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. That's, be that's beautiful. So you see like a thump right there at your navel. Yeah. That means that that man did a great job when it came you to know, you know what I'm saying? You know that no penis cannot reach there, right? Because that's been through her cervix. Well, that's beautiful. No, but how would the penis go through her cervix? It's, yo, it's like the, 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 have, women have to be dilated in order to for them to go through the cervix. How yeah, are the women? Yeah, Please. screw your technical terms. I'm, I'm just saying at the end of the day, it's like a yeah. jackhammer. So with that jackhammer, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It just goes through the surface and just hits that navel. You know what I'm that's, saying? That's not that's not possible. That's In beautiful. Not I, that's I know it's not real. Not I know it's not. I I, it's not. It's not possible. It's not real. But that's a beautiful thing if it ever was to yeah. happen. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, Think of the gods. Hmm. I personally would not want something going through into my cervix because women who are giving birth to children, I hear the pain they have in just dilating from one centimeter, two centimeters. Can you imagine a penis doing that to me in one go? Yeah, I'd rather, uh, yeah, I'd rather the average man. Yeah, I would want that. It's, it's, cool, it's cool to be different in those cases. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, to me personally... I like penises that are um, big, but not something that tears me up and, and leads me into hospital. No, because that's I hospital. I love it. I Come love it. You, so you want a wheelchair girl? You want to put yeah. her in a wheelchair? I want to. I want to have the benefit of saying I fucked you so good. You have to go to the emergency room. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, and then the fact that matter. And then the fact that matter. Then you're going to mm -hmm. say I really can't walk. Yes, it means you got the dick mm. of the gods. You know what I'm saying? So hospital? No, but you know you're joking, right? Hospital. Yeah, You're you have to be joking. No, 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 no. The, the fact of the matter, you ain't gonna be able to walk probably for like the next couple of days, weeks. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, the dick is so good that you can't walk for a month. Woo! A Four month. weeks. Okay. A month. No, you're joking. Woo! You're nah, joking. Really. Like, God damn, you sitting in bed and you can't. Mm -hmm. do shit. No, obviously, it's nice. you know when you get the wow. phone call the next day and it's like, babe, I'm at work and I can just still feel you. I can still feel you. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's good. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. Next day, I'm happy with that. But if anything, after the next day, that's you're still telling me about it. And you need to go hospital. <laughs> find out if your job. Find out if your job is allowing much, you to bro. work from home. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. Yeah, just just find out if your job is letting you work from home or hybrid schedules. We can do that, and then no, you'll have a so, fun time I mean, sitting okay, in bed. You, you know, you know, in fact, man, you can't move. Let me okay, put you in that stretcher. Okay, so Bronzeford, you do know that when you put a female to that extreme, you're not going to get sex for those, those that month because anything touching her vagina yeah. is painful. Yeah, but that's fine. That's what she got her mouth for. That's true. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> And if you really, if you be an extreme, maybe they ain't will be into that type of thing. You never. Oh know. my god! Okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Yeah. Dick I of the gods. Mm -hmm. So you've got a penis that causes women to go into hospitals. Amazing. Amazing. You know some, some like that. Um, there was a song that was called "I Fuck the Freckles Off Your Face, Bitch." That was an Earl Sweatshirt song about somebody else, but you know, um, I think it's fine. You know what I'm saying? As long as you okay. put in work with the jackhammer. And she can't walk. I agree. Mm, I don't agree with that. So I making do. a woman disabled from a sexual activity, unable to do her day-to-day -day life, that's worth that? Okay, yeah. I'd rather a small penis yeah. any day. Because yeah. I wouldn't want a man that disables me. I'm not going to do something that puts me at a disadvantage. I can't look after my home. I just want to get my work. badge. I, I want to get my badge for putting in that work. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I so believe in that. Yeah. So, okay, so you believe in harming someone to the point that they can't work. S sexual harm. You know what I'm saying? She'll be back on her feet in no time. You know what I'm saying? But she needs to get yeah. that hurt. You know what I'm saying? You sound that's like all. a, you sound like a, you know, the apis type. That's that's no, what they. Oh no 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 no! That's no, you pushing it too far. Come on. Like, what? What There's you're saying? I want her to be damaged. Kind of treatment once in a while, like they might not even come. No, Emotional damage. Even come, like they would just basically get the mental hmm. stimulation of just getting ragdolled. 
No, that's fine, but to but think like, that's okay. They probably wouldn't even like experience any pleasure or orgasm from no, it. But, like, just no. women just sometimes just need to be fucked. Of course, just and I enjoy out. that. It's not always and, about pleasure. Yeah. It's not always about orgasm. Either. No, I know that, but I'm on all uh-huh. four, but not not to the point where it goes to th- through her cervix that she can't walk. It can't, it can't go through the hospital. cervix. Don't yeah, you and I know that. You and I know that. But I'm saying, I, why would we want that? Why why would Bronzy want something that? Traumatic. That's you'll be creating it's, trauma. In it's the that vibe. thing, isn't it? It's, it's the pleasure, pain up. principle, isn't it? There's a principle <laughs> where where pleasure becomes pain and pain becomes pleasure. Sort of thing. Again, I don't mind, but not to the point where the woman goes to the hospital. Come on. That's what right. So when she get out of the hospital, she can use her mouth. No, no, no. There's no woman that can use her hospital, bro. Come no, on. No. Nah, come on, son. Y'all don't y'all don't have a good imagination. Nisa, just... Nisa said she'll be clapping for the NHS. Well, clapping her arms. <laughs> 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 for NHS. No, I don't agree with any of that. And I hope anyone listening, I don't promote um a woman being uh, sexually violated to that level that she needs hospital. I don't, mm. me personally, I don't agree with that. I think that's evil. I think that's. I, I, I knew yeah. this one girl who had like a rather small vagina. Yeah. And um when we were having a conversation about like experiences, I said to her, like, have you ever had a really like, a big one and she was like yeah and i was like well how did you manage it like, do you know what i mean because her Ooh. she said she's got this condition called a tilted pelvis oh yes where, i've heard, heard of that before yeah, yeah. yeah so so it's, it, it, it's some sort of like discomfort when it's like do you know what i mean like too big yeah. sort of thing but yeah. anyway so i said to her like how did you manage to accommodate such a big like piece and she was saying like well you just have to go anal with it like back door Mm. Oh, do you know what I mean? Right. So, like, she had this thing mm-hmm. of like, she liked big dicks, but she could only take them anally. Oh, you get me? But, like, yeah. the, the, the thought process behind it of taking a big dick wasn't yeah. based on the pleasure of it, it was based on the feel of accomplishment. Like, she was like, okay. Yes, I know I can take any, no, like, any guy that I bump bump up on any guy that comes across me no matter how big he is i know i can handle myself in this situation i'm not gonna like say i can't do it get wounded do you know what i mean yeah okay again i she does if there's females like that more power to them there's women that like with a competitive mindset like they're not really doing it as an affectionate part of like a relationship like there is people that like do things like sport fucking like they're just going out there to see what they can do, do you know what I mean? Like physically or, put themselves or, yeah, or so there them. to the test. Out there, they, mm. Like females who go out there to see how many numbers they can get. It's like yeah. that. They're yeah, not like, quite, they don't want mindset. Them. Just yeah, like, you know, I, they just I'm, want they're just doing it for sport. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then they just get addicted to fucking different, 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 different <laughs> people. Like having the same person to them is boring. But can you imagine those women? Um the okay, people say that the amount of sex you have, that that person's forever part of you. Do you believe that? No, don't believe that. Sexual okay. exchange is possible, yes. Well, okay, why do you not believe it, Con, and why do you believe it, Bronze Bird? Because uh, it's like I got into the whole spiritual thing, and it's like, it is true to like that that point, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it is to the point, like, yeah. whatever it is about that person is inside you or it's inside them. I think it mainly affects women more than it affects men. Because, because think about receiving. it, it's because in. Receiving. There's your receiving, whereas the man is putting out. Mm. So I can understand that. There is, I don't I don't know, it's been a while, but I do believe in sexual exchange. That's what it's usually about, sexual exchange. Spiritually, okay. uh, there is there's one of the sort of things you still, there is, there's going to be a part of them that's, that's with, you. with you. Okay. Yeah. And Colin, why don't you believe in that? What do you mean from the man's point of view? Um, That the woman is forever... Um. Yeah, something's. It's almost like his, his husband like, is still like, there. That's like me saying the food you eat becomes a part of your cheeks. <laughs> it it does. doesn't, does it? Like your it cheeks does. don't absorb the food that you eat, does it? Do they? But your cells do. Like you got I'm epithelial tissue. You got like skin. You got thingy. You got like water, mm. juice. Like what's it called? Spit, well, we saliva, what we, whatever you want to call it. Eat. It's going to be difficult to penetrate all that and get inside the person. Well, what do they say? We are what we eat. Yeah, but meaning like you've swallowed it. Yeah, but we are, we become it. So we whatever mm. maybe you can't see on a 
a physical level, but what about the microscopic level? We can't see I what that, that can't get so. converted to. I think that there is this yeah. process that um, you think about it. Yeah. Uh, the man's semen to the woman's vagina is alien. Mm. So, like, she will have um, a, the attack mechanism, right? That the, it's a foreign uh, thing inside her body that, like, it does attack it. Like, and yes, I've one, seen that's that. the thing. Like, once you've had a, one baby with someone, the second one comes real quick. Because their body's already tuned into like her right. immune systems, are, like sort of like allowing you the so what does, of, okay. So what does that tell you? So what does that tell you? The people that tells that we you that human with... body's adaptable. Like there's no, an adaptation just... process. That the people that, um, for example, when we have sex with different people, they can become a part of us. Nah. So if the, no, but what you just said, the woman who has a sex and have a baby wants the second baby comes easier. Why? Because yeah, because her, her immune adapt system's adapted to. Like right, that so that means that when we have sex with someone, our bodies can then what change because we had sex with that person. Yeah, but it's not like a spiritual yeah. uh, connection. It's just a hormonal thing. But I believe that our bodies, um, like for example, some men, I start smelling like them, even though I'm not having like. Because you're probably eating the same food as them. No, no, no! Come on, Khan. No, I'm telling you, like you know, the vagina area starts smelling like. I know that that man hasn't come in me. Like it's almost like I can still smell weeks, months because I. It's almost like they become a part of me. But do you just and leave it in doesn't... there, though? Do you just and leave it in there? <laughs> do you? Shh. So also, it's like you know, I'm less, <laughs> I'm less likely. I'm, like for example, some men when I have sex with them, they start me. To, it's almost like I get my body shows a physical reaction, like thrush like forms or yeast infection because something about them makes my body react their sperm right. makes my body react it hates them and i've even told a yes. man i don't have a problem with you my body just doesn't like you i've it experienced you. that i've experienced that yeah and some women they give you thrush why is that and they don't have but something about the oh i'm sorry but yeah some people their bodies our bodies just are not aligned it's like something about yeah. you my body hates yeah, it's true, it's true. I've yeah. had that, I've had that experience. But some people... But say, I like the person, but my body yeah, just sorry. don't like them. <laughs> yeah, my body don't, I don't... It's nothing personal, but yeah. my vagina says no. Yeah, I've had that as well. I've had it the other way around as well, where I tried you? to enter and, and entry was denied. <laughs> there you go! Yeah, it's like, it weren't going in. It's like, yeah, it's like I'm it not... was clenched up so hard, it weren't yeah. going in. Yeah. I was like, are you nervous or something? She's like, no, I just think my vagina just don't like you. <laughs> It, it can happen. It can it happen. Can. <laughs> it can happen. Or, but well, Connie, it can happen the other way around where the man just keeps getting soft. Mm, I've never had that problem. No, but the man, no, I've I've seen things no like dick. that where the man says, My body says no, ho. Something about you, well, I can't. He's all right with up. other people, but with you, he's just not working. Exactly. The man has no problem. He'll say, I have no problem. I've never had this problem before. And I'm talking about he really has been genuine, right? Not a lie. He's been genuine. And you know in your heart that you never have problem. But something about that woman, the penis keeps getting soft. Or as soon as you're about to penetrate, it gets soft. Do you know what? Something that, about that female. Really, yeah. really, really personal. But like yeah. with me, what happens is, if I don't really like that person and I'm not feeling them that much... I yeah. noticed that I'll I'll just come really quickly and my body will just be like, let's just get this over and done with and just get the, like get home or something. But whereas if I like the person for some reason, I'm just holding on like, no, I don't want to bust. I just want to like yeah. just want more, and I just I'll, I could just keep it going. Whereas if I re don't like the person, I'm more likely to bust quick. Mm. Mm. That's mm. weird. I think that's weird. Like it's counterproductive. It is, but it's not. Or maybe it's that if you it's like listen, your body is telling quicker, you right? something though. No, but your body's saying to you that I want to make a baby now, like immediately. What about that? No, you're, my body's saying, like, you're here to bust. So just bust no, but I'm just saying. Just no, no, it's a chemical no, response. Like, I'm not interested, but my body is just trying to get this yeah. over with. It yeah, seems so more like that. But my nuts are like, you brought us here now, so we're going to do yeah, this. So we're gonna it bust. doesn't want to prolong. It's just like, just get yeah. this over Let's so I can leave. Yeah. But also, you can come quickly with a woman that you find very attractive. So That's some true. men will even say, I never come quickly and I believe them because I'm gorgeous, right? So I, they say, I never come quickly with, um, they say, you're the first one I've ever come quickly. I'm like, what? Every time we have sex, you come quickly. But then throw them over to my ugly friend, for example, and their penis can last all night, like Duracell penis. So yeah, some, <laughs> it, can be, it can be based on attraction as well. Some men come quickly because you are attractive. I take it as a win. See, when a man comes quickly with me, I'm like, high five. Yes. Mm. 
yes, bitch. No, seriously, I'm like high five because I know that pussy clenched on him. Yeah. yeah. No, the best Trap one, house. The best one is when you bust <laughs> and you're still rock hard oh, after. Yeah. Then you know your dick's just like, no, we're not going home. Don't care. We're staying. <laughs> <laughs> is it, I don't know if you've experienced that. That's a mad one. You're walking it and you bust and you think, oh, shit, I'm busting. It's like, oh, and then you look down and it's like, She's still moving. You're like, what? <laughs> He's still there. <laughs> well, you didn't give up, man. No, you just carry yeah. on. Just, just carry, carry on. on. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's amazing. Like, That's amazing. What about, you, what, yeah, about that you can't, what about when you can't ejaculate? Like, nothing about this woman. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. You just can't. No, but that, that, happened, happened. So, it was, that happened once, but it was a woman that I was attracted to. I didn't have to oh, ejaculate. Man. And I was enjoying the sex, but I just didn't have to ejaculate. I didn't have to. Yeah. Amazing. The mm. maddest thing, like for me, that ever happened was like I was pumping, 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 and like she said, like I couldn't come right, so I was just keep going and going and going and going, and then I went to stop. <laughs> I went to stop, but my body just carried on. Yeah, you know, the like body to control. Dogs? You know when you see dogs doing it. Yeah, it like, yeah, it was like that. I was like, wow, this is the maddest thing that's ever happened to me. It's like I've yeah. stopped. I put no effort in. That like, I'm just yeah. like, yeah. I'm stopping, but my body just actually carried on just going. Like, well, this is weird. But some men, they're able to ejaculate and still remain hard and, ca- and keep going. And those Bingo. men, I call yeah. them... No, but I, I mean, call them the devil's... The no, devil's no, 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 he's saying at the devil's dick. I know what you're saying, Khan. I'm, I'm saying when... Uh, this is another experience when a man comes and his dick, his penis is still hard and able yeah. to keep fucking. Like, what? You, okay, your me. penis, ago, didn't you hear your me penis that, could be worshipped. You've got the dick yeah. for odds. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That happens the many times. It's just like magic. That's the best yeah. chemistry. Yeah. Oh, toxic headshot said lies. Okay, toxic headshot. What? Who's lying up here? And no, what we're agreeing. How can we be lying? What we both telling the same lie? <laughs> it's like we've rehearsed it. Um, X Y says when when a woman can't come, that's because you're whack. No, X Y, I can't come, and a man. Can be ex- excellent. Sometimes a woman has psychological problems why she can't come. Yes, yeah, like this. You can't, blame, you can't yeah. blame the man because you can't come. Not all. I'm saying, not all men, because some men, yeah, they are whack. But I know for a fact that when I can't come, it's because of me. Usually, because I've got psychological problems. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got control issues. I don't want to feel like I'm. Yeah, but sometimes control. that's fun though. Yeah. Like when the woman just taps out, and she's like, "No, nah, yeah, nah, she's like, let's let's she, take a yeah. break." And I'd be like, nah, yo, let me get this, let me get this finished now. Yeah, you know but I mean? we can't say that you're whack. I wouldn't say nah, it's not. I uh, wouldn't say that. That's no. something that a man inherently thinks. Like you just think because a woman just doesn't get whack or she can't come that you know you're automatically whack. It's not that at all. You know okay, what I'm saying? So X- okay, so XY says no, it's not it's not a psychological, it's not psychological, it's a man's fault. Okay, XY, I'm sorry, but I, I'm sorry to break it to you. I know we like to blame men for everything, but sometimes it's because the woman, for example, a woman has been eight and sex is a traumatic act for her. So coming is almost is the last thing she's thinking about. She's just feeling traumatized and reliving trauma while she's having sex. Sometimes a woman has been molested or estid, and those things are the reason why she cannot come. So we can't say it's a man's fault for everything, uh, that he's f- having sex with her and she's not coming because he- it's his fault? No. That would be, to me, that's unfair to say. Just because a man cannot make you come doesn't mean it's a man's fault. Yeah, that's psychological. Some people, not everyone, some people, it's psychological, and some women, they'll say to you, I have no problem coming, but with that man, I can't come. Maybe his dick is whack. But yeah, if but it's if- always an enjoyable moment. When right. you're able to make a woman queef. That's beautiful. Because <laughs> mm. your is the best. No toys or anything. None. You just it's just straight. Your 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 penis does it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. Queef. Because you just be like, was you just farted just now? How disrespectful! You hear that? And I'd be like, oh shit! I know, I when I was younger, I used to find that embarrassing. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and now as an adult, I'm like, I hope my pussy queef, 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 queef. I'm like doing the gunshot <laughs> salute. I got around my pussy, queef, 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 queef. It's beautiful. Like, yeah. Now as an adult, I don't find it embarrassing. But when I was a younger, I used to say, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, that wasn't the, the. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Like now as an adult, a fully grown adult, I just think so. That means that it's a, I'm. It's a beautiful thing. Too. Yeah, I'm creating liquid that's causing a trapped air, and and then you push it in, and it's like, <laughs> sorry, 
it's a, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful sound it, it allows me to understand that the vagina agrees with the penis like keep going it's almost like you know they're shouting like keep going keep pushing you know so yeah i think that's a beautiful thing okay um so uh and they says i don't like pussy farts it's irritating <laughs> And that's you, man. That's you. <laughs> Who said that? M.A.? M.A., yeah. You can be grateful, bitch. <laughs> but the, thing, the thing about, um, the thing about um, we call it a vagina doing that, it means that you're creating something inside of her that's causing that to happen. That's why I'm not, I wouldn't, I don't find it embarrassing anymore. Especially if a man's immature, we both start laughing. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a laugh off for real. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh yeah, okay. Did that just happen? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's quite funny. But again, you, if you're immature, you laugh and you just move along. If you're serious, you're like some men are so serious, they're like, that's disgusting. I'm taking my penis out now. Okay, go wow. home. Yeah, hey, uh, that's a, that's some dumb shit. You too serious, man. I just, I laugh at that shit. It's almost like comedy. Like, word, I did this. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. This is yeah, beautiful. True. I like it. Right. I'll laugh if a girl queefs, but it's not because yeah. she did that. It's just about emotion. It's cool. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Your stroke game is on point. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Holla back. <laughs> Amen. Um, X Y says, Mona, do you like squirting? Um. I have never been able to squirt. I would love to. I look at porn. I've tried to master the art of squirting. I've even bought toys to help me master the squirting. And I still have not been able to do it. Oh, and Mona, then people, the, last, yeah, the last girl that I was with, yeah, she did warn me before I went round to see her mm. that she squirts. Mm. And like she literally squirts every time. Every time she comes, she oh, squirts. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. But the thing is, the pussy was oh. like... the. I don't know if she was doing the, you know, the pussy exercises to pelvic make it floor up, right? pelvic floor. I don't know yeah. if that's like what she was doing, but she was able to squeeze like, on it. She was forty years old. She had the best pussy I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. like, put it this way, I had two fingers inside her, and she comes so hard it mm. pushed my fingers out. That's okay. She's got the power of the clench. The amazing, clench. the next level clench. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's the vagina of the gods. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was It was the best it's ever. It's a goddess vagina. That, that, Extreme. You can, do, wow. you, can do Kegel, you can do Kegel exercises. Like I don't know if she like, does the Kegel. No, someone they is sell like a little, There's a little natural. machine that they sell now that goes between the legs and it's like, yeah. uh, expands, clo like closes and thingies the knees. I so see. Inside, yeah, yeah, I yeah, I've they seen it. They sell it on yeah. TikTok. There's like a little yeah. gadget that does Kegel. Like resistance mm. exercises. I don't but know if she does that. But there is a thing that people say that big girls have got the best pussy. They do. They, yes, do. they do. And this girl was they big. They do, in my opinion. She was carrying uh -huh. or where she was carrying it, like that made like the the weight. It was like literally like as if the whole of her inside of her vagina swole up so badly, it's like like Arnold Schwarzenegger's bicep level. It was just like ridiculous hypertrophy on that pussy. It was mad. <laughs> and I'm thinking it was her body weight that was doing that. No, but the, like, thing the why fact I like that she was so heavy. Okay, the reason why I like BBW's vaginas is because it just seems to be more wet and juicy. It's like wet, juicy, voluptuous. It's more to enjoy. They seem to get wetter. I'm like, girl, how are you so wet? And they're like, I'm so wet because that's how God made me. But hold yeah. on. Every I think BBW, that does contribute to the squirting as well. No, but uh, square. It's, it's they get soaking wet, like yeah, they, like panties are wet. How? Like what? They seem That's to get wetter, and then the sex yeah. sex experience they actually come. You know, yeah. it's, it's usually when they come, it just feels more amazing. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I fucked about like two BBW, so I understand. Okay, lucky you. Mm. Yeah. One of them queef. That's why I always thought like, yo, that was oh, amazing. Welcome to the panel, Dem Dem. Yeah, Who's Dem Dem? Sorry, who are you? Sorry. Come on. It's MA. It's MA. Oh, hi, MA. Well, go on. Yeah, you don't well, have yeah, I'm, 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 I'm MA, here you for this conversation. The, you, got, you got keys, have you? No, no, no. They just let me in. He just All let right. me in and then he dropped off. So he just, yeah. He'll probably be back. Nah, he's probably going to mm -hmm. shing. 
right now that's kind of shit that he does ah. yeah I know you know, you know when I cut, sometimes when I oh shit I feel like it's alright cool yeah man I'm here for this conversation MA, have bro. you ever experienced the squirting phenomenon <laughs> I've never squirted no no <laughs> the girl apart from cum you've squirted cum hopefully um squirting do you know what happened man squirting like, squirting cum you know okay, squirting cum yeah now, I reckon there was there was one girl who was like really holding back, like you could see it in her face, like she was gonna do. I reckon now this was about ten years ago. Yeah, now she's probably on a mad, mad, mad thing. <laughs> yeah, she's probably on a super mad thing. I feel like yeah, she was about to unload. Mm. Okay, um, Charles Nita says, "Ma, why are you whispering from the basement?" Because I'm, I'm in the basement. That's brilliant, isn't it? You know what? I'm kind of glad. I don't want to. I don't want to um, be faced with any type of squirty business. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on it, man. Personally, I don't. Yeah. I don't. That's just a personal thing because to me, it's like you're disrespectful. Um, squirting all that. Um, people, that to me look like a vagina liquid that looks like some of them it smells of urine and I'm thinking yeah. how dare you pee all over me how dare you pee on me and yeah, they're like it's it not nice it smell like pee hey, Mona, have you, have you ever had someone squirt on your face oh, excuse me Um, I've got a delicate sense of smell <laughs> so come on yeah. I would never to me that's disrespectful how dare you put this liquid all over no no I would never I wouldn't mind squirting on some it would, it would it's no problem it's getting squirt in your face. Sex will stop you. immediately. Man. So water gun in your face, you know what I'm saying? No, it's not right. water gun, bro. Come on, no. no Why not? What's the problem with that? No, what's, the yeah, what's, between, what's the difference yeah, between what's the difference between a lentil bro. and a chickpea? What? <laughs> what's the difference between a lentil and a chickpea? Chickpea is bigger. I've never had the chickpea on my face. <laughs> <laughs> good one, good one, Tom. The good one. But okay, so um, we call it me. Sorry, Ma says that you're a bit nasty, Bronzy. So that you nasty. would like things like that, yeah. But no, getting pissed on my face. No, nah. uh, uh, no, uh, no, no, I want no squirt. No, nah, I don't want no squirt in my face, man. Oh, okay, nice, so where man. would you? But would you? you okay, so would you enjoy it though? If a woman squirts it on you on your actual body. But it's not practical, man. How are you going to carry on? No, sir, that'd be a new experience. You know but, what I'm would saying? You, but would you like it, though, <laughs> do you think? I don't even know, yo. Okay. So just had a fresh, like, <laughs> vag shower. Like, you know, know what I mean? Man, no. It's a vag shower? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's not practical, man. How are you, like, you, you going to carry on after that, man? Yeah, I don't like, know. That is an issue. That is an issue. No. Yeah, you got to be able to try all, new all things, these, man. All, all, these, all these porno men and women and that. They've got like, helpers in that. It's just gonna be yeah. Really they've good. got entourage. <laughs> they've got helpers, bro. Like fresh sheets. Yeah. I don't know. Fluffers. Don't know, okay, so X Y. <laughs> okay, so X Y says I've drank it before. So X Y said it's not urine. So X Y know that it's not urine, but it's got trace urine. When they've tested um squirting, it's, it's trace that. urine. And then X Y yeah. also says I've drank it before. It's definitely not urine. It's clear water. No, um, it's light it's urine. His diet is his diet urine. That's what it, it is. is. Diet urine without the yellow. Yeah, yeah. The yellow. It's still not hello. <laughs> oh my god! It's not hello. Yo, you actually drank um spicy. That's amazing. Oh damn! Wow. You put some in a mason jar, my brother. Okay. Cup of tea. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. So XY, XY says trace urine is in sweat as well. It's minor. Yeah, but I wouldn't... Okay, but I wouldn't lick someone's sweat. You you, know you're trying to convince right now because we're not in your I gang, bro. drink someone's sweat. You know what I mean? So I know what you're saying, but I wouldn't drink someone's sweat. But again, I don't see anything wrong with you liking that, though. But I personally I wouldn't... Know, I, dated, I dated this girl for about, what? I feel like a month. She's from Swaziland and she used to lick my armpits. She used to love this. Oh she, she used to try and find. She used to try and find. It's late well, night. Shaved or unshaved? I mean, oh, wow. bro, I've never shaved my armpits in my life. You might. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting you're not Muslim, innit? <laughs> oh, is that what you don't do? No, yeah, every 40 days you have to do it. 
Stop it. Are you serious? Yeah, and downstairs. Is nah, bro. Nah, nah, that's nonsense. There's yeah, bare hairy Arab men out there, man. Rough. What? All these Arab men yeah, with all their hairy I'm telling you, downstairs and the armpits have to get really? shaved. Really? Yeah. Why yeah, is that calm? I don't know. I think um, yeah. it's just that like, just uh, the idea of being clean. Wow. You're just being extra, man. That's just some that's extra cultural shit. That's not even Islam. I swear. I don't know. I don't know if it is or if it isn't. I'll do it I still. I do do it. So does it make your penis look bigger? Yeah. Okay. What if you shave your armpit here? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 it's not a very big shit. <laughs> Oh, no, this girl, yeah, she used to, um, she used to try and find the uh, smelly. She there was like a special aroma. She like, oh, not that one, not that one. Let me try the other one. And then wow. she go for the other one. Oh, yeah, that one. And she like, don't tell no one. Don't worry, I'm not gonna <laughs> mention her name. Yeah. yeah, that is again. If you really care about someone and love someone, or it's something like that, or it's a fetish, then why not? I don't, I don't. Mm-hmm. It's weird to me, but I don't see anything wrong with her liking that. Because some men really cool. smell so nice like you want to smell their hair like i know that feeling maybe you're not your armpits hair but some men their head on their hair or the head on their ch- sorry the hair on their chest just smells so good yeah, i like that so yeah, smell, smell my leg so, so, smell my leg here i don't know about that <laughs> 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 so what well, arms why not the legs you know no but you know what i mean They're, because the, the hair under the arm has a different it's like a, its own ecosystem Okay. Yeah. So the, the next smelly one is the pubic hair. Mm. Yeah, um, smell the pubic. Yeah, smell that pubic shit. Because it's got a masculine. It's like I know that you are a man. It's like yeah, mm, I can just smell man. Just, just got done working out. Smell my pubes. I like that smell. Why? Yeah, smell my. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about smell my pubes. I like the smell of a man. I smell smell my pubes, man. Because it's got a lot of testosterone, I can feel it. I can smell exactly. it. That's it what I don't understand why men chop off all of their pubic hairs. But no. Yeah, I'll, I'll do mine. Like, every forty days, I do them. Okay, yeah, back to that. Yeah. Irritable. You smell yeah. my taco meat too. You know what I'm saying? saying? All right, calm down, bronze bird, bro. Taco. <laughs> do you know the sec- like <laughs> the sexual kind of like, <laughs> sphere of things? Right. The weirdest thing I the think intersexual is, what? is the sphere of conversation. Why do oh. women love sucking balls? Because it don't do nothing for the man. And I said to the woman, oh, yeah. no, why? No, speak for yourself. You speak your for mouth. yourself, bro. Speak for yourself. <laughs> it don't I do laugh. nothing. Yeah, I, I laugh when that happens. Oh, is that the <laughs> yeah, it's, I do. It's like a, a ticklish. Like, yeah, it's a ticklish uh, feeling okay. when a woman lick my balls. I'm, I'm just being honest. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what. I thought it was just like making her happy. Nah, I don't know what it is. Hey. Nah, do you know what? Yeah, if you're, how are you going to try and fit two huge testicles in your gob, though? No, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a different thing, though. That's a different thing. Yeah, you like, ain't really be going for like, it. Yeah, also, trying like, to get both of them they, in, like yeah. <laughs> yeah but that's some porno shit. Like, no, no sane woman is trying to do that, man. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, this woman that did that before. Yeah, there's girls that were put out here that will put porn to shame, bro. <laughs> Seriously, they don't give yeah. a damn. Uh, the they don't mind deep throwing, they don't mind, yeah, they don't mind the deep throwing. The, the, the chat has slowed down. I think everyone's masturbating right now. Yeah, <laughs> Sneaky definitely is. Yeah. Urine therapy, that's funny too. Nah, X, is XY a, a bra, yeah? I don't even know. I think it's one of Miss Mona's bridges, no? Mona? Mona, do you roll with this XY? Oh, uh, she's masturbating now as well. Fuck's sake. Yeah, she always masturbates. Sorry, what did you say? Out. Sorry, I missed it. Coming up for air, are you? Yeah, because yeah, I was talking yeah. about dad's balls. <laughs> You're asleep? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. What did you say, Um, Tom? Uh, XY is one of your bridgings. Um, oh, you think it's one of my troll brothers? Is it? Um, I don't think so. Why? Oh, no, I, I was just I, asking. I can't. Huh? I saw this story. I saw this story on um, whatever... TikTok or Instagram, whatever the fuck it is. And this guy, they were telling a story about this girl who was at her mum and dad's house, no, at her mum's house, sorry. And um, uh, she went she went into a drawer and found a dildo, right? And for some strange reason, she's like, yeah, let me just clean this off. And she started using it. Ew. So she, she used, yeah, she's used it now. And... Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I was like, I think my parents are long divorced or whatever. She used it now and she's come out, finished, cleaned it off again. And then she looked at the side of the dildo and it says like, um, I forgot the phrase, but it's like, uh, it's like memories dildo or something like that. And basically it was um, a cast of her dad's penis. <laughs> Really? Oh my god! Like you see, that's why you need to leave people's business alone. Like, why would mother, you, like daughter. Like, why would you put your mom's um, dildo in your vagina in the first place? Why would you do? Oh, I wouldn't even do it with friends. God damn! Yeah, that's, that's really, really, oh, really. Maybe it turns out to be her dad, and she basically is not a motherfucker, a daddy fucker. Oh, yeah, that's traumatizing. Yeah. I think they were white. Um, just I just got a hunch. That, uh, seems just about white, yeah. Yeah, that's about the whitest thing you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a fact. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not going to lie. That's... um. Mm. <laughs> God damn! Especially if it's a cast of your father's penis and you still use it. Yeah, Jeez, women, I'm, black women did, I'm, I'm guessing that she didn't know, Emmy. What? I mean, she I don't she know. didn't know that was her dad's penis, right? I don't know. I don't know. How was she gonna know? Um, Jesus have mercy. <laughs> when you know Mona saying Jesus have mercy, you know, serious. <laughs> no, but come on, man. It's, it's okay. And first of all, it's your mother's. See, that yeah. is just disrespect. Oh, I, used to, I used to be with this woman, yeah, and she always yeah. had the fantasy of being DP'd. Mm. So I bought her, like, as a present, I bought her a, a dildo to go in her ass while I was fucking her, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, oh, um, one day it just went missing. <laughs> no, and I, I said to her, there. like, where's, like, where's the thingy, the sex toys in that gun, yeah? She's like, I don't know. She goes, my daughter probably stole it. And I thought she was joking. Oh, yeah. wow. and oh then my years God. Later, no, I... <laughs> listen, years later, when we no, were moving no. house, yeah, I was helping them move. We found the box under her daughter's bed and guess what was in it? No, no, no. <laughs> her mum's arse still though. Um, that's, uh, bro, yo, that's what I'm saying. Oh, bro. You're, you're picking girl. You're picking the worst girl, bro. White girl, uh, isn't it? Girl. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sounds about <laughs> white, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> about the white. Sounds about white, right? <laughs> yeah, man. You know what? That's, I'm gonna repeat you that. You fuck with the right you know, one, sounds man. Sounds about white. Yeah, sounds about white. <laughs> 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 Good one, man. Yeah. No, man, but the thing dark. is that there's nothing wrong with you doing things that is as long as no one's hurt. That's okay. But it doesn't mean I accept that. I'm not that's into emotional anal sex. damage. Oh, about no one's hurt. That's emotional damage. Emotional damage. emotional damage. Yeah, no, it is. I, but me personally, I'm not interested in having things in my anal or double pen. No, I might. I would be interested in double penetration, but one in my mouth, one in my vagina, not anal. Yeah. It's not, it just yeah. doesn't do yeah, anything for enough. me. Oh fair no, enough. she used to come hard from anal. Oh okay, well. Lucky her. I mean, yeah, I just find it, mm, yeah, it just doesn't work for me. You know when you see someone coming hard that they're going to pass out? Yeah. Yeah, like that level. Mm. Uh, uh. That's That's beautiful, beautiful, bro. Congratulations, (laughs) though. Gritted teeth. You mean you... That's a real rare find. (laughs) Yeah, that's... It's about to pass out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah from, from, like, anal, only from anal though. <laughs> That's the craziest <laughs> one. <that> they... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, oh, a orgasm, Matthew. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 but come on, have you ever made a woman come? Oh, don't ask silly. Don't ask We're a bad boy. Come. Like every finger oh. on my hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> every piece of my body, my tongue, I've used yeah. everything. I've done like mad Elbow. things. Elbow. 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 <laughs> women could come from anything, man. No, they can. They can. That's true. Because remember, some women they sit on the um the washing machine and they uh, and they come. <laughs> Be on a buzzing chair, you know. No, they can, no, but you can sit like for example, if I wa- sometimes I've had someone ring my phone or ring myself and it's on vibrate. 
And just yeah. yeah, just to enjoy that feeling. Yeah. My pocket. So the weird thing is that with women when they come, they don't really like like men. Like apparently, we pull funny faces. I don't think women do though. They do. They don't pull like. Oh, no. Wait, no, I've never seen it. a woman come where you just want to start laughing at her face. Oh, like, okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, true. True. <laughs> that's true. That's true. They never pull. I'm trying to think. Like, I want to see that's her come face, true. isn't it? That's what I'm, yeah. I'm trying for that. Yeah, but that's because what, what's happening. To, what, yeah, but Carl, that's because what's happening to us is a bit extreme compared to what's yeah, happening to it's them. more intense. <laughs> yeah. with, them, with them, it's sort of creeping up on them, innit? And then all yeah, of a sudden, it's all that internal nonsense. And yeah, like, yeah oh, they, they have to go very yeah. internal. It's true. They don't understand the, the psychological impact of such things to men. Yeah, like, that's why usually just, women come with man. their eyes closed. Have you noticed? They're internalizing oh, the whole thing. Yeah, spirit, I've seen it once spirit. or twice, man. But do you, okay, so do men, okay, so men on the panel, um, do you think that when a woman doesn't come, does that make you feel like you're not manly enough? Do you feel that something's wrong nah, with you, you know when a woman doesn't come? No, nah, do you know what it is? I, I always, mm -hmm. if, if a woman doesn't, and I'm sure that the chemistry is there, that I'm in a uh, good condition to, to deliver whatever I need to deliver, whatever. Yeah. Um, then I would, but most of the time when it doesn't happen it's either because it, I, I might know the kind of psychological profile of the woman yeah. and I, I would know that okay there's an issue here anyway or we've had, yeah. we've had, the, conversation. Yeah. We've had yeah. the conversation already that she's like oh no man has been able to make me calm blah blah blah, yeah, blah that kind yeah. of stuff. you know what I mean yeah so, so you don't so you it doesn't make it doesn't hurt your ego no 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 Okay. I think when you've been with a few women, you realise that they're that they're all different. Like some women come like once a month, some women come every time. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? Some women never come. It's like they still enjoy sex. Yeah, that, that, the most that important moment. thing is if they enjoy it. Mm. So you don't. Yeah, some men say they feel bad. They say that after sex and the woman well, doesn't come, it takes away from sex because yeah, they weren't because they, make her achieve. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I used no, to feel like that. They're thinking about it the wrong way, man. Mm. Oh, I used to feel like that. But... No, I mean, I used to feel... Yeah, when I was younger. when I, I used to feel like that, but it's never really been... It's rare like that in my experience. It hasn't been a lot of women that um that couldn't make cum or, you know, they could have gave a response back with their vagina, you know? Hmm. But um, it, now it just was like, nah, it's cool, you know? Like, I realized. Did it affect your ego, though? Did you think, I'm not manly enough? I'm not nah. I'm not able to make her, you know? No, nah, not manly. It, it's kind of mm -hmm. like, it, it did make me feel like, damn, like, did I do something wrong or something? You know no. what I'm saying? Yeah. But not like, yeah. I'm not manly or something, but like, did I do something wrong? My my stroke yeah. game wasn't right? Got, like, what, what, what did I do? Pursuit. Yeah, he's pursuing a particular yeah. outcome, isn't it? But right. I yeah, like, exactly. I mean, sex, yeah. sex is not, like, you've got different types of sex. you got, quickies you got sex to um just feel connected to the other person you've got different types different circumstances different scenarios so it's not always the same um pursuit do you know what i mean it's not it could be the middle of the night one o'clock in the morning it could be five well, i've I done some stupid nice like, if, if the four woman in the morning one just does it for you though and she's like yeah i'm i'm, I'm not gonna come but if you want oh, yeah. if you want to like 100%. throw me around yeah. the bed in a while yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that's, that's nice, true. though, like, when they do that for you. It is. It is, man. And I what, I, I laugh when a man doesn't come. I've laughed in no a man's pressure. face. Like, a man, sometimes a man is having sex and he's like, I'm about I'm about to come. And it's like, I've heard that 200 times now. You need to come, mate. <laughs> like, you the time. And they get Listen, upset. I just, like, I'll just I, stop. I'll, I'll just stop and just go. Exactly. Why are you stop. going? Yeah. Like, You're just not, man. Yeah. No, but come on! I'm talking about when they can't come. Sometimes a man keeps yeah. doing it. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come, and I'm and I'm sitting there looking at the watch. Yeah, I'm. I need to come mm. and go. Sorry, something sorry, else. sorry, sorry, sorry. So, what man yeah. says? What man says yeah. he's going to and doesn't? I don't understand that. <laughs> but he, I think it's, it's a feeling. I think it's that they feel like they're gonna come, and then they don't, and then they keep saying it. And I'm like, get the hell out my vagina, because you're wasting my time and yours. Oh like, no, no, what he's doing? No, no, no. What he's doing is he's stopping himself. Because if he's oh. about to, it's only yeah. he can. Only he has the power to stop this team. Well, <laughs> well come on. What about when they can't though? What about when a man just can't come and he's there saying, "I'm going never to." And he that. That. I've never experienced that. Yeah, 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 there I are men like that. that. There are men yeah, like they can't that. come, and they literally say, "I'm going to come." I'm, like, get on with your day. 
because I've got things That's to do. Weird, man. No, but sometimes you have to no, say Mona, no. I don't think it's no, nah, Mona. I don't think it's what you think it is. Honestly, I think. What do you think it, is then? It, it, there's, there's. Well, so if you if you stop yourself uh, a few times, mm. then it might be um, more difficult to get to that, right. that place. Yeah, because every time you stop yourself, it's almost like you have anyway. It depends on how where you stop it. So if like you stop edging. it, right. it's edging. Oh, edging. Edging is when you bring yourself near to something. You dominate it. You're and you start. Yeah, yeah you, and you keep it. Like, I've done that with a man. Like, keep stroking, <sighs> keep stroking. And when he's about to come, I stop. I let go of his penis. And he's and I'm like, and then he's like, no, no, don't stop. And then I start again. And then I sometimes I'm not even talking about that. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about the, what was it? Um, t- yeah. What's his name? Tizzy used to talk about ejaculation and all that. Yeah, yeah, but that's something you're still from coming. That's, that's <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. I'm saying there's yeah. different, but there's different. So, like, it's a it's a journey, isn't it? From yeah. balls back to the you know the outside world, and there's different points that you can stop it at with different yeah. muscles. And me? also, I like when a man's about to come and you squeeze the penis and you spoil the ejaculation. I love that. Bro, you kid. I love yeah, it. Damn. Like, he's about to come and you yeah, squeeze the penis and you yeah. hold it. And you squeeze it, squeeze it, and only a little bit comes out at the end, and then you let go, and it, it, it basically is a ruined orgasm. I love trap. it. Yeah, it is. I love it. Man. It's like a trap, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, ruined be, orgasms yeah. is the best. Awesome. Did you see the disappointment? Make sure you're careful with ladies like Mona, man. It's I'm trap, yo. Yeah. The, no, the no, 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 no. <laughs> what a waste of my time. I love it. Oh. You men are so easy to make come and stop to come. Like it's so it's lovely, and you can pre- you can produce more. So what's the problem if I ruined one? You must be so conservative in your life, you know that. I'm not at all. You should hear me talk to my mother. Uh, I just need this essay. Where are you from, Mona? What country are your parents from? I'm Jamaica. So I was born in Jamaica. My dad's oh, Scottish. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that okay. That's fine. As long as you got the Scottish part, that's yeah. Right. That's <laughs> what we're well, coming from. It's yeah. born in Jamaica. You <laughs> might, for fuck's sake. No, I'm, I'm in Jamaica, but <laughs> why are you kissing your teeth? What? Because I'm just annoyed, man. <laughs> why are you annoyed? Why do you have to be from Jamaica? Oh, come on! What's wrong with these um <laughs> these bald head Jamaicans? <laughs> Ooh, man, man, man. Yeah, <laughs> What's wrong with Jamaicans? What's wrong with that? Yeah. Boggling for no reason. <laughs> and being a butterfly. Being a bu- for what? For what? Eh? So why are you Jamaicans okay. doing that? No reason, man. No reason, man. I saw one you know, Jamaica Jamaica used to be the, Jamaican exports used to be among the most treasured things on the planet. And now look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, big up my Jamaican people. I'm not mocking you. You know that I'm joking. Oh, Emma, you Jamaican? <laughs> yeah, man, you know that. Do you oh. know about this thing called the stone? <laughs> nah. Oh, nah, did you know that? about the stone? Um, the stone? Yeah, you're supposed to like rub it on your dick and it like, makes you never come. Oh, that's oh, stupid. No, 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 that's, yeah, stupid. that's some Jamaican yeah. export. <laughs> it's, um, they must have a lot of them stones, you know. <laughs> they must make a fortune out of them stones. You see, Jamaica. Let me tell you something about Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. They, you can you can convince it, like if some one man in a bush says, "Yeah, man, it's I, uh, You see this one leaf? Yeah, yeah. Rub this leaf. You yeah. soak it. Yeah, three minutes. You soak <laughs> You're it. You marinate it, <laughs> and, 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 and then and then yaffy, uh, uh, yaffy, um um, set it upon upon the fire, thirty second, and you squeeze it, and the juice. You take the juice, right? You take the juice. You put the juice in that cup, and then the cup you have to swirl it three times, and you have to make it bubble. And when it bubble, mm-hmm. that means it's ready, yeah. yeah. When it's ready, then you just throw it upon the ground, and you rub your things upon the ground, and that's when the wood get real. Oh. No, that reminds me of um, that sounds like bedroom bully. Bedroom bully. That's you like see? bedroom bully. That sounds like a construction. <laughs> that does sound like a construction, like bedroom bully. But that's really. that's what they tell you though. They'll tell you they'll give you a whole. Mm. That's why I'm saying all this Magnum business. Oh, but nice. I never had one in my life, and I just know it's bullshit. 
some things like for example there's something called bedroom bully and that has the ingredients that can help men in sexual activities it does have some things but the yeah, super superstitious really nature of that, yeah. people no have you not seen it like sometimes it has like things like sarsaparilla or things in it that has proven mm. or scientifically proven to do what they say it does but the, but the other mm. ingredients to it is doing nothing it's just they mm. just have yeah, to yeah, yeah, one yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's just cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's so like yeah. something. And you know what? Them, them and they're so stupid there. Yeah. They probably cancel out all the good things that could make it happen with all the rubbish that they put in it. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. The sugar and all of that type of stuff, man. Mm, What's that drink? Down. Magnum. Magnum kind of. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's could, you, stupid, could, you wear Mag- could you wear Magnum, um, Con? Drink Magnum. Oh, okay. Sorry. Is it drink? <laughs> No, I was thinking I, about something else. Oh, I'm you re- mean the condoms? Right. Oh. Magnum is for men who are not oh, your right, size. Right. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. What is yeah. it? A cock ring? <laughs> it, no, no, no. Magnum is for men. Okay, the fact that you don't know what it is, that shows that you, you don't possess the size that you need to wear it. Oh, you mean like the Trojan huge size condoms? Uh. Yeah. No, no, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm normal. I'm normal. Thank you. No, actually, statistically, I'm not normal. I'm above normal statistically. Yeah. Abnormal. I'm, okay. abnormal you. I'm not just like thingy though, monster. Mm. I can't. I'm remembering when you said when you chat to Rick, yeah, and you said I can't, I can't remember what you were talking about, but you said something to him, and he was like. I understand what you're saying, and you're like such and such and such. No man, at the end of it, do you remember? I think yeah. so. Yeah, such, think so. such We had some good. We had some good. Uh, 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 tell me, no man. No <laughs> oh, man, days I was dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was actually dying, 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 dying. dying. Oh, so we've funny. had some good times on here together, man. Oh, and guys, oh, if you're listening, please remember to bear hit banter. the like button, comment, and subscribe. You need to come to things. Oh, hold on, Con. Let me just um, do a promotion. I probably will this time still. But, um, let me just do a quick promotion. So, guys, if you're in the chat, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps all our content creators get an algorithm, and it's kind of you to do it. It's for free, and you're watching this entertainment for free. Well, I know I am. So, yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Oi, Over Mona, to- if you want to come to... Um... Jedi's next event, I'll come pick you up from your house, you know. I'm sorry, why would I do that? Well, have you got a car? No, no, what I mean is that why would I make you know who I am in the crowd? Why would I make you know who I am? Like, yeah, on, uh, yeah, Mona, you wouldn't make it to the venue if can't pick you up. Why not? Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> well, you think I'm a serial killer? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. serial fucker, that's what you are, bit. <laughs> Yeah, she'll get oh, fucked and she'll still turn up at the venue. <laughs> All don't take man. that long, does it? <laughs> wig, wig for not. You wear wigs, Mona? I bet Mona wears a wig. Yeah, I Gary. do. Once in a while, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have to take out your <laughs> anal beads, though. <laughs> Why are you talking, please? Sorry, what did you say? I said you're going to have to take out your anal beads. <laughs> That's disgusting, man. That's so nasty. Oh, wow. God, man, you violated up here. Really? Oh, Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay, if Khan picks me up. Why did you up? try to pick up Jerry, Khan? You tried to pick up someone you to pick up Axon from the airport or something. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, man. Did I say that? Yeah, man. I'm saying that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I'm just gentlemanly. Oh, whatever, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to pick me up from my house, yeah? Do you want me to give you my address back, backstage? Just trying to finger you on the way. You can come and pick me up. <laughs> Khan, do you want my address? Hello, yeah, come. I'm good, you know. But I'm saying, like, you just if you said you're going to come and pick me up. So I'm saying I to said, you. Yeah, so we could go thing in it. What's the event called again? Okay. Speaking so you want to, you need to drop my address so you can come and pick me up. It's not a big deal, Mona. They've got bare gal down there. There's no, bare I'm pretty kidding. girls. There's Chevelle's there. I never said anything, there. Come. There's bare pretty girls. Like, if you I don't want to come, it's fine. Oh, no, do you want to come and pick me up? Yes or no? Yeah, I'll come get you. There you go. So, do you want my address? Yes or no? Yeah, go on then. I'll Discord it. Next. If I go missing, guys, you know what happened. Yeah, if I turn yeah, up and there's some next say. guy there waiting for me, like... <laughs> no, no, don't say that. Ready, ready to mash it, right, Carl? Yeah. Nah, Mona, if Mona did that, we'd all, we'd all come find you, Mona. You can't do that oh, to Oh, thank man. you. Don't worry, Carl. You see, oh, you can't do your plans on me because you got MA, you got people watching out. What? 
Now, I wonder well, if we could do anything to actually make Mona come down to speak economics. It would just be such a victory to go no, down but, there. Okay, but come on. Sorry, you keep forgetting that I've gone to events and just worn a mask or dressed differently. I've gone to one event, that man that don't like me anymore. What's yeah. the name? Raspet? Yeah, well, we'll notice you, Raspet. man, because you're in your wheel you be in your wheelchair. <laughs> well, oh, after you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I'll be wheelchaired. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, Raspet, I went to Raspet and no one knew that I was there. I was like, I could I could have the two girls that didn't like me. What did like, you go to? Raspet's well, event. What was this what was event it? outside Pekka Mary and Cosmetics? That was <laughs> no, that was years. <laughs> <laughs> What event did you go to? No, no, I'm not going to say, but that was years ago. That was yeah, that was when um. Do you remember Simona when yeah. she was around? Yeah, that was around then. Like, like when you last saw her, that's when I went to an event. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. did you have fun though? Mm hmm. Ah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but Rasta's events are good. They well, they used to be. I don't know how they are now. I don't understand. What what events were they? What, what events was he doing? Um, do you know just events? Just what? <laughs> no, I'm not saying nothing. Come on, I don't want to give away where I was because some people they know certain things. I don't want to say who I was, what yeah, I was they'll doing. Start putting the pieces together, yeah, exactly. And especially one batty girl that will try to brought me up. This was years ago <laughs> for no reason. And she said, Imona, come to the event. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check you, okay? Uh, check me now, then check me now, ho. Anyways, um, yeah, so she always invites her to get beaten up, apparently. Mm hmm Still waiting to get beaten up. But yeah, that's what I did. And I wanted to see how you lot looked in real life. I was like, oh, such and such is quite good looking. Oh, such and such is one fat old pose. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you, should, um, if you, you should pick up um, Eunice yeah. as well and then leave them in the car together and see what happens. Who? Eunice and Mona? No, yeah. Eunice and Han. I was going to say, no, Eunice and Mona no, Eunice would be a Mona. nightmare for Eunice. No, but Eunice she said loses to his virginity in the wrong way. No, but I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I asked you. <laughs> Eunice would be screaming. <laughs> no, but I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> No. I said to Eunice, I, said to Eunice, I, I asked Eunice, does he want to link up? And he said, Yeah, I would have no problem linking you. He said and that Eunice he, would link yeah, up with you. Did. Yeah, asked him if he would want to link up. And he said, Maybe Yeah, he no thinks problem. you've got a dungeon or something you can tie him up in. He said, yeah, then he said to me, after he got to know that I'm a psychopath, I mean, I'm a nice person, he then <laughs> said to me, Mona, I'm not meeting you. I said, Why not? You sound like you would cut me up and eat me alive. I was like, How did you know that? <laughs> um, but anyway, the fact if, that he's not going to be always decided it's homeless anyway, man. <laughs> no meat. Yeah, there's no meat on that. <laughs> <laughs> man, skin comes like you know that liver they used to sharpen blades with in the thing in the in the barbers. <laughs> man, skin comes like that. <laughs> that no yeah, meat so, if, you, if you're listening, I'm not laughing at you. But yeah, often to meet him, you you know I've asked to meet him many times. He always tells me he doesn't want to meet me. He ducks me. I said to him, um, I, will, um, I promise that I'll oh, look no, after yes. him. Um, no, he doesn't want to meet me. I doesn't even talk. I don't even know how he talks. That's out of order. That's out of order. That's out of order. Oh, yeah. No, he yeah. said he doesn't want to meet me. I'm, I'm a geezer. Mm -hmm. I'm a London said, geezer. I'm not into things that you're into, Mona. I don't, and I'm like, what? Losing your virginity? You're not into things that I'm into. Like, you don't want to lose your virginity. And he said, not with you. <laughs> but, okay, not. what he said. That's not weird. with you. You should box him in his face. Should <laughs> actually piss on his face? No, I've tried yeah. to lure him with different things. I was like, I'm willing to give you vaginal sex. I'm willing to help you lose your virginity. But first, you have to go through a trial of um, death. And he was like, no, thank you. Oh. Imagine we put a price out on him. Any woman that that loses that thing is any Matthew. woman that takes his virginity and documents it, we'll give him a hundred pounds. No, 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 no documentation. No, 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 just for proof, isn't it? No, no one wants to see that, bro. <laughs> no one wants to see that. <laughs> We don't yeah, we'll just believe you. Know? you. We believe you, man. We believe you. Put the tape away. No, but I think, uh, no, I think the reason why it needs to be recorded because Eunice himself wouldn't believe, couldn't believe that 
he actually had sex. So oh, he that's to, oh, he'd have to watch it back and be like, oh, yeah. oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> is that me? Oh God. Is that what he looks like? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's bad. I hope he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> No, but seriously, I feel so... Isn't he, like, 24 now? Oh. Yeah. I hope he loses his virginity soon. I'm willing to buy a prostitute for him, but he said no. Oh, that'd be good. He's, still he's no, good. I'm he's winning. Good. Like, all I got on, on Punters.net, punters sorry, I don't want to um, advertise anyone, but Punters, and they've got different hoes that are willing to do anything for a good price, and I said I'll get him a prostitute. He yeah. said, have oh, you ever done that, Mona? Mona, have you ever done that? Yeah, bought prostitutes, yeah. Why? No, being a prostitute. Oh, um, no. I don't need to do it. I don't know. I'm, I'm happy to pay you for your services, but I'm not willing to be, because there's no price on my head. No, no my okay. vagina's a problem. I've always said that. Hmm. <laughs> it's not Free, freeness. Free cycle. <laughs> not fun. I'm, I remember once a woman once said to me, like, um, that she uses, like, male prostitutes. And like she was saying to me, like that I should do it, and that she would use me if I was on there. Yeah, that, um, like that was the nicest like compliment like I'd ever got from a woman. Really. Uh, it was so um, nice that when she said that, considering okay, she was she was a prostitute, that, she was a prostitute herself. Okay, but why did she say that you'd make a good prostitute? Why did she say that? Like no, a, I think she like was saying she, hole, she wanted man. she wanted to fuck me. Basically, she was saying. What kind of paradox is that? A prostitute <laughs> told you. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. she would pay to me. what the fuck? Prostitute <laughs> told me that she uses male prostitutes. So when she wants sex, she picks out the men from like the site and gets them over to like you know when she needs to come. That makes no sense at all. How she? Why mm. is she doing that? She could just go to work. <laughs> just go to work. <laughs> it was her first day on the job, so I'm assuming that maybe that's the like you said to me. She just realised like, why am I paying guys when I can just go and nah? She was just making you feel paid. better about about what's going on. So what was going, nothing was going in though. You weren't dealing with her. No. Nah, that makes sense. You're lucky Jenna's not here. Right. <laughs> 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 he get the third degree, man. It's like cotton. No, 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 no. It was her hold first on, day on the job, on, innit? And I was her driver. Oh right, 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 right. See, back in um, when I was like in my twenties. I would have done the, um, what do you call it, taxi driver thing. Yeah. And I'd be like, ah, oh, let me rescue these poor women from this situation. Let me fight poor off this Poor women? Pin. Stab him Joking, it, yeah. <clears throat> I know the reality now, isn't it? But that's how I, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's okay, girls so, are, fu- girls are funny though, mate. They'll get when, in the car and they'll say things like this to me. Have you ever but, heard the rumor going around? And I'm like, what's the rumor? She goes, that some of the drivers fuck some of the girls. And I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Tell me more. But God, um, how old were you when you lost your virginity? You don't mind. 19. Surely. 19. Okay, and how old were you, um, eh? Do you know what? See, Khan's answer, yeah? <clears throat> it's kind of like um, the prophet, peace be upon him, and his <laughs> age yeah. situation. What the Aisha know. thing? Yeah, what, age were you, what age were no you? What age were you then? No one was tracking Me, I was, yeah. I was seventeen. <clears throat> I was seventeen. These are good ages. Yeah, these are healthy yeah. ages. Yeah. Um, so come on. When you so lost what? your virginity, did you know what you're doing, or were you a fortune? <laughs> no, I didn't. I actually yeah. didn't know what I was doing. No. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I took to it like a duck to water, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Water, you know, like, so... a dick, like a dick to water. She was, yeah. she was half um, from Barbados, and the other half, half from um, Guy- Guyana, or Guyana, or whatever. And in, 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 yeah, and um, I didn't know that uh, this thing about this squirting thing in it. So after we had sex and that, I was like, "What is this? It was just some wet puddle." And she goes, "Oh, that happens sometimes." And I, I thought she, um, she just come in it. But I didn't realise that she was actually a squirter. But isn't that coming? Oh, yes. Is it come? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, she come. But I thought it was yeah. actual come, but it wasn't. Mm. That was yeah, for years I was under the illusion that, that she just really come. Wow. Poor girl. She was That's waiting for, for ages like, for me to fuck her, boy. 
That's got to be traumatic for your first time, man. I'm not going to... No, if I, was... a, I felt quite uh, accomplished. Well, how would you no, feel accomplished when you, know you see something was? coming out that you've never experienced? Like, you've yeah, never exactly. experienced having sex. And when you look at sex education, we don't see things like that. I'm showing you that, exactly. I think you know, so you some people's bodies actually yeah. just fit together. Yeah. But and it was just like that. that. It, just ma- it just magically mm. just fit, fit oh, Hold on, question. Did she know what it was? Huh? Did she know what it was that was coming out of her? Yeah, she didn't mention it until after, though. Mm. So she she obviously done it before. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but what did you think? You just was well, traumatic. There was a wet puddle in my bed. I weren't yeah. too pleased. I had to change the sheets and that. <laughs> but you know, like, come to realise that that is actually a part of sex that you just yeah. have to change the sheets after. That is crazy. That yeah, but at the time, I didn't realise that. Question, question for both of you, then. You, so yeah. this word thing seemed, seemed to come on the radar really late <clears throat> if people have been doing it for what are we saying people have been doing it for centuries and that but it's just What's never that? been squirting squirting now i think if some people are physically able to do it no but that's not the question yet, i mean physiologically we haven't yeah. involved women haven't involved this squirting um ability <laughs> right it's been there for the longest time are we saying yeah. that it just hasn't been publicized Yes, I would say that it was embarrassing. A lot of women felt humiliated, embarrassed because they thought it was urine. The, but now, lost control. exactly. So a lot of women found it shameful, embarrassing. It's like yeah. a lot of things, like having anal sex. People didn't talk about it. It's now true. it's oh, anal, 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 even anal. Um, yeah, even orgasming. I think like because like like I said, that girl that um the last girl that I was with that squirted literally five times mm. for me. Mm. She used to squirt like every time she comes, she squirted, right? But the thing is, she was able to That's tell me, she was able to tell me when she was gonna come. Like she would tap me, like and say, Yeah, you better stop now because I'm gonna like I'm gonna squirt something. Because she knew it would be messy, innit? So she was prepared to forego her orgasm out right, of embarrassment. Right, right, right. I was like, no, yeah, no, but, no, 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 but don't, don't stop. It, but the question is, Khan, why is it now that we're now learning about um squirting? Or why is it that exactly. now it's a porn, isn't it? It's because of porn. And and no, and not. But remember, okay. the back in the days, porn didn't really. There was still porn, but no one. It wasn't hype. No, I'm a square. Was no, no. Imagine the amount yeah. of women I've had in my life, and out of no. all of them, only yeah. two of them are squirters. That's not exactly. So I'm trying to say that. that it was. Look, it was well, seen as something that was not normal. It was seen as something that wasn't normal. <coughs> people thought it was urine all this time. What people thought it was only that? urine. Yeah, you do. What percentage is that? Two out of two thousand. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, yeah, it's zero point it zero to a, a thousand. Okay, Wait, Colin, so you've had sex point. with a, Colin, you've had sex with a thousand women. Yeah. You don't say with confidence. Paid for though. You paid for them. <laughs> that's, yeah. why, that's the reason why you're not confident, is it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't affect your confidence, in it? It's not relying on confidence. Yeah, no, but it's the way you said it, yeah. When I said, Have you had sex with a thousand? you're like yeah, yeah, but like, I think about it. I started yeah. fucking when I was like twenty, and I'm fifty now. Damn! Wow. So you've had sex with a thousand women? Easily. That's a, a conservative estimate. That's amazing. I I don't Why? meet men. No, because I don't. I'm being perfectly honest. I don't meet men like yourself. Like that has had sex. Oh, with do you a know the funniest women. one is like when I went to a brothel and I fucked some girl, and afterwards she goes to me, "Oh no, you don't, I." And I was like, no. She goes, I've had you before. And I was like, no, you haven't. And she's like, yeah, I used to work in this other brothel. And she just gave me the address. And I was like, oh, yeah, I used to go there a lot. She goes, yeah, I remember you from then. She goes, don't you remember me? And I was like, no. <laughs> That's when I realised yeah. <laughs> my numbers are just too many. Too high yeah, now. too many. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jay said, um, Jay said, <laughs> y'all let these women gaslight you into thinking squares isn't piss. Well, it's got tra- when they tested it, Jay. What? It has trace oh, amount of yeah. urine. Yeah, it does. When it when they tested it, it's got trace urine in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad. You know what? I don't want to have to go through that, man. Traumatic <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> experience. I don't want. I don't want to have to go through it. And I know. I, I like. I said. I think a couple of them are stopping themselves from. Yeah, you know, mm. whatever. But um, mm. yeah, I don't, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't want. I don't want to have that experience, man. And would you would you accept a woman doing that in your throat? Like she she didn't you didn't know she was going to do it, and then it comes into your throat. Would you, what would you do? Punch her? I mean, what would you do actually? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you said it. You said it. Yeah, I'll donkey punch that hoe. 
I'm joking. I'm joking. Like, no, nah, I'm joking. Uh, I hope you uh-uh. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's I hope really it never happens, but <laughs> yeah. no. But Jay, if you look, um, if you look, they say that it's not urine when they um when they have chemically tested it's what trace urine though. But what I'm wondering, does when a woman does that, when a woman comes, does that have trace urine? I don't know. When a woman comes without um squirting, I don't know if that has probably trace. would have trace in in it as well. Because it's I, urea, isn't it? Any, 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 like it's not urine, it's urea. Yeah. yeah. Quite yeah. A question. When this, the squirt comes from the urinary tract or comes from the vagina? The, the, the entrance, yeah, the vagina. Cervix, hole. You call it, the, yeah, yeah the it comes hole. from the vagina, yeah. Really? No, okay. the, no the sorry, it comes, it comes from the thing. The, the pee hole? Urinary tract. Yeah, the pee hole, yeah. Okay. The urinary tract, yeah. See? So that's what men are drinking. Yeah, I'm okay. not on it, man. No oh, man, keep that in. Keep that in. I don't want to keep that shit in. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. Mona, why are you lying? You've drank it before, Mona. Stop lying. Um, yes, I have. <laughs> I, like, I didn't know what was going on. I was laying my back and the woman was like, I'm going to come. And I was like, yeah, go ahead. And then I started to gag and vomited. Yeah. I, I didn't enjoy the experience. So fucking nasty. Sorry, <laughs> if I'm a or whatever, man, but just, nah. Um, no, I don't like Mona, do you suck toes? Okay, Khan, you and this foot fetish. What's going on again? Why is it you yes or no question? You either do or you don't. True, it's yes or no question still. No, but come on, come on, Khan. Is there a foot fetish? She's yet? upset. I've never She's had upset. my toes sucked, never. Okay, but do you like the thought of having your toes sucked? No. You do. Maybe. Okay, Tom, why do you like the thought of no, having... Because it always has to be new kind of new boundaries and new kind mm. of levels to go to, right? Okay, but Tom, why do you like the thought of having your toes yeah, up? Like some what would be bit. the pleasure from getting your mm-hmm. toes up? Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm asking your um, input. No, I personally don't like it. Like, someone's doing it to me, but would, you said you wouldn't mind a woman doing it's it. Have you done it before? You know you were saying about the dominating thing? It's sort yeah. of to do with that, isn't it? Um, no, it has... Okay, maybe it has to do with some people, but me personally, I don't like... It does nothing for me. But to each their own, right? That's like someone licking my... Sucking my feet is like... Or my toes are like licking my elbow. I don't have a sexual response. <laughs> just there's nothing for it. No, but... That don't make sense. Like, because when you got your strap yeah. on, right, you must mm-hmm. know the difference between fucking someone's pussy yeah. and having someone suck your dick. No, but it's not okay. So you so see, when a someone's sucking on... your dick, it's yeah. a bit of a dominating thing, isn't it? Like you're okay, but you see with person. okay, you see with a strap on, there's a there's a part that goes inside of you, and also oh, so when I like a when I'm, I didn't even know yeah, that. exactly I didn't even something know that. like that. And when it's inserted into a girl or a male, it's pulling on me. It's pushing and pulling on me. So That's it's crazy. basically affecting. It feels like someone's fucking me whilst I'm fucking someone else. Right. So That's I didn't even that. know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Man. Yeah. So not all strap-ons are like How that. How would you know that? You can buy ones like that. <laughs> How would you know? Why would you even know that? How would you know? <laughs> Suspect. <laughs> <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> okay, it's because so like everyone's right. like so individual with it. It's like some people do the most mm. depraved, disgusting things, and then when mm. you offer them the option of doing something that they wouldn't do, they're like, "I would like, never be freeway." No, that's exactly what I think of you. Bro. They're like, "Yeah, but you fucking lick cum off the floor, you whore." She's like, "Yeah, oh, but I would never God. do a freeway." That's like. Yeah, let my mate come round, man. We could both do you together. She's like, but No, do, we'll never do that. But Pon, do you look down on females? For example, if I said yeah. to you, and I was in a relationship with you, and I said, yeah. I wouldn't mind having sex with you yeah. and your brother or you and a friend, would you look down on that female? Of course, okay. Why Why would you look down on her? I don't, I don't, I can't answer that. I don't look that deep into it. I'm Mo, just saying, Mona, you missed, you missed the point. You, you didn't yeah. even get to the, your question, and he said, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you look down on women because... And he said, yeah. Yeah, he looked down on women. Yeah. Those <laughs> 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 people looking down on women, period. No, but you know what I mean, Carl. They call me you, out, blood. Would you really yeah. look down on the female who says... What do you he, mean? You lie there and let people run through your pussy? No, no, no. Like, listen to what I'm saying. How can I not look down yeah. on you? No, but you said people... Like, you think that's normal psychology? Like, normal listen, psychology? No, the listen, whole to dick. This, listen to this, Con. So I'm saying to you that you... Me and you are in a relationship, yeah? I, I've gotten bored of your penis... I said, yeah. let's let let another man join. 
would you get bored? Sorry, we're not bored. Would you look down on me because I wanted another man and you you okayed it? Would that would you really look down at on that, me? At that point, I wouldn't yeah. be able to look down on you because we'd no longer be together. So you okay. wouldn't be my responsibility or anything you did wouldn't mm. reflect on me. Okay. That's fair enough. So, so like, you we couldn't be together, woman... yeah. me care about you and the yeah. next man's fucking you. Like, nah, that couldn't But you're there. I'm Remember, not really that there. complex. Okay, but you're there more, huh? and you're watching and you you're holding the camera, right? You're holding yeah. the camera, watching another man. another man. Another man. Yeah. Man, no, 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 no. no, I'm joking. Another man is, you know, something finally a turn on. So I've never done it. Yeah. I've never thought of doing it. I'm relegated from boyfriend to cameraman, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's like cuck thing, isn't it? That's becoming a cuck, really. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, that not, that's not my style, really. I couldn't I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> But, okay, but if so my brethren called yeah, me and he was like, yeah, yeah, come around, like, i got this girl, she's really horny, let's both fuck her. Like, I haven't ever done it, like, I don't know, like, it'd be uh, <laughs> pushing my boundaries a little bit, so, I don't know. Okay, don't but know. the reanimator said Khan would jump on the extra penis. <laughs> oh, my God. Days, uh, yeah. Who is reanimator? James Jones, isn't it? It's one of Ellie's. That's like, what anyway. we thought. Well, whoever's one of, yeah, one of Ellie's. Like, I wouldn't. I won't put it past yeah, them to come mm. out with comments like that. Probably <laughs> jump on it. Or yeah. someone. <laughs> Disgusting. No, okay. So, but with a not with an extra but, feeling, like you're okay with that, though, right? Extra. I, don't know, I haven't really thought that deep into these sort of things. That like, I'm quite okay. vanilla, to be honest. That's fair. That's fair I enough. This is why I said so you were describing like, people. I'm not like you know, watching that dicks with chicks and chicks with dicks and whatever. Okay. I'm I'm uh, basic. I'm, I just like women, do you know what I mean? No, that, like that's because women, you, no, but because women you like women. Okay, I hear that you like women, but because you like women, the more yeah. women the better, right? So if I said to you, Oh Khan, I'm having a sleepover and I'm inviting you because through like me and my girlfriend. Yeah, I've done that before. No, they yeah. say you say me and my girls are having a dick sick sucking contest. We yeah, let's just say that. Yeah. We're having a dick yeah. sucking yeah. contest. Be the judge. And we need yeah. to have a man. Be the person oh. that none of us has penis, right? So we need a man, and I'm inviting you to come over. I'm not gonna and, lie, uh, Mom. Yeah. I have had two girls. Though, man. Man no, but you said no. to me that <laughs> but you made up like you didn't like that. It's not you're good with having yeah. just one vagina. So I'm well, saying, no, how many girls is in the contest? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so say there's five females, and you're the only male invited to a okay, sleepover, fine. and they're Still looking good. to sleep on you. So, what is, would you want that? Yes or no? Yes, that would definitely be the next thing on my list that I would want to achieve. Yes, right, so that's yes. what I'm saying to you. Yes. You're for the one woman, yes, you just extracted the yes out of me, of course. Yeah. Because, like, you said the more is the better. You said the more the merrier, like literally, the more vagina that's what you mean to go no, on. Just, like, dick sucking is fine. Like, if you've got like oh, wait, 20 wait, girls wait. looking to suck okay, it, so what they then I'll hold the camera. It's not going to be a fair it. contest, though. Oh, it's come on. What they then said to you, I'd like to, we'd like to ride the pony. Sorry. I mean, like whoever first wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be, no, nah, because after the third one, you're probably going to get a bit numb and that. How are you going to, no, but it's not that. Ones... It's like, could a man last that no. long with five yeah, females? Five no. females? Come on. No, no man. There's no more blue tablets for them. After the third one, he might get numb. Do you know what he's talking about? Yeah, what do you mean number? I don't know. None of them, the penis no longer has sensation because of the friction. You're constantly going in and out, in and out. Eventually, the friction causes numbness. Listen, these girls are trying their best. Yeah, they're giving their fucking do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? like competition. The A game. They're yeah. going to compete against each other. There's five yeah, females. Who can make you numb? Who can make him think, come oh, closer? Either that or, yeah, mm -hmm. after the third one. It's like. It's, <laughs> okay. it's an but what if that girl is, her head game is on point? How are you going to go at last three rounds? Yeah, three then you're finished. It's not going to get us to say it's an unfair. <laughs> yeah, it's not a real competition, is it? That's why they need to use someone like me that. that... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone like I can't, I cannot be defeated by those means. So, you know I mean, I nominate myself. But the reanimator says no kissing, though. Exactly. I'm, I'm bulletproof. So, yeah, that they. I've never, I've never been taken out in that <laughs> that technique. You've never been taken out. Never. No, 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 no never, never. Many have tried. Many have. Never. 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 But the random is undefeated. Which is not even on the rare occasion. Never. I've never, never. 
That's quite Never. impressive. My whole That's life. good. That's good. Um, you'll need a pre-workout. So would you kiss this woman who's been sucking on all these men? Oh, would you kiss her? Oh, yeah, silly. but that's what... No, I'm asking. Yeah. Ray Mater said no kissing, though. And I mean, that's no, kind of... Not all questions, questions in the chat are equal. Oh, no, but it's not teenagers. No, some what? men will it kiss. Men. It was five women... It was five women and one man, and now all of a sudden there's loads of men. Up. What men are you talking about, Mona? Oh, so yeah. I'm thinking, okay. Sorry, my apologies. I'm thinking about five men. Wank. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about no. Sorry, I'm thinking about different things than you guys are thinking about. But would you kiss this woman after or male, male or would you be able to kiss her? <sighs> Stop ruining after the conversation. Those men? No, that's what someone said in chat. No kissing, and I agree with no, that. You, what, 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 that asked you, you agree with her? Actually. Um, no, I don't. Ugh. No. Mona, what are you asking? No, in the chat they said no kissing. The reanimator said no kissing though. And Who, I'm like, five oh, girls man. giving you head. Huh? The five that's <laughs> giving you the five girls that's giving one man head. No mm. kissing. Is that mm -mm. what you mean? I wouldn't kiss none of those women. Because they gave you head. Because no, because they give it oh, you can talk about me. I'm com I'm very confused. Me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah, okay, so when you think no kissing, okay, so if, so if I'm in a group of people, forget what the reanimator's saying, man. Yeah. Them, man. This is, what, what is he talking about? I Who's don't know. Kiss? The the five girls that are mm -hmm. giving you head, that like the five girls that's giving a man head. You're asking if the man would kiss those girls. Is that what you're asking? I don't know. I don't know what you said. I have yeah, no idea. She's well out of herself. Though. Come on, um, Mona, relax. But me personally, if I was um if I was in a group of females, she was giving five guys head. No, but if I was in a group of females, are we all sucking? Oh, I would not. I don't want to kiss anyone. You was thinking about giving five guys head. Yes, I was. But anyway, um, no, 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 no. did you hear the smile? Did you hear the smile? No, oh, my. I would not. But why would the man want to kiss? Uh, why would the woman want to kiss? I wouldn't. This. I wouldn't want any man to like kissing. Ugh. No, 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 no matter which way you take it. No, no kissing. Kissing is for someone that you might have an intimate relationship with, not just a quick fucking no. Nah. That's just me. Ah, you're all quiet. I, 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 you got standards, I, yeah. I get it, but I don't get it at the same time because okay. basically what you're saying is your mouth is more intimate than your vagina. And I'm not yeah. sure it should it be. It is for me. It is. Yeah, I hear you, but but, mm -hmm. but like really, should it be? Um, it shouldn't, but I think I like just like foods, there's certain foods I won't put in my mouth. I just yeah, like, something why about is vagina, it. Why is your vagina more accessible than your mouth? Than because your my vagina mouth? has no taste. I can taste. I've got taste yeah, senses. You also can't, can't, get, it. It. Also also can't get pregnant taste. from your mouth. No, but, like, and, and, yeah. and also a baby don't come from. I just feel like mm. I don't know. I no, but a lot of women will tell you. I don't know about men, but a lot of women both, will tell you that both kissing. Areas, both are special areas. Yeah, but to me, like kissing, I can't. I no, mm -mm, no. Because to me, I can taste you. I can smell the taste of you. I, my receptors are going off. I find that so disgusting. Just kissing some random that I'm fucking. No, thank you. But you're welcome That's to enter the vagina. The vagina has no smell. No, sorry, the vagina can't taste. Vagina mm. is not tasting the sperm. Like, for example, why is it that some women, they will allow you to come in them, but they won't drink your cum? Because yeah, I'm sure. tasting it. Because they're tasting it, but the vagina the texture. does not taste. Doesn't have, it, a vagina doesn't cannot taste, taste the sperm. No taste buds. Yeah, mm. none. That's the only reason no why. Smell buds. Th that's the difference. I would allow you to come you in me. You Mother, what's you worse, the you smell or the taste? Um, you don't rate with your vagina, you... at all. Who? You don't rate your vagina. Why do you say that? Because you think that it has, it, it's got a different yeah. set of taste buds, isn't it? It's not the same. But I'm sure it's sensitive. Every other man. Make sure no, you never I, had I, anything I, like that ever again in your whole career of being yeah. online. That is the no. worst sentence I've read this year. Oh my god! No, okay. So you said <laughs> you said I don't rate my right. vagina. I rate my right. vagina, but I'm saying that me personally, I'm a lot. I hate me, innit? I've got my proper hate. What's the difference? The worst thing I've read is press. I can't even read that. Why would you do that to people? Though? Why would you write what? shit like that? Aw, you have set calm. No, I'm saying, why are you making other people read shit like that? Uh, so, oh. yeah, it's likely to upset me, is it? Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jay says it's definitely a more intimate act, strangely enough. Taste and texture, yeah. Oof. Definitely. And also, sperm has like a weird smell and taste. Like, it is. I have to really like you and I have to tell you what to eat in order to drink your sperm. I'm not drinking any and any old sperm. We need to yeah, have you're a no fun, man. You're no fun. 
How am I no fun? Oh, man. Um, Are you not going to drink sperm, man? Con, no, no, no. Listen to what I said. I said that your sperm will have to taste to my specification. So if you take, if your taste, ta sorry, if your sperm tastes of vinegar, I'm going to spit that shit in your face. Really? Because you drink it. That's it. Mm. Okay, what's that? What, what's that? That's, that's acidic. No, yeah. yeah exactly. And some men taste yes. like that. That's what Do they? About. Some, yes. What they vinegar? Do. It's not meant to be. It's meant to be alkaline, man. The alcohol. That's, yeah. like, that's yeah. someone that doesn't drink water. Thank you. Doesn't, just Thank doesn't do not. I don't know. What do you do? What have you got to do? Alcohol. The yeah, al no the just, alcohol. That's like a stagnant yeah. body. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Like, what Why could I consume that, Con? Well, you know? I'll spit that. What I've given up fucking diabetics, then, isn't it? No, no. It's not just those type of people. Sorry. I am very. Are they inflicted with that? With diabetes makes it taste sweet, isn't it? Uh-uh. Come on, I've I've, given man, I've made a man taste his own sperm. So I secretly what? yes, because he wanted me to drink his sperm, and I and he was upset because I spat it out. So I said to him, oh, "Okay." So what I did was, "Oh, give us a kiss." Had a little bit of sperm left in the mouth or under the tongue, or I don't even remember what I did, and made yeah, him taste. He said, "What's that shit?" He yeah, said, "What's that shit?" So that's your sperm. Yeah, Enjoy, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's his own sperm. Yeah, and he was <laughs> asking me, "Why did I spit it out? Why wouldn't I have spit out your venomous things?" To me, that sperm tastes like venom. Oh, no, you lick <laughs> it off the floor, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I have done that. I have done that. that so what's been there for? No, but I'm trying to say to you that you I want bad, you to taste. I want you to experience. For? I spent you know, ages making that shit. No, come on, Con. I'm just saying to you that I want you to experience how violated my mouth was and violated. I want you to experience it. So you see, because you violated my my mouth with that deadly sperm, I'm going to violate your mouth with that deadly sperm. And you will never ask me why did I spit it out. Because you, you tasted it yourself. That's what I do to men. Where do you find these I'm, I'm guys? I'm not involved in this juncture of the conversation. Yeah, where do you find these people? What do you mean, why, where do you find that? Anyone can have, like, for example, so a lot of people who are overweight have a taste that their sperm tends, tend to taste a bit, because hmm, of the diets. What funky? A lot of people who are um, diabetic, as you said, different, it just depends on what you eat. And if I want, if I, you want me to drink your sperm, it has to be up to my standards. And I'll tell you what to eat. I'll put you on a Dr. Savy diet. Because your shit's going to taste good. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. You're, you're going to taste right. And if you don't taste right, I'm going to get your if I'm going to get your penis in order. I'm going to get those sperm cells in order. I don't get know how you think you've got the right to even have this type of conversation with man. Like making right. demands. Like when yes, are we going to ever get around to asking the question, like what do you like or what do you want? No, like, no, that, that conversation no, no, but the man said, no, come around. You're, you're getting dominated <laughs> by me, love. Khan, you if you say to me, Mona, I'd like you to drink my sperm. That's you no, asking the question. I'm not saying that. I'm just yeah. rubbing my cock down your throat and coming. And then I'm going to put my finger down my throat, vomit it up and vomit it right in your face. Then I'll take it and whack it right up your bum hole with the rest of my fist. And then I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you will not be able to get it back out. For days. Khan, stop it. I'm telling you. So who you think you are, you get violated. <laughs> oh my days, I need to come off this panel, man. <laughs> it was disgusting. Are you okay? Come on, Khan. But I'm just saying to you, I'm to, my throat, my rules, my in, my digestive system, my rules. I can nah. choose what goes down my throat. If I don't like the taste of your penis, and I don't like the taste of your sperm, you're going to taste it yourself and never nah. ask me to you again. Never that. It. No, that's how I make men not ask me again. I rub that shit on their mouth, their lips. I say, and I say, enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. Because the pre I'm not, I'm not being funny. You literally get punched in your mouth. But then I'll punch You're gonna you take in my your cum mouth. with no, your hand punch. and rub it in my no. face and my mouth. No, but okay, that's a violation. You're gonna no. get. You get I'm chinned. just trying to make you, you know chinned. what it tastes like. I don't you're... care what it tastes like. You're gonna get punched in your face. But you're gonna get punched in your face for dumping that shit in my mouth. But that's what we're supposed to be doing. No, I'm supposed to take that vaginally. That's meant to make life. Nah, not to... what no, kind of basic shit to... is that? Sperm is meant to create life. You know mm. that. It's experiments are meant to create life. It's not. That's not what it's supposed to do. It's not meant to go in your throat. So when I put it on in your throat to make you taste how disgusting. Listen, listen. for me to come in your vagina, that's a blessing for you. 
Okay, if and not, if, you put, if you're not worthy yeah. of that blessing, I'll be busting yeah. on your tits, busting on your face, mm -hmm. busting on the floor, make you lick it up like a little cat. Ew. But for me to bust inside your vagina, that's a, yeah. that's you getting blessed. Okay, and I'm saying to you that if Are I you said, worthy if, of I, that if I said, if you, I said to you, you Khan, if you I said to you. Okay, listen to what I'm saying, Khan. If I said to you that I don't like the taste of your, your sperm and you said to me you're going to drink it anyway. this conversation, though? Yeah? Like, when Sorry? are we even having this conversation? Like, why am I asking you, did you like the taste of it? Because most men do. They want to have their ego stroked. Yeah, because they're pussies. Okay, why are they so asking I'm gonna, stupid so questions? I'm not, okay, so you didn't ask me anything. I'm going to make you taste it. I've done that How? before. Because I'll take that sperm out of my mouth, I'll rub it in your mouth and say, enjoy. And then you're going to punch me. You'll be going home in an ambulance. And then you're going to punch me. Then you're going to yeah. punch me. Then I'm going to pull out my gun, my Glock, and then load a clip in your head. Yeah. You see how it goes. So I'm, I'm okay with you punching me, but I've just know that I come strapped. Literally. Too strapped. I hit the PayPal family. Hit the PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Trill. One minute you're coming yeah. to get fucked, used and abused, and the next minute yeah. you're pulling out Glocks. Yeah, because you said to me you'd punch me if I yeah, made I you taste. No, you said you'd let me, you punch me if I said to you, I don't enjoy that. Have a taste. Who's you asking enjoy you? It. Who's even huh? asking you if you enjoyed it? I'm saying to you, I don't like that. I, I told you, I don't ask you. Who cares what you like? Okay, then I you're don't care. Used. And I mean, what did I say? You're like I a human care. sex toy right now. I said to you, I don't care what you like either. So I'll take that sperm and make you taste yourself. And then you'll say, what? Then you punch me. Then guess what? I take out my gun, load it up and put it to your head and say, hasta la vista, baby. And I'll shoot you. That's it. We would never have sex again because you'd be That's dead. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just saying. So you punch me and I'll load up a clip. Yeah, I would. If you took a fistful of cum and whacked it in a man's mm -hmm. face and he don't I put you in your eye, he's a pussy old. I didn't say a fistful. I said if you, if I told you, ugh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry. I just saw baby vomiting. <laughs> how are you putting cum in a man's mouth and he don't Because I in want your mouth? you to taste how deadly you are. I know, yes. I understand why you're doing it, but I'm saying because that. Why I would want the man you to not taste that? Not strangle I, you for that. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry, Con. I want you to taste the deadly sperm that you've got. Some men, their sperm could take lives. Yeah? Some men, their smell of the sperm alone. God forbid if that goes down my throat because I would rather... Yeah. So I'm telling you, some men, their sperm is deadly. And sometimes the pre-com doesn't tell you. If you're lucky, the pre-com will tell you, don't go any further. Yeah, but some men, the pre come does not give the warning. It's the actual load that gives you the full deadly sperm. And yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave without you knowing how unhappy I was. I don't so know. I I've never to, had to like, beat up a girl after I fucked her. Like... You might be the first. What did you say, Carl? I'm saying I've never had to beat up a girl after I fucked her or come in her. But <laughs> you might be the first. Okay, so you didn't beat the pussy up, 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 up. Okay, um, they, I don't mind you beating me up. But like I said, when you end up at six foot under, then I'll tell your family, you punched me because I made him taste the vile thing that came out of him. That's it. That's why he's dead. Because I made him taste the vileness that was his sperm. Enjoy, Colin. My sperm tastes like honey. Can't, can't, how would you That's know? What, Remember, what do you mean? You I, I, girls are telling me, mm, love in there.